Shumai YouTube, we are back again and the long awaited paladin guided playthrough is here. Oh, yes, and we are going to be looking to build our uh, Hamadin style um, character, uh, which will be towards like halfway through the playthrough because obviously, um, with the skill itself, which is using Blessed Hammer. It is a level 18 skill, um, but I'm going to try and get you guys through that initial part to get up to that level and then advise you of the best sort of routes to go with at that point, what level you're at, what act you're in, etc. Uh, and get you to uh, finish normal, complete normal with the Paladin um, and get you set then for Nightmare where really the Paladin really comes into uh, its power um, with a lot of uh, skill points into uh, Blessed Hammer and its synergies. Uh, and be wondering what a synergy is, it's anything with a skill that will have a green link to it. So you'll have a item like Blessed Hammer here. And then at the bottom, it'll say Blessed Hammer receives bonuses from, and then under that list, are the skills that will be benefiting it. So as you can see there, there are two skills specifically that benefit it, which is Blessed Aim and Vigor, which are within here. We've got a defensive skill called Vigor and an offensive skill called Blessed Aim. So these are ones that we will focus on. Now, these are things you don't need to focus on early in the game when we're running through it we will be running slightly different build one that's comfortable for you once uh, one that is comfortable for me um until we're ready then to respec our character and then go into the hammers and get the hammered in really really powered up all right so let's look at some of the statistics and the skills of the paladin now uh, if you've been following some of the other guides you've always known what sort of strength we need that's correct 25 now what's amazing about the paladin is already on 25 so we don't need to get any more points into strength specifically to get that um, belt with extra spaces now you, you start with four if you get a normal belt you get eight and then if you get a, uh, a what they class as a belt because i think it's like light it's sash and then light belt then belt we want to go for belt which is level 25 uh, in strength uh, which will end up giving us four eight 12 slots and that's what you want to aim for early on in this game is 12 slots of potions to give yourself basically enough uh healing and enough mana regeneration now dexterity we will get some points in because as the paladin is a melee character uh or melee whichever way you say it um <laughs> uh, dexterity is very handy to have maybe a few points into it just early on just to get yourself being able to hit more people um have a better rate of hit uh then we got vitality as you guys know this is the most important thing in diablo vitality if you're ever in doubt of like oh should i put points there there if you're ever saying that to yourself pop in vitality <laughs> it's always the correct answer uh energy we don't need energy early on in this game at all because most of our skills will either don't use energy i uh, don't use energy for mana don't use the mana so we won't need any extra points in it um and a lot of our skills are auras which don't use mana there's just an aura that you have around you which gives you some sort of boost uh, which we'll be going through shortly uh mana you only get 15 to start with so uh points wise um we are low on this and we will build on mana when we come to actually the hammer uh, section where hammer will actually use quite a bit of mana up as we go through the game but hopefully your items that you find throughout the game will give you uh, that uh, boost so you don't actually have to waste your points in energy then so now as you can see on this right hand side the paladin has so many so many so many uh, skills to choose from um you've got defensive auras which will give you obviously protection in some way or a little boost in uh, another way you've got the three resistances you've got fire cold and lightning one point in it gives you 52 percent which is awesome that's a huge amount for just one point so even a one point one day is great um we will be coming back to some of these because these actually act as synergies 
uh, for uh, other abilities and other builds and in future we will be doing some other builds because the paladin has got so many builds that you can work with uh, it's not just a one trick pony or even a two or three trick it's like a seven trick it's got loads uh, you've got defiance which is great for defense now there are builds where you use your shield to the max and defiance is a good synergy for um, a skill that we, we will talk about in a little bit uh, called uh, holy shield now uh, you've got some prayer you've got some cleansing and you've got some meditation these are based around your your mana recovery for your party uh, around the reducing the uh, length of like curses and things like that and then prayer uh, regenerating your life um, of your party so um, I don't have to use many of these they've got their situations that they could be used in um, obviously being an aura uh, it's great for a group but it's also very good on his own now vigor is a fantastic skill to make your guy so fast and because vigor is a synergy of blessed hammer when we do run the blessed hammer vigor is going to be a great one to have uh, to get us just running around the map quickly switch then our skill when we're ready to fight and then once we finish fighting switch back to vigor and we're running around like crazy it's great um we've got then redemption um which is a way of um getting some uh, life and mana from dead bodies um it's it's a, it'll keep people that are dead uh dead basically so not revived um salvation a fantastic skill of giving you all resistances 60 percent um even if you put one point into that that is a handy skill if you ever come up uh, against uh, creatures that are giving you uh, problems with fire lightning cold um it's a very 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 handy skill now there we go offensive auras uh, we've got Might to give you extra bit of damage. You've got Holy Fire, which this is the route we're going to be going around uh, because uh, Fire early on in the game is very, very good uh, uh, through normal. Uh, you've got Thorns, which just hits uh, the enemies to end up killing themselves. So some people do a passive Paladin, which is quite cool. Blessed Aim increases your attack rating. That will link up to our Hammerdin later. Concentration is also um, one that we'll end up doing with the... Um, the blessed hammer it really does help it greatly uh fanaticism is amazing uh for the paladin builds because you increase your attack rate in your damage your party damage and the attack speed it's freaking amazing uh you've then got your holy freeze and you've got your holy shock now there are a uh you can have a holy uh, freeze paladin you can have a uh, you can have a uh, they call him the tesla din um who is just lightning like crazy but if you look at the synergies you have Resist Lightning gives you a boost of 12% damage. Uh, resist Cold gives you 15% cold damage. And then Fire Resist gives you 18% fire damage. So Fire Resist is going to be really handy for this skill. So if you have any spare points here, we'll use the Fire Resist here to boost up that skill. Uh, Sanctuary, not many people use this one. It's really an undead uh, for undead creatures, but there's not many. There's not many. Pally's going to kick ass. Oh yeah. Conviction. One of the best auras to get um, for the Paladin. It reduces the defense of an enemy and re re uh, reduces the resistance to all. Um, the, the resistances of fire, lightning, cold, poison. Uh, one point minus 30%. That's a big difference. And you can end up breaking people's immunities by having high conviction. Lastly, combat skills. We have got Sacrifice. Early on, a fantastic skill. It really is. And when people think, oh yeah, but I'm losing health. I'm going to die if I keep hitting. No, 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 don't worry. 8% of damage to yourself. 8%. It's nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Plus, doesn't use any mana. So, early on, worth a point. Then you've got Zeal. Uh, if you keep it uh, to maybe one, uh, two to three hits, it's not so bad. You don't want to, if you go much higher... Um, it does uh, cause you to get locked in so into like once you click he has to hit the amount of time so if, if you're in a dangerous area and you click to hit someone and then you've then been knocked you've got to finish your hits and then what happens then is all those other creatures gather around you and then just swarm you and destroy you so be careful with uh, with going too high with zeal early on uh, there are some really good end game builds that will use this to the max um but you've got to be able to have that speed and defense and uh power to absorb anybody that might end up uh, causing a lot of damage to you uh, vengeance is a lovely one for fire cold and lightning damage to your weapon 
uh, or to to your to your ability. You can go around and um, get a lot of the mixed damages. Uh, conversion, never really use this one. Um, chances to convert like seven percent on your first skill point, like. Yeah, you can build. You can be like a necromancer. You can convert all those enemies and have an army. <laughs> but that could be quite a fun one to build in future. Who knows? Uh, Holy bolt, um, good way to heal your 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 allies in the game, uh, and is good against uh, undead. Um, but it is a pre uh, prerequisite to blessed hammer. This is the one we're going to be going with. Blessed hammer summons a hammer to. Sp spiral around you or spiral around in like an arc and it does massive amounts of magic damage now i have to explain this most creatures in this game do not have an immunity to magic damage they have immunities to fire cold lightning poison physical but there's not many creatures in this game that have immunity to magic so you will find that the paladin can get through this game with very little creatures being resistant to his attacks uh, you can I think there's literally a handful literally like one hand maybe maybe two at the most but um, I don't even think it is two two hands is ten ten creatures no um, but uh, when you get to hell you'll find there's a lot of creatures with immunity and using blessed hammer you will get through them so quickly because none of them have an immunity to it so it means that you will be doing damage to them and getting through it then we got fist of heavens which is a one like a single attack um it's it is quite good if you go in one on one one on one one on one but as you know diablo games are very much like mobs um so it depends on the style of play you go with but this can be a very good skill uh, to go with and this is synergized with holy bolt and holy shock um now the shield ones you'd be surprised that the shield ones are actually very very good so you've i'll, I'll talk briefly about these two first and then i'll go back to the first one so we got charge uh, which allows you just to just charge at your enemies you cause a bit of damage um but mainly it's great for running around really fast because you just charge uh, halfway across the map uh, now holy shield is even if you put one point into this is fantastic it does massive amounts of blockage um, and it just boosts you massively in the defense front um, I always recommend getting at least a point in holy shield even if you're only using it every now and again but if you go for a build you can max that out and you will be so so defensive that nothing will barely get through to you now we go back to this one now smite will stun enemies it's a very like one-on-one -on -one hit sort of um uh, it's not group based one like an aoe one like maybe blessed hammer is uh but it never misses it is a guaranteed hit doesn't matter how powerful the enemy is you will hit them guaranteed it does not uh have the issue of attack rating uh it always hits now this is a a skill that you'll see a lot of people playing against the hardest creatures in the game uh, when you get to the end game of Ubers, which are the uh, Uber Diablo, Uber Mephisto, and Uber Bale. A smite or a smiter as a paladin will absolutely tank them and destroy them with the uh, right skills and the right equipment. Uh, you can absolutely destroy them compared to all other characters that seem quite powerful but just can't finish off those creatures because they heal massively they got massive health pools uh, resistances etc but the smiter is an absolute op so without further ado let's start our journey now that we know what we're dealing with let's go speak to akara the first lovely lady and let's get that quest it's, it's night time already. <laughs> it's always night time. Now, I do start off by throwing my shield down. Um, just because it's, uh, it, it's quicker um, early game to not have a shield. Um, because there is a higher chance of you blocking than you getting into hit recovery. Now, hit recovery is um, when you get basically knocked back. So when these creatures end up hitting you, they have a chance of obviously knocking you back. If they do enough damage to your health pool but because they're so low level um it's very uh, rare that they will actually put you into hit recovery so um we take the shield off meaning that we don't actually get the block animation now the block animation there we go so okay so we got the den of evil here so i'm gonna pop the teleport there and then i'm gonna move on to get the warp point for the next area just to save time luckily got a uh 
luckily got a, uh, <laughs> a teleport back for that. Um, this lady is shooting all these, thank you. I'll do that. So just as you get through here, if you notice, I've been following the road. Um, because the road is the way to the next area. Act 1 is very much giving you a guide. Um, it guides you with all the roads um, to get to where you need to get. So, there you go. We've got the war point for Cold Plains. It's just outside the entrance there. Uh, we'll go back to town now and we'll hop into that portal that we just made. In the meantime, if I have enough gold... I'll pick up the gold just in case I get... It's only worth one gold. Because um, you start with it. So, basically, what we're looking to buy is a scepter, but it's, it's going to cost us 350 gold, okay? Uh, this is the perfect item, 350 gold. Unfortunately, I do not have um, enough. 216 and 74, that'll be, what, 280, 290. Oh, I'm so close. Damn it, so close. So close. And that's the thing, if I go back out of town now, um, I'm going to be without... Um, uh, this will refresh because I've left town um, and I've got no other items to go with. Um, so, um, I am going to just keep this. Now, this portion here is handy because if we come across any groups, I can switch to it by pressing W uh, and then I can throw these potions and they explode in their face. So that's a shame. 350 gold would have been great um, to uh, get that scepter. Scepter is the first weapon you should be looking to get as the uh, paladin. Um, so I do recommend you doing that. A ring, thank you. See, now if I had that ring, I, I could have sold that ring for 350 to get the, to get the, um, the scepter. There we go, we got our first level up. So the first level, level up, we're going to go with the skill, Might. Now this is an aura based one, which gives us increased damage. So get Might on as soon as you can. And stats wise, I always go for Dexterity first. I always want to just be able to hit people a little bit better. Uh, I go with Dexterity first. And then after that, we, we, we'll pop up the Dexterity maybe one more time. But then we're going to go Vitality, Vitality, Vitality. Now, if you notice, I've just gained a shield. He's now popped a shield on me. Um, but I don't want the shield. There we go. So, kill kill these guys first, the shamans. They're a pain in the backside. I do pick up everything, but then once I get overburdened, um, I do tend to then throw down the uh, arrows and the boats because they're not worth a lot of money. But if there's very little drops on your first run through this, uh, this game... Uh, or this area, um, you may as well pick up everything because it'll give you a chance um, to get as much money early on uh, to buy your equipment that you need, to um, replenish potions, etc, etc. Okay, I think he just revived someone down here. God, you got to be careful because sometimes they can revive them from quite a distance and then you're running around looking for who, who's still alive in this place. Um, but... Yes, always kill the shamans. The shamans just re-raise those guys and it's annoying. Now, the reason we say we go with the scepter, uh, the scepter has an extra bit of uh, damage. Um, it does undead damage. So, like, this sword doesn't do any undead damage. So, if I'm fighting undead with a scepter, I'm doing even more damage. Uh, which, hey, why wouldn't you want that, eh? Okay, so we got a club and we got... Is it cracked? Bows and daggers and stuff. I can't carry so I can't carry anything, drop the boats. There we go. So the club is actually two socketed, one to six. Um, it's not as good as the one I got. I am getting some of these potions, so if I pop them there. There we go, I got max potions. So if I ever need to um, kill a big group of creatures, um, I could, and if I wasn't doing much damage, um, I could always use the fireball um, to, uh, the fire potions to uh, deal with them. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've done the might option. So now let's go and we'll get sacrifice. Okay, so it ain't no sacrifice. Uh, so we pop sacrifice on. There we go. 
The sacrifice does um, does obviously make us bleed, um, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we'll get some vitality now. There we go. So you hear that noise there, that little <laughs> noise? That is sacrifice trying to do more damage to these guys. Um, but as you know, like it's, it's early game, so these guys usually will die in one hit. But there we go. Killed him in two hits, where usually that takes about three hits to kill. Uh, so sacrifice just adds that little bit extra um, damage to us so we can kick these guys in the nuts but just be prepared that you are going to miss a lot with um having obviously such low like dexterity so we're going to try and take out these zombies there we go get rid of them now he's the tougher one but he is dead oh that's a good drop okay overburdened we know okay so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of what did we say get rid of arrows and bolts and don't you worry there we go we've got the leather armor so i'll identify the leather armor because that is massive compared to a blank one thank you uh, and i'll identify the amulet which is energy cold resist attack rating nice it's not bad uh, I'll identify the ring for one to mana. Don't really need it, but I will sell that later for the money. Because we're all about money, money, money. We uh, see, he's just revived him from absolutely miles away. See, absolute miles away. Got to be careful with the shamans. They will revive them, and it's an absolute pain in the backside. There we go. So let's get that. So there's literally only a few creatures left to kill. All these zombies, and then we can leave this place. Because the quest's been updated in the corner on the left. And kill this one, and there we go. We are done. Head back to town. My duty here is done. His duty, his duty to do. His duty is done. Okay, so now we're gonna buy the scepter. You have to. He's, she's given us a skill point. So we have got uh, might, sacrifice, and then what else do we do? Well, our next goal is holy fire, but we can't get to level six. So if you have a look at the bottom, the uh, bonuses come from resist fire and salvation. Well, I can do res resist fire right now. So, first point might, second point sacrifice, and then I go in the resist fire option. So yeah, there we go. Oh, I need to sell stuff. All right, so let's sell some of these. There we go, get a little bit of cash for them. Now, mana, we don't need it. We don't need it, so let's get rid of it. Uh, potions we might sell later. I've already got a full batch there. So, I got 693, so let's hope for a nice... Now, we could buy this one, it's just 350. But if I go out to town and come back in, I might be able to find that... That two-socketed one that I found before. Um, no mana? Yes, so early on, mana isn't a big issue. I'd rather have the gold. I'd rather have the gold early um, than keep the mana. Because uh, I'd rather have uh, be able to buy these, um, these scepters. Uh, but mana becomes a big thing then once we do turn into um, into the blessed hammer. But yes, I am totally with you there, Fox. Mana, no, no mana, blasphemy. I know, I know. I am all about the mana. I love the mana. But sometimes you just don't need the mana. Now this one is worth 3,000 with two circuits. Damn it. Um, 3,000 two circuits. Uh, we've literally got this on one socket now. It's not the best, but we'll play it We will use this one just so we can get the damage There we go. So we've got our first one now. We do need to buy a book, but that's gonna cost 300 I've only got three four four so I'm gonna sell a couple of these Add a little bit of boost, but initially I'm going to just buy Two two of those and then I'm going to stock up with some stamina's just to keep me going um, And then yeah Back to it, back to it. So we don't need to actually go to, um, go back to the Den of Evil. We just move on with our quests now. And go to Chassis. The Chassis may have a belt for us, but not yet, too early. Now, other things you want is two socketed helmets like this. I would buy it if I had the money, but it's too early on. I don't have the money. So, back to Cold Plains, here we go. This was the uh, one we found earlier. So let's have a look. Experience shrine, yes, please. Now we're fighting a big group here. So if I if I throw down here, there we go. There we go. Like seriously, just wipe them out. Wipe them out with fire. So much easier. There we go. 
plenty. And now we got cap. There we go. New skill. Okay, so same again. We're not ready to get into holy fire. So back into fire resist. Uh, stat wise now, I am going to take up dexterity to 30. That's probably where I'm going to leave it um, for now. Uh, I could take dexterity to 30, I think it's 34, uh, which will allow me to like use flails later on. Later on. Um, I think it's 34 or 36. Um, but we can check that when we get to Act 2, because uh, that's where flails get used uh, the most. Or oh, that's where you can purchase them just from the shop. Um, there we go. Need to just pick up the gold as best we can. Now, stamina, obviously, you want to keep an eye on your stamina. I'm going to go for the cap, just so I got a cap. My lovely cap. Now, these guys, I don't tend to stick around too much for. If they're my way, I'll hit them. But um, I want to just get... I want to be able to be killing big groups. So, okay, let's have a look. Any uniques in there? No, just main, main guys. Same again, you can just throw some bombs. Don't know why that did that. Ooh, a charm. Thank you. There we go. Just get some kills in. Get the XP up. As you can see, them being undead, I am killing them so much easier um, than if I was killing normal. Oh, they're not undead. They're demon ones, aren't they? Okay, so here's the exit into uh, into the burial burial grounds, which is giving this you the second quest. Now, I don't tend to do the second quest. Um, the second quest... If you want a mercenary, guys, head and go and kill Blood Raven. Now, Blood Raven, she is a little tricky, but having extra damage against undead, uh, you'll do a lot better against her. Um, but she is a little bit of a tanky girl, uh, uh, being an archer as well, which is weird. Uh, an archer tank. <laughs> um, but I do recommend um, just carrying on to Stony Field, which will just be following the road. Uh, in Act 1, following the road is your best friend. There we go. So we'll try and pick up as much of the heavier equipment, like armors and things like that. But the ones you want to look out for are wands, scepters, anything with... Uh, so rings, amulets, anything with uh, plus the skills will give you a good boost. Um, so it's always worth keeping an eye out for those items that drop. Chip skull. I don't want to put a chip skull in my scepter. I'd rather have something like cold. Um, cold or fire or lightning. Um, or even poison. I wouldn't take... I'd take an emerald. Okay, so there's a unique... So these are minions. You want to kill the minions, but you also want to kill the big guy here. He is blue, which I'm not so keen on. As you can see, attack rating is a bit poop. But look at that. One hit one hit now look look at this we will want to be cold um we will want to have uh cannot be frozen later on in the game it is going to be a vital um piece of equipment for us uh, to have on our stats um same again we're not level six for holy fire so all we do is resist fire because it's going to make holy fire awesome when we get there so, follow the road again, Stony Field. I don't know what that shrine was, anything good? Gem Shrine, okay, Gem Shrine. This is handy, I got a chip skull, that could turn into a flawed skull if we want it. So I gotta remember that there if we come across another gem later on. Um, let's have a look. A key, may as well pick up a key. Now, you will see that there will be stones just off the road. They're always off the road. Um, this is where you actually teleport to Tristram, it's these guys. Now, a little tip, if you've got these potions, use them on these guys, but I will go back to town now that I've got all this. Sell a few, but what I can do is uh, recharge them. Um, so, I've got a two-socketed item here, uh, leather armor. You want to be having a two-socketed item for creating a rune word later on. Um, and then I'll sell all this here um, to get a little bit more cash. Now, I'm hoping maybe the two-socketed thing comes back. So I'm not going to identify that. I will identify this. For to mana. Sorry, guys. <laughs> For you mana, people. Uh, Rejuves are handy to keep, but if you need the cash, I uh, I would recommend selling them. Uh, keys, uh, we're selling. Uh, I don't need the, them. I'm sorry. I know. I'm getting rid of the mana, okay? I'm sorry. Um, so we've got 2,000 now. So I'll buy a couple of bucks. There we go. So I've got then um, at least 
a few things to sort me out. Now, the ring, this ring here is with 958, or I get one mana. I'd rather have the 958. It allows me to do it. Now, this is with nearly 3,000, but it's got quite a few things that um, I, I like on that. It's got a bit of attack rating. It's got some cold resist. I'll keep that for now. But if I'm short on cash, I could easily sell that with no issues uh, at all. So, same again. I'm going to buy a few more staminas. It just helps me run. Keeps me going. Um... And I don't think... Uh, no, I haven't picked up any gems yet, but I know that, that there's that gem shrine that we That's really want to get in a bit. So, still no big belt, um, but can we get a two-socketed helmet? Yes, we can. 337, fantastic. Um, and let's pop that back there. So the helmet is two-socketed as well. Handy... F Actually, it's probably better than that anyway. So I'll uh, pop that out. And if I get any gems like rubies... Um, then that'll be great to add to life uh, and keep us going. Now then, let's head on back out. And hopefully we'll find... Oh, I didn't do the recharges. So I, I didn't do the recharges of my um, my fire potions, but you, I could easily have done that, but I didn't. So I'm taking out the minions first, because Rakanishu is a bit of a pain. So if I can take away... If I can take away just him... There we go. There we go. So as you can see, he does hurt. He does hurt quite a bit, but he did. So you want to kill all of them. Anyone with a wood minion on it is going to be a lot of uh, XP. It's going to be 500% XP. Maybe Akara could dispel the mystery of these stones. There we go. So the stones, you need to obviously um, sort that out. We found the waypoint as well, which is awesome. It's a very good waypoint. More portals. Great. And now we're going to exit into the underground pass. Here we go. So, underground pass, there's, seems like it's two ways. So one of them's this way. There we go. Come on. There we go. Like, everything is literally one hit right now. Uh, that's going to be ethereal, so that's not going to be worth it. Ethereal, when, when something's ethereal, it loses a great deal of value. Um, so just be aware of that. There we go. Skimitar. Okay, these guys are going to be tough. Yep, there's a champion one there as well. Lots of XP. Fire enchantment. So this literally had two groups. I know, I know. Come on, over here. Away from them, please. There we go. Managed to get them. Lots of XP. Thank you. So, uh, I'm not going to get that. It just takes up too much space. The axe, the shield, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. Okay, we might be able to hold something else like that. Here we go. So let's run ahead. Uh, and we're hoping once we get to level level six that we will switch into fire um, and we will do much more damage. There we go, chip sapphire. Now chip sapphire, that could give me uh, cold, um, cold damage if I want. Um, but what I might do is I'll go back to the stony field and upgrade it to a flawed one. Uh, and then at least then I'm doing a bit more damage uh, than before. And here we go. Holy fire. So we're switching holy fire. There we go. We now do fire damage. And we have a fire aura damage as well. Um, so we have now jumped up a massive amount of damage. And even standing near these guys will hurt them. Like that. Which is fantastic. So we're just following the wall. Um, following the wall around. Um, just to try and find the exit into the dark wood. There we go. Just kill as you go along. Anything that just gets in your way. And as you can see, it's, everything is more or less a one hit at the moment, which is fantastic. Uh, now we're going to go up this way, I think. There we go. See if we can find the exit. Nothing much there. There we go. And I'll just get my stamina going so I can keep... Oh, identified. Okay, so there's the uh, underground pass level two. So we know it's not that way go some gold uh what we're gonna do is just quickly check to the right here see if there's an exit there no there's not so we're gonna go this way uh the exit actually might be on the other side completely yeah it looks like it is uh so we need to now go go back now strangling gas potions vital little item here you do need to be level six for it strangling gas potions are much better um than uh the 
what do you call it? Fulm fulmin fulminating. That's it, fulminating potions. Better than those, uh, because it does poison damage, which obviously uh, you can put, put on a big group of creatures uh, and then they will slowly lose health um, to the poison over time, uh, which is great for big groups runaway sort of style. Um, you can do that sort of uh, hit and runs. Uh, really handy for like the Countess later on because the Countess does have good fire um, resistances. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on that. Um, <laughs> Okay, let's have a look. Welcome, Menturius. Welcome, buddy. How you doing? All right, so is this the exit up this way? So, so whenever you go, go into walk mode, switch that, and then switch it out. Is this literally dead? Yeah, it was dead end there. That's fine, so let's keep going. Is not everything in your way? Um, yeah, everything's in my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> um, so yeah, literally, as you can see, like I can stand ne near these guys, just stand here, and they'll they'll all slowly die. They'll all slowly die because of the flame. Um, but obviously, you don't want to just stand there. Okay, so this this area is going to be the wrong way, so we're going to stay clear of that area. Um, that's just going to take us into a. Um, so I tend to like group them together like this, and then just leave my fire, then do the damage. There we go. And as you can see, lots of XP. Got. So, carry on, because uh, in this area you'll see camps. Now the camps are not where you want to be. The camps uh, tend to be um, the wrong way, but we found it. There it is, Darkwood. So we'll kill a few of these guys. There we go. Come on. There we go. Oh, 29 gold. I love you. Thank you. Um, oh, damn it. Get back in there. Uh, <laughs> nice. Nice, dude. Hope you're enjoying it. Okay, so he's now got the same aura as I've got. So he's now doing fire damage to me. How dare he? Which could could be quite damaging, so I'll put a TP down. Because you never know. There we go. And a chip emerald. So now I'm actually going to consider doing the chipped emerald route. Uh, so I'm going to do rogue encampment there. I'm then going to go back to the stony field, but you got to make sure that you've only got one gem. So as I'm going to go with the poison one, I'm going to put the blue gem there, and I'm going to carry just the green one. Streaming there with both go. direction and magnitude. Oh yeah! <laughs> Welcome in, Malin. Welcome in. <laughs> All right, so we're going back to this gem shrine with that one emerald. Pop it there, and now we've got a flawed emerald. It now does 20 damage over four seconds. Perfect for there. We have now got a green scepter doing poison damage. Uh, so quite handy for, like, uh, one hits on creatures. Uh, hit, 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 hit. And then the poison will take effect uh, over four seconds um, to kill the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's quickly go and sell some of this stuff. There we go. Now we've built that. Uh, in the meantime, I'll pop in my potions. Uh, get rid of that and that. Uh, now, a few of these I'll identify at a chance. So, 463, 2 to strength. Nope. 203. Eight, okay, 881. Nice. 177. Uh, that was bad. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I'll get rid of the key. Some stamina potions. No mana for now. Uh, we'll keep a couple of these. Now, at a certain point, I am going to just keep my um, my manners. Um, just so that when I am ready to go with an aura, a uh, non-aura, a, a combat ability that is going to need um, a mana, then obviously I've got potions to replenish. Now, let's hope for a belt. No belt. No mass. Um, you could go for some gloves if you really want and if you do not have that two socketed armor You can have a look out for one in here and there's one there perfect 119 gold nice and cheap uh, Can you get a two socketed helmet again? No, we bought one earlier. There it is there. So we're hoping for uh, rubies in there um, And then this is going to be used for our um, um, For our um, Stealth it's our rune word. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> I say if you're playing a game right now, it is confusing whether uh, you're getting it from um, 
getting it from this game or getting it from your own game. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man, and hope you're doing well. Uh, we are currently go again through our uh, play guided playthrough for our Hammerdin. Uh, at the moment, we're still just in the early part of the game, so you haven't missed much, actually. Uh, we are still in um, Act 1 with, uh, I think it's level 7? No, 6. Going into 7. Um, so, yeah. So, all we're doing now is just killing, killing, killing. With our lovely fire skill. Okay, so follow the path, as always. Follow the path. Let them follow you. Let them come to you. Now, the dark wood does have something you need to get. Uh, you do need to get a scroll from a tree. Um, the scroll uh, is going to be able to then get Cain, which is the third quest in the game. Now, Black Marsh is where we do want to go. Is there a unique there? I think it was. Extra strong, so let's take him on. There we go. Bit of poison damage. Ow. So, he... His, his pals, his minions, are also extra strong, so be wary of that as well. So they will hurt, and as you can see there, the animation was causing me to lurch back, which means I was getting put into hit recovery. Um, so here we go, I'm going to uh, keep my vitality going, and same again, we are going to have a look what we're going to need. Uh, holy fire, do we need to do any of these? Uh, not until level 12 for zeal. We're not going down blessed hammer yet anyway and defensive auras We don't need to increase any of these so it's holy fire Keep putting those holy fires in um, <laughs> So let's have a look what we got here, so let's get the stamina running again uh, So what we're looking for now is the tree um, So I'm gonna go have a quick run these around in the dark wood to either find the tree directly or or to find the um, the what point, uh, so at least then I can come back here at a later date to get it, uh, whichever one uh, comes first. But our main goal is to get um, to the Black Marsh, to get to the Countess, because she is going to get us the runes we need, uh, which is Tal and Eth, uh, so that we can make a stealth item. Um, now, when you do become a Hammerdin, at level 18 that's the minimum you level for you to become a hammerdin uh, it's not I, I wouldn't advise it straight away because level one hammerdin level one hammer is not that great um, it gets good uh, further into the game um, a further levels at least um, so um, what I would say is um, at least get to maybe like 21 something like that that's why I would recommend 21-ish. Uh, you could do it at 20 as well. There's a few points you could uh, keep back, um, especially for uh, like the Radamant uh, quest. You could keep that one back. It's totally up to you how you feel comfortable to do it. Or you could wait completely until a full reset. Okay, here they come. So here are the minions. Let's take him out first. And let's kill his master. Where is he? There they are. Two of them. Kill him first. Kill the brute. There we go, poisoned. Boom, boom, boom. You're dead. Good night. There we go. So we touch the tree. This tree Get the scroll. And we're good to go. Kill a few of these guys. Thank you. Any good? So just refill ins. Refills, refills, refills. Uh, all we're doing now is heading on now to Black Marsh. We've found the warp point here. We don't need the warp point here anymore because we've done the uh, the scroll. Um, all we're doing now is um, heading to the Black Marsh to, either get, to get the warp point in the Black Marsh. That's the one you really want, is the Black Marsh one. Uh, because that's the one you're going to be using a lot of. These are worth picking up sometimes. They'll have a skill on for the Sorceress. Um, so do pick up them. They'll be worth some good. Um, I'm going to make some bolognese. Oh, the food talk is already starting. Sorry, YouTube. The food talk is starting. And anybody in chat that's not eating right now, I feel for you. So let's kill a few of those. So same again. I tend to, like I say, follow the road. But there's the, uh, there's the countess. Now, a big tip with the countess is uh, she tends to be on the edge. So this is classed as the edge. So river or wall. Uh, the countess is always near a, riv uh, a river or a wall. Um, she's never like just dead center of the map. Um, the only reason she'll be dead center is if there is a wall 
near the center um, so the center when I say center I mean like here and if there was a wall like here as a, like a little partition then that would be in the center it's the best way I could describe it so I'm gonna keep this shrine here when I go down into the um, the uh, the tower but what I'm trying to find now is the warp point so if I can find the warp point if it's nearby that'd be amazing but I'm gonna say that the warp point is actually gonna be more hiles away um, but well, we can hope. We can hope, everybody. Um, <laughs> hit, yes, indeed. Yes, Spiritfang. Uh, hit recovery is a bad thing. 100%. Uh, if you see your guy, guy recon... Look at that. Uh, two XP shrines. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we will, we will get them uh, ready for uh, next section. Uh, if I find another unique group, I may actually just run back and get it. Yeah, there's a unique group. So I'll get these guys to follow me. Extra fast, that's fine. Let's get the experience shrine. These are worth um, these are worth 500% XP. So experience shrine, even more XP. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you very much. Give me your XP. Boom, boom, boom. I am XP galore. There we go. Cool. Let's get rid of that. So I may as well just get the XP now on my creatures. Now you can switch run off by pressing R. Um, and and literally putting your walk on there we go so you just constantly walk but your stamina recharges okay you can do this just as an interval while your stamina is recharging or like i've done before is get um I can't carry anymore. get yourself uh, some stamina potions once you're fully run switch your run back on and away you go now bridge is going to be beer there we go let me pass gold and over the bridge we go so what point we want we want to find the what point same again i'm happy to kill like some creatures with the, my, my aura like that just run past them like you can do a very you can do a pacifist run of this game by just having auras on um there's the hall which is uh, a good place for xp if you want to fight some uh, creatures some um some tougher uniques and stuff uh, but the Countess is a place that I would prefer. Uh, it's a really welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome, welcome. So I'm gonna kill this, I'm gonna kill this thing. Tends to be worth a little bit of XP. Uh, okay, let's... Another XP shrine, bloody hell. Three experience shrines. Unbelievable, people. Unbelievable. So, still looking for that warp point. I can't seem to see it. I don't think it's there. There we go. So, keep looking. Keep trying to find it. There's the exit. So, I'm going to say the warp point's on this side further up. It's going to be around here somewhere. There it is. There we go. Found it. Okay, so we're going to go back to town. Um, indeed, Itari. This is now the uh, fifth, fifth tutorial. Um, there's two left. Uh, we are getting through them quite nicely. Uh, so I'm going to sell them. They're, gonna, they're not going to be worth much. And that's not worth that much either. So uh, key. I'll hold on to the key for now. Got plenty of portals. Great. Um, I'll just get some healings in. That can be popped there. And now we got some mana. But I'll sell some mana too. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Now, you can always look for your two-socketed one again. If you feel like only one socket's not enough. But because I got a flawed gem in there, I'm happy to stick with it. Now, I can go back to uh, Stony Field now um, to actually get Kane back. So, we're going to do that. But we're going to quickly look at a belt. Let's see if we can get one. Nope. Now, the belt I got is a low-quality one. This has got poison resist. Do you want it? Am I going to switch it out? Yes, I'm probably going to switch it out later, so don't bother. Keep an eye out for two sockets. Sometimes you'll get them, and if you can't, you just pop back out and pop back in. So we're going to Stonyfield first. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm here to pass on my Diablo knowledge to all the people in Twitch and all the people in YouTube. Uh, burn them all with love fire. <laughs> Something like that. So that scroll now has been upgraded by Akara. Um, so we just type in the codes. The code is actually in the scroll if you want to read it, uh, but you could just click them randomly and it will activate them for you. Uh, Malin is going full on, kill them all. Okay, 
kill them all. Tragic end to Tristram. <laughs> Destroy them all. So, Kane, release him straight away. Now, we got these. Now, I could go back to... I think it was the Black Marsh, and it had uh, another experience shrine, and I could come back and kill all these guys and get extra XP. It is worth doing, but I'm keeping one of those... Um, I'm keeping one of those uh, experience shrines for the uh, tower because the tower is going to have a lot of unique creatures. Now you come over here and you literally pick up all the gold from that dead body. Pick up some throwing knives are another good item to pick up. Uh, worth 450 gold for such a small item. Fantastico. Same again now. We look at it. Can we do any new ones? New ones that we don't want? Nope. We go back into holy fire. Boost up your holy fire big time. Now, what I'm going to do now is my health is 130, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm actually going to take strength up to 30 now. I'm going to leave that at 30, and I'm pretty happy there. Um, and so the, ne the next year will be Dune 2. That knowledge should be kept. Yes, Dune 2. I love Dune 2. Um, that knowledge that I had in that game back in the day. Uh, okay, back to the Black Marsh. Um, we've got the warp point. We know where the exit is. Stamina Shrine will be handy for me now to run back this way. Uh, but I will pick up that shrine before I go in to the, um, the tower. Uh, time for me to cook some dinner. I've got chili tonight mm, with homemade cheese top burrito. Uh, Going to be amazing. I bet it is, my friend. I bet it is. So, there we go. There's the experience shrine. In we go. Now, on every floor of the tower, there will be a unique to kill. Um, you can you can end up finding them like straight away. Um, but in most cases, um, they'll be running around or in a select section. Now, here is a ghost unique. Now, ghosts are a bit of a pain. Uh, sometimes it's worth... There we go. Wands. We want wands. Remember I said wands are handy. Ones are worth a lot of money, so set a lamb, get my wand, thank you. We'll identify that later. So we've killed the unique group, just move on now. You don't really need it. Now some some areas do have um, more than one unique. Uh, they'll sometimes have two uniques. Um, so nothing in this one. So if I go up north, there should be a unique group up here. So I'll have a quick look, see what's in here. There should be, there he is, and this fire enchanted uh, archer, I'm not really that bothered about a fire enchanted archer. Um, like the worst one is cold enchanted, or maybe extra strong or cursed. Those are the ones that are just annoying for an archer. Uh, so, uh, we will carry on regardless. Spectral hit is annoying, but let's see if we can, yeah, archers, as you can see, they're going around and they're, they are hurting. So just gotta try because there's just so many of them. So if you do like hit and runs, but in the if in doubt, switch to your poison, throw a poison. There we go. Throw the poison down, and there we go. Wipe them out. Nice and easy. So you don't always have to fight them on like even terms. Fight them on your terms. Um, so there we go. Took them out a lot easier by using the po uh, the poison potion than I did with my uh, big scepter. Um, so let's go this way and let's get out of here. Now the other item I might end up picking up is like a two socketed skimitar and that is to create a, uh, a rune wood um, that is called um, steel or is it stealth? No, steel. That's it. Uh, which is a tear rune and an L rune. You can make steel. Or if you really want to make something uh, quite a powerful one, uh, you can make malice, which does end up hurting you. But with obviously healings, you'll be fine. Um, here's the unique group. Stone skin. That could be a bit troublesome. But we'll try it for the XP. There we go. Take him out. There we go. Can't carry him on. Not a problem. Throwing knives, thank you. Minion ghosts, still worth 500%. New skill, check again. Can we can we go down this route? No, we don't. Well, there, we can't go to Zeal yet. Level 12. Holy fire. And then stats, back into vitality. And away we go. Um, and there's the exit. And here's level 5. Ready for fightings. Um, 
<laughs> By terms, yeah, exactly, Itzuri, on your terms. That teaches us to fight dirty, hitting under the belt. Exactly, use the poison under the belt and you're good to go. Same again, I don't like the group. Throw a poison down, let them run through the poison. There we go, and just there. Leave them, leave them just die to the poison. There you go. And look, we've just picked up another strangling gas potion. I can't carry any. But apparently, I've got too much goddamn mana in my pocket. Um, but yeah, so if you need some money, great place. Great place to get some money. Just pick up all that beautiful money. If you're ever low on cash, great place just to pick some extra up. Um, same again now. We're just gonna bloody just get through here. And then we will come across the Countess Room. Now, the Countess Room is where we. Um, just restock that. There we go. Uh, damn. Don't want to do that. But she died anyway. So that's something. Okay, let's get the potions in. There we go. Awesome. And away we go. So in this room now, we will be focusing on uh, killing the uh, Countess uh, with our poison potions. Now, I'm killing their minions because they've been drawn out. There we go. There we go. Just literally just throw it down and let her poison herself to death. And there we go. Run through my poison cloud, you bint. There we go. And there she goes. She's dead. She is dead, and she's given me one of the runes I need, which is an F, and an F isn't too shabby. Um, in the meantime, I've got a set of gloves. Again, throw those. Not the best, but they'll do for now. Throwing axes, light belt. There we go. And just pick up all that lovely gold. There we go. All right, so now that we've done that, we can save an exit for the first time and head back. <laughs> yeah knife is fair and square exactly so we are currently level nine it's not a bad level up so far um level 12 we will be able to go into zeal now zeal is all about hitting more than once it'll be better than sacrifice um for the first um skill lock now i can go to Kane now and identify every single item in my inventory for free how amazing is that i know you have she also gives me a ring, so I've got a couple of rings to choose from. Five to mana, and one to mana after each kill. Now, you know what? I don't have any rings. We'll start getting some mana in ready. Uh, if we, we don't need the cash. We've got 7k. We're doing all right. Um, but yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, no worry, Italy. Thank you for the look, my friend. Uh, there we go. So let's sell these. Throw in axes. A potion. Pop that in there. Pop, sell it. And then buy it back so you can get full max 25 potions. Uh, belt 3 to life. Yes, please. Uh, 22 enhanced defense. 3 to life. Poison resist 5 attack. It takes damage. Or this is 3 to life. 4 to mana. Poison resist damage. Uh, that one is better. Um, 1090. Not bad. Um, and then it just got so many potions of mana which I don't need right now. Here we go. Fantastic. And then we'll drop these off uh, in our chest. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Menturius, for the redeem uh, of the glorious hydration. Uh, thank you, my friend. All right. So we do want to find a belt. Greetings. So let's see if we're lucky enough for Chassis to give us a belt. No belt yet. So let's go. I'm going to pop over to town, pop back in, see if we can get a belt. I'll try three times. <clears throat> so let's go back. So a belt is going to be a, it looks like two, two layers. No, it's just a normal light belt and a sash. Two more times. Let's give it a go. See you in episode three. <laughs> episode three, the hammer of doom. Yeah. Nope, nothing on that one. We'll do one more. There we go. And we'll see if we've got it. What can I do for you? Nope. Okay, unlucky. Did it change? Yes. It does change. I'll show you now. So let's have a look. Um, so 
So there we go, on this line here, uh, let's find a socketed, because that's usually a good way of doing it. Um, so here we go, this one is a 32% uh, enhanced damage leather armor. Let's go out. Does walking out even work? Yes. Back in. Good to see you. And there you go, see? Two, two to life, that one is now. And we got the belt. There it is. Perfect. Brilliant. Done. Proof is in the pudding, everybody. Proof is in that pudding. <laughs> Fantastic. We've got the belt we want, which now means we can carry uh, even more potions. And I can stock up. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So plenty of stamina potions to keep me running. Uh, let's go back to the counter. So we go to the Black Marsh um black marsh and we'll cross over the bridge get the stamina on experience shrine yes please kill a few of these guys not to worry spammy spammy deady dead thank you goodbye <laughs> there we go just help him where i can kill them all exactly exactly once we get to zeal, <clears throat> we'll find that we can um, do more damage. Nice group of creatures here. Try and take these out. They're going to be worth a lot of XP. Perfect. Sometimes it's worth taking a step back to try and hit them more. Um, but there we go. Dead. New skill. Same again. We're looking, can we push on? No, we cannot. So we're going holy fire. Happy days. New stat. Let's get more vitality. Because ultimately, you're a paladin. It's all about being pretty tanky because you're upfront and personal with a lot of the creatures. So what we're looking for is with this experience shrine is to find the unique creatures with their 500% XP. So there's the group there. So let's take him on. Stone skin, so he's a bit tougher. So let's try and reposition. There we go. Try and kill his minions. There we go. Last minion here. There we go, and let's move on. So we don't need to stick around for, for anyone else. Honestly, killing things like one-on-one, -on -one, look at that, I didn't even kill them. I just moved on. Um, I know the creature is up here, the unique, so I'm gonna go and find him. There she is, fire enchanted. I am a bit stronger this time, so take them on a bit more. There we go, so another group killed. And we'll just pop up. I just keep getting ma bloody mana potions, so I'm gonna just drink those, get them out of the way. Um, but yeah, literally, just keep trying to kill those uniques. Uh, once you get them across a cursed one, though, that's when it gets bad. Okay, so Fire Enchanted Archer again. So same again. I had that problem with these guys. But throw your potions down. There we go. The Ruby. Yes, trip Ruby, please. There we go. Come on. Get it on her. There we go. There we go. Poisoned. She should die in a sec. There, she dead. She be dead. Thank you. So stats again, have a look, combat, nothing, no, 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 holy fire again. There's a scimitar, now if that's two socketed, that'll be ideal for future. It's only one, so that's no good. Um, we'll pick up the keys and we'll get the stat going, thank you. Um, and then what we want to do with this chip gem is pop it in our socketed helmet. Our health will go from 183 to 193. Happy days. Extra health is all good. So yes, be a tank so you can take the hits, then just hit back. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And what's great about this build is you're literally running past a lot of creatures and doing the fire damage anyway. And the low level creatures will just die a little bit of XP. It's not major XP, um, but it'll do. So unique group in here. There it is. Champion. It's not unique, so that is a champion group, which is worth 300% XP. There we go. It's not as much XP, but it's XP. It's more XP than you get normally. Now, if you find that you are actually dominating in these areas, that you're killing things so quick that, um, that it's not even a challenge for you anymore, well, make the game a little bit harder. Literally type in, and this is only for um, single player guys, uh, make the game harder for yourself. Type in, uh, so press enter, and then you put backslash, um, players and then increase it so players two three four five six all the way up to eight um so if you're really confident and you're thinking like i'm absolutely one-shotting everything take it up a bit further but at the moment i'm 
I'm finding that the archers are hurting me quite a bit, so uh, I'm going to leave uh, it at players one for a little bit longer. Uh, when you're fighting the countess, make sure that players one is active uh, because you do not want to ruin her drop rates of runes by having too high of a player's count. There we go, another ring. So, let's get rid of the mana. Don't like mana. Not at the moment, anyway. Uh, mana can go to hell. No. Um, now, here we go. Three to energy, which is mana, but it's 28 to faster uh, faster um, attack rate. Uh, faster hitting. Uh, so, there we go. Energy, and it's giving me the mana anyway, so it does the job. Um, okay, so let's head up here. Uh, like when you play a mage. <laughs> Come on, chicken, we want to see eight. <laughs> you will see eight. You will see eight slightly later on when we're going into Act 2. I like going up in Act 2 with... Um, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I want a bloodbath. Okay, so same again. Throw the potion down. Poison the lady. There we go. She, she hurts quite well. She hurts quite well. But she poisoned now and she'll die. Come on, bitch. There you go. We got Tyrun and Eldrun. Okay. Tyrun and Eldrun. Okay. That'll do it for now. Now, the Tyrun can go towards my Skimitar. Two socketed Skimitar. Um, and which will create the Runewood uh, Steel. Um, or um, I could do a Neftir in a helmet and make a Nadir. Uh, as another option for a, uh, a helmet. Um, so, uh, I am happy though with going with um, order welcomes you. going with um, steel for my scimitar later on. So, let's identify that. That was worth it. That's there. I'm not going to identify that one. Five Tabana can go. They can go. Um, gem, I don't need those. Um, mana healing is okay. There we go. I still got plenty of stamina's and plenty of those. Cool. <clears throat> so the only thing I could think of now is I've only got one gem. If I had more more gems, then I could obviously put I could put ten mana in there if I wanted, and that was an option. But I'm gonna leave that for now. Uh, so we're gonna head now to see. Actually, can we get a two socketed skimmer? Because we'll want the two, two socketed skim attack because it's uh, a fast uh, uh, ca uh, fast attack speed. Uh, so when we do come to putting our rune in, it'll be uh, a good weapon what to use. Um, so it's a very uh, fast attack speed. So, Chassis is the best. <coughs> uh, Chassis is the best place to get uh, socketed items uh, early on in the game. Uh, so do always just check yes. with her, check to see what she got. Um, so nothing on that. Uh, act uh, is fun, but it's funnier when Elf uh, dies in hell. <laughs> no, no, no. Hell mod. When you die in hell mod, you actually lose XP. Uh, you also lose XP in Nightmare, but not as much as hell. Oh, there we go. We got a Saber. So it's a very fast attack speed. Two sockets. Skimitar is 2 to 8. Uh, this is 3 to 8. So a Saber is another option. They're both a sword class. So that means we can do it. So there we go. Saber is ready for uh, my um, uh, steel, uh, which is going to be a Tyr and an Elrune. Um, so I'll take the Tyrune and pop it in. There we go. And we just need a hope for an Elrune. So the items we're looking for now is a Talrune, an Elrune, and I won't say no to a RAL rune. I will not say no to a RAL rune. Uh, RAL runes are good uh, for their fire resistances. Um, so away we go again. So let's go to the Countess. Now, a lot of people, you guys can uh, you can stay here for a, a very long time. I'm level 11 at the moment. Um, you can come here and fight for oh, up until like level 14 if you want to. It's all possible. If you're finding you're kicking people's asses like we just did there, um, we can easily just up the up the difficulty which gives us more XP so I think we'll take it to players three I think players three is a nice uh, difficulty Let's see if we got any experience shrines there we go and we're gonna head out into the countess oh what you got what you got fire enchanted so I'll take you on a place three there we go white you out take out the all the archers because all the archers have got the benefit there we go 
lots of lots of mana apparently um but yeah let's move on into the next room hopefully you get xp shrine a refill it's fine and we go so we're going in through place three but when we get down into um when we get down into the countess we've got to remember to switch it back to players one otherwise we are going to affect the drop rates now let's see how we do against ghosts level three okay they've slowed me down because ghosts do have that cold enchantment there which is the one of the worst because look how slow i hit look how so slow i hit and there we go he's dead cool <clears throat> now then we're level 12 fantastic so this is where we can introduce zeal so we're going to introduce zeal now uh, and i'm going to pop up i'm going to pop up my dexterity to 35 at this point there we go and i'm going to switch out to zeal there we go so zeal now can hit two people uh, gives 10 percent attack rating and 12 percent extra damage so uh hopefully now with the fire and that uh, it'll boost me up nicely now this is just doing one one point there we go this now does drain your mana so mana is going to be used um so you will find that we actually will use potions so let's see if the unique one is around here no so no unique on this one for some reason so what i tend to do here is i tend to just pop out there and then i'll use mana in the three there Good for the ring one to maximum damage is going to be better than um, um is it gonna be better than that or the one to mana after each kill so zeal takes uh two mana and every time i kill someone i get one mana back which is way better than the is that five points of mana i'd rather have the maximum damage so i do one more damage uh, on my max um so i'm going to switch that up there okay so players three seems to be all right i could take it up to players five um we'll just see how we do it's just the archers i'm more concerned about right now they are a bit of pain in the backside there we go so what's good as well about zeal is if there's nobody around if there's nobody else around he will hit the same person twice um obviously great for when you're doing massive damage um so uh xp is flying up quite nice at players three so let's go um <laughs> okay let's go and go die now once we get down to level five we'll switch it to players one um and then we will fight the um we'll fight the cactus and kick her in the nuts there we go kill these guys happy days there we go so that's a champion group with 300 percent um there we go players so players one there we go so let's fight and kill our way through this but i think what's great is i am obviously losing i'm losing one man every time i'm uh, I can't carry him. every time i'm killing um killing a creature i'm getting one mana back after every kill it's got to be a kill it can't be um it can't be just injured you've got to get the kill Oh, chip topaz. Now that gives me magic find. So I've got a choice. I could either wait for another ruby for health, or I could put that in there and get magic find. And the first nine percent of magic find is the best. So let's go. Uh, be right back. Gonna have some eats. Oh, enjoy, enjoy. Oh, and a nine percent better chance. So I could literally go to eighteen percent better chance of magic item versus the maximum damage. Oh, you know what? Let's go magic. Let's find. Let's find some good items. Lightning resist fire resist two to life. Yeah, let's go with that. Sounds good. We've got some resistances now. Okay, so this is good. As you can see, Zeal is letting me hit all these people. And if you notice, I absolutely smash her now. And I get a double L. And that means we have now completed our, um, our favorite item. Um, we are actually going to get um, steel, which is great. There we go so let's get out and let's make that skimitar okay paladin let's go let's go let's go 
Okay, so there's the L. So there we go. We got the tear in. We pop the L in, and there we go. Boom, boom, boom. We have made steel, which is very fast attack speed, which is great for us. Enhanced damage, minimum and maximum has been increased. 50 to attack rated, 50% chance of open wounds, and look at that! Two to mana after every kill. Now zeal costs two. We have now made a weapon that makes zeal absolutely free if we kill a creature it's got to be kill got to be kill so i will keep this weapon on me um so let's move these over keep this on me it is a level 13 so i am currently level 12. so next level up we will be getting ourselves the steel uh, so sell these get money from those um a few portions Sell those, sell those. I will sell that, not so keen on the purple ones, because that will just give us strength. And there we go, we are good to go. So, let's go and um, do players. Let's see if we can do players five. Okay, so players five now, we're hitting it harder. <laughs> it is indeed, indeed spirit. Uh, is everybody keeping up on YouTube? Exactly. And is anybody keeping up on Twitch as well? Whoever might be playing along. Uh, with us right now or playing their paladin right now what a great time to do it okay we've got chipped amethyst again just amethysts through the wazoo there we go so we want to pick up the um we want to pick up the um the shrine so let's keep picking these guys a uh, bit of cold so as you can see we've been surrounded now because zeal has caused us to like slow down plus obviously the cold damage from the ghostly uh, character there uh, so we don't want to put any more points in zeal we're going to come in here and we're going to keep going with holy fire because that is the build we're going with uh, for now uh, because blessed aim is so far away so let's get vitality back up let's keep the health rolling up so what we got here experience shrine fantastic so let's we're on players five so we're going to be getting experience shrine at players five which is going to be awesome hopefully not too deadly let's see how we do okay we're doing all right mana is getting drained out because ghosts do drain mana and fire enchant's not the worst there we go not bad not bad this not bad well fam and an emerald happy days that was good xp everybody very good okay move on let's go um let's go here there we go so uh this one again i'm gonna have a look up here see if we can find the yeah so most of these creatures are like one uh, one to two hits um so i think players five is like the sweet spot um let's try and take these ladies out to 300 percent and we wipe them out beautiful absolutely beautiful okay get the stamina going and let's move on to the next level okay now archers like i said are not the the, the funnest to deal with as a male uh, a melee car character melee character um but chip sapphire so yeah pick up pick up the gems they're they're worth picking up people really are because you can use them for crafting skills as well crafting uh, using um wow chip giving me the gems now am i am i uh, does that help okay so we got the ghosts again so ghosts do cause um let's have a look i got crappy boots so i could ah, ah! They're terrible. thank you very much for the follow naum mw thank you very much much appreciated so here's another scimitar that could be a two socketed scimitar so we could use that there we go two socketed scimitar you could use it to turn your weapon into steel but as you can see we've already got it amazing steel thank you very much uh, but that is a perfect chance for you to make another weapon with two sockets in it uh, holy fire is where we're going and then a little bit of vitality to keep our health up so let's keep on going um yeah, I had no idea how to skill my hammer doing. He is now level 76, but I was just freestyling it with hammers and synergies. Nice, dude. Very nice. Um, so what I'm, what I'm trying to teach here, and this will be going up on YouTube, 
uh, is how to get your paladin through the game early on because obviously hammerdins cannot be used until a minimum of level 18. Um, so hammerdins you want to be focusing um, heavily once you get into the late teens obviously 18 19 uh, and then obviously into the early 20s now early 20s um, is when things start getting better because you can actually use the synergies and get things really going so for example let me just get back to players one for the countess um, is you want to get your blessed hammer up that is your main focus um, but your initial points are important. So blessed hammer at 18. Then you want to get a, you want your blessed aim probably earlier. So you want to get blessed aim uh, pre 18. So you might want to get that as your point 17. Um, you want 17, um, and then concentration you want at 18. So you want at least two points at uh, 18, possibly actually three points at 18. So you can actually have make sure you got blessed aim, get your concentrate. And then over in defensive, you want to make sure you can get vigor. So you're looking here at 1.2.3 point. So take away from 18 at 15. Uh, but you're looking at getting these points. Then into vigor to have your vigor to boost up. And then literally the way you're leveling it up is blessed hammer to 20. You want one point in blessed aim, one point in concentration, one point in vigor. And then every level after that, after you've got your 20 blessed hammer, is... Uh, concentration, blessed aim, vigor. Concentration, blessed aim, vigor. Concentration, blessed aim, vigor. And you're literally just looping around until you've maxed out all of those skills. Uh, and you should be, from right, should be in early 80s. So once you're at early 80s, you will be more or less maxed, blessed, a hammer on your base hammer now when i say base hammer i mean uh that you haven't got any plus skills in your uh, armors but by that point if you're at level 80 you will have found some unique items or some set items that will give you those extra boosts um thank you for your experience you're welcome um go for it uh, i'm gonna try max block set up around 80 yes that is another route to go where you're gonna go for your holy shield to really start doing some absolute massive blocking uh, and you would literally just become just a machine of just pure death <laughs> so as you can see the speed i'm hitting at with steel now is just awesome hitting through boom 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 the nephron <laughs> Nef room, you suck. Um, but yeah, we're hoping for a Tal rune. That's all we want right now. Tal rune to get us going. Once we've got the Tal rune, we will be happy. We are level 14. Um, we are running through the game quite fast um, with the leveling up. But we may as well get the levels now. So players 5, get the levels now. Because when we get to Act 2... We can do some farming with Beetle Burst if we're um, if we've got a good Beetle Burst. Um, uh, I'm not gonna. I don't need the skip attack. Um, <laughs> we um, yeah, we can get some uh, quite a bit of XP um, through Beetle Burst, um, and then more or less prepared then for um, for Act Three, which then. Is ultimately where most people get to level 18 with their hammers um, and that is obviously a great time to start getting there because you've got all those um, little fetish creatures which give you tons of XP um, and really get you going on the uh, on the XP front uh, aiming for level 24 before um, you leave Act 3 to 4 because you don't want to be level... You want to be level 25 by the time you get to Act 5 um, because otherwise you're going to hit the ceiling. You're going to hit... You're just going to go boof, straight up. Um, <laughs> you're literally going to hit an XP ceiling uh, where you will only get 5% of all XP in, the, uh, in Act 5. So... The way to do it is uh, if you're in Act 3 or Act 4 and you are level 20, 20, 21, you can go back to Act 3 um, and focus on killing um, creatures within the Rune Temple, uh, the Feigned, I think it's the Feigned Temple as well, um, and literally just gain your XP up. You can even do Chaos Runs if you really want. 
Um, but chaos runs can be quite difficult early on in the game. Um, once you've done it once, fire or armor? I think I got armor. Um, so I am doing. I did do players fight, didn't I? Yes, I did. Um, and then, way hello, ladies. How are you doing? You're welcome. Get away from me, Jesus Christ! Ladies, back off, ladies. Back off, ladies. I know you all want a piece of elves right now, but back the hell off. Okay, what glitch you got? Seven to poison. That is better than those. Thank you. Um, anything that's got resistances, get. Really worth getting. Okay, this is going to cold enchant me. So, there we go. Sapphire, some mana and healings. Thank you. And let's get the hell out of here. Run, 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 run. Stamina. All right. Okay, so same again. Uh, we're, we're looking for Talruns now, so we're not going for the XP as much. We're literally going to find the kill, the Countess. So any uh, unique bosses that might be too tough. Multi-shot, I do not want to deal with multi-shot. It's just too many arrow shots uh, across the board from all of those archers. So just run past them. Seriously. If, if in doubt, run past them. Um, like most of these guys, they just die from my burning. Look. There you go. <laughs> Uh, and then when you get down into um, get down into this place, you want to go to players one, nice and easy. Get down into players one, run into the room, kill countess, done, done, done. Bye bye. <laughs> Ladies, piece of elf doesn't go. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? It's high quality. High quality. High quality. Are you kidding me? Three Fs and an F. God damn it. It's trolling me now, people. It's trolling me. There we go. Paladin again. Let's go. So same again. I'll do players five. I could take it to maybe players seven, but I think I might be a lot slower with player seven. Um, I'll happily take it at players five and get that little bit of extra XP boost. Because uh, I will be going into level 15 shortly. Um, so, I'm keeping those, keeping those. Um, I will buy all of those and I'll buy all of those. There we go. So, I've maxed out my uh, my teleports, maxed out my identifiers. The way to do that is click shift, hold shift, and left click, um, or oh, right click on the, um, the, the uh, turn portals and the identifiers in here, and it will fill these up to the max of 20. So we got two Fs, we got three, four Fs, Jesus Christ. Like, <clears throat> uh, three, uh, three Fs make an Eth, uh, three Fs make an Ith. Um, don't need those. But four of those, like too many. I'll keep that there. There we go. So let's keep on going. Let's go. Black Marsh is here again. Skill Shrine, making my skills stronger. There we go. Nice. Um, <laughs> see, just, like just just running past them will just give you that little bit extra boost. Um, champion, see like one like, so fast, so skillful, like a ninja. Bam 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 bam. It's just too easy. Though. It's just too easy. So maybe player seven is the way to go with this weapon. <laughs> uh, same again now. Um, so you can, obviously, if you're going for Blessed Hammer, I'm not. I am going to respec. That is the best way to pick up the points that I wasted in Fire Resist um, and the points I've put into, um, into Zeal and that. I can get rid of them and get the points and put them into uh, Blessed Hammer then for my absolute boostness uh so same again let's go vitality keep that going for us and here we go experience shrine at and i am players five and i yeah players five experience shrine let's fucking go let's go let's see this xp bar fly uh apparently the point didn't get used so holy fire we're literally nearly level 10 with holy fire which is fantastic oh god it's cursed Curse will get rid of my if he kills me. No, that's fine. We did it. So, curse. If you've got a shrine above your head and then a creature curses you, you lose your shrine. It sucks. Especially if you've got like an experienced shrine. It sucks. So, 
do try your best to keep your distance from them um it is worth doing so if obviously you're a ranged character then you're going to be able to do this much easier but if you're melee there is a very high chance that they will curse you in their attacks so sometimes it's worth running in hitting them running back running and hitting them running back and try and avoid that hit because once that hit casts that spell it's game over man it's game over so stone skins, these guys are just a little tougher to kill, but that's not a problem. There we go, lots of XP. We've literally nearly leveled up and we're halfway through uh, the XP bar just by having this XP uh, shrine and all these good creatures. Um, let's do the same down here. Hopefully no curse, no another stone skin ghost, which is fine. An amulet I'll take all day long, but apparently you won't want to give it to me. Yeah, bastard. Uh, chip diamonds. No. Okay. So let's uh, let's pop these out. My thingy is going to go in a sack. Okay. So we'll just keep keep running. See if we can get the XP shred to keep going. Um, we do want to do. We do want to actually take it down to players one now because we're going down into the fifth area which is obviously where the cantus is and there we go boom let's go so it's still getting obviously xp boosted um but it's not as much as um players five then we go but i am using a um steel yay we got it everybody we got it let's get rid of that we want that one socket not ideal but it's something got the towel rune and an ith rune as a backup strangling gash potions do keep hold of them because they are handy even in act two and everything but we got it we've got tal f which means once we're level 17 only two levels away uh we will be able to wear uh stealth which will absolutely boost us uh with our cast rate now the paladin's cast rate is nine so these are the break points you got zero nine 18 30 48 75 and 125 these are the break points that you're looking to try and get to and just get over them now if someone reaches 30 which is great it means that your frames are uh, three times better than if you didn't have any faster cast rate uh, you're three times down so it means that um, the frame rate of um, like your attacks and things like that um, and your casts are just better they're faster so if someone's on 30 faster cast rate you're on that breakpoint. Perfect. Now, if someone has 47, okay, 47 cast rate, the next breakpoint is 48. Now, the person who's got 30 and the person who's got 47, they cast at the exact same speed. Just because this person has 47 doesn't mean they're better than the person with 30. So, if you're ever... Uh, looking at items that are giving you cast rate and you're on the low end of the break point wait until you know that you're going to surpass the next break point because you then if you're just getting cast rate that'll put you into just below the next break point it's a waste of that cast rate so you want to be able to go into the next one with with guarantee now shield wise i've picked up that, that one this one's slightly better um I could put a diamond in there and get all resistances 6, which will take all resistances 11. It's something. It's something. I'll do it for now. Now, this is great. If you can get a shield like this that's got 3 to 4 sockets, you can more or less max out your resistances. And you can do it all from chipped diamonds. If you've got 4 chipped diamonds, you can do it. It is very easy to do. All you need to do is be in Stony Field in Act 1 and you need to uh, go to gem shrines and each time you take one of the diamonds there to upgrade it all the way up to perfect and pop your perfects in there i have done this myself on my paladin my main paladin he is currently like level 50 he has got max resistances in normal nightmare and hell just because that shield is just so powerful with that uh, all resistances 
uh, statistic. It is amazing. I do have some other items which are boosting some of the resistances, especially when it comes to hell, but you can make a paladin so, so powerful uh, and resistant to uh, the elements. So let's uh, identify and let's build our Tal S. So here we go. We've got the armor. We've got Tal rune here. So Tal and then the S rune. S. And there it is. Stealth. Absolutely brilliant. 25% faster run walk. Great for a paladin. 25% faster cast rate. With this item alone, you are already breaking two breakpoints. The nine breakpoint and the 18 breakpoint. You are already in there with 25. We only need another 5% faster cast rate. So if we find a ring that's got 10 to faster cast rate, we're good. We are very good. We're in that 30 mark. We won't really then pick up another one with 10 uh, or another one with 10 because we'll still only be at 45 which is three below the next break point and why waste one of your slots for your rings or your amulets for that save it okay so your amulet with five resist six resistance to fire one to maximum fire versus um that which gives me a bit more overall two to dexterity attack rating one to mana i do like the mana um so let's get rid of these sell these boys and let's move on what let's go mean? kill and die me thinks so let's sell those um sell the chip skull ithrun now an ithrun can be used for malice you need ith l s which we do have it's ith l s that will create malice it's a three socketed item uh you can go with uh, a flail three socketed flail um definitely worth uh considering we are level what 15 going to 16 yeah we'll we'll, we'll level up soon uh we will level up very soon we think so uh let's head on to black marsh we're not doing the countess but we are going to take it up to players five to get the um the xp so let's make the game harder <laughs> chip um, uh, emerald why not so we're just moving on. There we go. There's a targe up there, but it's not a socketed charge. Targe. Uh, you want you want sockets on your targes or your rondashes. Rondash is that how you say it? Rondash. 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 Something like that. Um, yeah, but yeah, just run through these. Fire. Fire. Um, um, holy fire is just absolutely glorious when it comes to just running past creatures. You end up killing things by just running past them. Angling gas potion and level up. Nice. Uh, same again. Look at all the skills. Don't really need them. Same again. We're going to pop into Holy Fire. Why do we keep putting in Holy Fire? Because we want to do more fire damage. We're already hitting 95 at the top. At the top end. So why not keep up? Keep it up. Um, now, a two-socketed helmet could be quite good again. So maybe one socket. New. Move on. Uh, Stats-wise, same again. Life. Hello, ladies. Hello, lightning ladies. Don't know if they're ladies, but... There we go. Dead. All right, so we're just running ahead now. See how we can get into the inner cloister. This is the outer cloister. We want to get all the way to the inner cloister. Um, now, little tip with this. I always do this on the guide. If the warp point is here, the exit to the barracks is up that way that way now if the warp point is on this side the exit to the barracks is down that way and if the warp point is here and the middle is a cross like a like a boundary like this in a, in a cross ship and the warp point is here the exit to the barracks is up that way and that is how that map works nice and easy without with absolute guarantee and confidence the barracks is up this way how it would be so funny if I walked up there and it wasn't there and I was a knob. <laughs> but it is, okay, everybody? It is. It's there. Oh my god, it's. Oh, yeah, it is. It's right here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, people. Okay, there's a lot of you here. Okay, I'll let my fire do a lot of the damage right now. Okay. Okay, deal with you first. Thank you. Bloody hell, Hatchers. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's uh, let's just get in, okay? Let's go, let's go. So, our main goal. We want to find the uh, Roderick Malice for the lovely lady Chassis. She will be very pleased with us if we uh, give her that. 
Um, the n other goal then is to get through the jail. We the jail has um, three levels to it, and then once we've done the jail, we can get into the inner cloister. Uh, and that is where we will be then heading down into the catacombs to kill Andariel. Now, with Andariel, uh, you do want to look to bug her. Um, the way you bug her is, uh, you know. Put a pointy stick up her ass. Um, <laughs> no, um, the way to bug her is literally once you've killed her, uh, you want to head back straight to town through the portal she either generates or that you create. Doesn't matter which one. And then what you do is you go to Warive and you go uh, travel west. Or travel east, sorry. Not travel west. Travel west is the other way around. Uh, you want to travel east uh, straight away and then that will bug her. Uh, meaning that whenever you fight her in that playthrough, be it normal, nightmare, or hell, um, she will be bugged to the point where she will drop you uh, all her quest items, which is the quality um, of you killing one of the bosses for the very first time. Otherwise, what you will do is you'll end up just fighting her at her base uh, level. Ah, get away from me, there's too many of you people. Okay, if you find this guy quite tough, if you have a well nearby, drag him to the well and then use the well to drink and uh, heal yourself. How amazing is that? We got the hammer. Great. And now we're just going to head over to the, um, the exit down into the jail. Away we go, I say. Away we go. Uh, now, you can play this game at any speed you feel comfortable with. If you think, uh, like a lot of people be doing, might be on Act 2 by now. And that's great on you. This Fair play no to you. You may be lower level than me in, in Act 2. And that's fine as well. Ultimately, you want to be playing where you're comfortable. Uh, I am currently playing all this on difficulty 5. Um, so I am gaining a little bit more XP. Uh, so when I do get to Act 2, uh, I'm either going to find it a little bit easier than if someone got there at a, uh, at a lower level. Um, but I feel more comfortable with having stealth. I feel more comfortable having my uh, steel. Um, it's worth looking at the runes. And like some of you, you may still be doing the Countess runs. And that's absolutely fine. You may be looking for... No, you know what? I want those two RAL runes. And you may do, do 50 Countess runs before you get two RAL runes. Um, or you might just do two runs and you'll, get, and, you'll get, and you'll get them. I've had runs where I've literally had four RALs. I've even had three RALs drop in a row. It's insane sometimes, the RNG in this game. Now, um, the RAL runes are really handy because they can give you fire resistance. And if you have a helmet that's got two sockets in it, then you can literally uh, be so immune when you get to Act 3 that you needn't worry you needn't worry about all those creatures that end up wiping your health out because of fire. Now, whenever you get this aura around you, you take 100% more damage to physical. So do be careful if you do have that aura across your head. Uh, it is a dangerous one. Um, but same again, if you feel comfortable, carry on regardless. Sacred globes, some of them can be good. There we go. That, that could be worth some. That's going to be worth nothing. <clears throat> the reason it'll be worth nothing is because uh, it uh, didn't have any skills on it. It only had um, it only had um, sockets on it. Uh, so that's going to be worth no debt, nothing, nada, nida, nuda, nuda. Okay, so we're going up, keeping going. Not really focusing on many to kill right now. Uh, but if we do level up now, we will be level 17, which you know what that means. Yes, we can wear stealth. So I can go back to town, pop back quickly, and get my stealth. And I will run faster, cast things faster, but obviously, because I'm not a caster at the moment, Blessed Hammer, though, is casting. So um, when we get to do a hammer respec, um, we can do some sick damage. Um, so let's see if we can find the exit quickly. If not, let's see if we can get some level ups. Oh, here we go. Some uh, champions. They'll give us the XP that we're looking for. There we go. Take that. There's another one up here, I think. There's a blue one then. A blue one? A ghost. Oh, just a ghost. <laughs> hey, cute deco. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Malleable rabbit. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in all the new people. Popping in. We are currently running through our um, our build for the Hammerdin. 
Uh, we are currently on our way to kill the final boss. Um, and it is going pretty well, I will say. Now, I'm uh, trying to find the exit here. Can't seem to find it there. Is it going to be down here? That would be an absolute troll if it is. And boss. <laughs> so, that's the one thing, is finding and learning the maps uh, can be a big bollock. Lightning resist 7. Nah, don't need that. Uh, you obviously can weigh up what resistances you uh, find are the most troublesome. I would recommend some lightning resist for uh, Act 2, because you are going to come across the uh, the scarabs. But the scarabs can be troublesome if, uh, if not uh, taken lightly. Um, they, they can really, really hurt you. Uh, they can wipe out your health quite quickly. Um, but if you are able to get down to the Blessed Hammer by that time, it does come a little bit easier by uh, launching your hammers early. Um, and then they walk into it and you're still at a distance from them. So very handy indeed. Um, how's your days been, my friends, over in the Twitch chat? And there we go. Level up. So we're level 17 now. The same again. I'll keep just doing f uh, Holy Fire. Um, stats, uh, we're going to just keep going with Vitality. I may look to uh, do my next couple of level ups as um, Dexterity and Strength, just so uh, it makes it easier for getting um, getting the Flail, and I will show you the difference between the Flail and the uh, Skimitar. Um, obviously, they've got their pros and cons for each one, um, but Malice can be quite good because it's got some massive stats on it as well, uh, just like we do have on Steel, which does have all those stats there, and that is a home, um, kind of like a home run uh, re uh, weapon rune word early on in the game for any melee build, so a barbarian or a paladin, very handy, even a druid, um, that would be quite a good build. Um, where the heck is the exit? Is it literally like there? That is the worst. That is the worst. Unbelievable. It was literally to the right. Shocking. I ran all the way around. That was shocking. Maps are definitely hard to read. A double amulet drop? Jesus Christ. Let's go back. So I'm going back and I'm now going to wear stealth. So here we go. Stealth armor. Uh, voila. Um, drop that. And look how much faster we run. Nicely done. Now, we this item here, you end up holding on to a, for a very long time. It is such a good item. Uh, I'm going to use my Identify from Kane to good sell this stuff. Now, it is worth, obviously, selling all the items as best you can because, obviously, money does start becoming a problem later on in the game. Um, when I say later on in the game, I just mean like later on in your normal run playthrough sort of thing. Um, it does tend to um, add up. Um, quite quickly. 10% fire resist, that's quite a good stat there. Um, but it's, uh, versus like some energy with my mana, cold resistance, replenish life is like meh, attack rating is low. Like I'm still waiting for a, a goodish amulet to come in into place. Fire resist is probably it's better than cold at the moment, but I do know I'm going up against Durio um, in a bit, so I don't know. Uh, at the moment, that's an up-in-the-air uh, amulet to switch to. Lots of gems run through that time. Um, so let's just sell some of these. And then top up. Top up money. There we go. 25. Happy days. Get rid of the rest of it. Keep some mana back. And there we go. So I do need stamina. Uh, so let's drop off all my gems. I'll pick this I up. Can't carry any more. Really? It's in such a layout that cannot carry. There we go. And let's sell this back and give her the hammer. There we go. So giving her the hammer will allow you to get um, to get an imbue quest. Now with imbues, you can basically pick up a white item. Anything as a white item. So white item, that's blue, that's blue, that's, uh, that's gray, uh, that's white. That's white, that's white. So you can pick all those and you can throw them into the imbue and it will make a yellow, uh, an item like this, a yellow item with a few um, suffixes 
um, or yeah, the suffixes, prefixes, uh, to your um, to your weapon, to your boots. Like I could do it to my boots right now and see if I'm lucky. You could do it to my belt and see if I can get lucky. But it's a good idea to hold on to it. Uh, because later it's always based on your level so the higher the level you are um, the better the item will roll um, and you can get some really really good statistics um, so we are going to head back now to fight hopefully and and we are playing this on players five um, so this is a little tougher than if I was running through player one I could lower it um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep it going like this for now because I don't mind the 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 damage Don't mind the health increase and I definitely don't mind the XP it's giving me There is great evil here And you know what I don't care for that evil. I should have got more stamina potions god damn it Went to strength why not Let's get stamina because that's just gonna bug me um, that I don't have enough stamina. Now, I am, I'm not going to be saving an extra 10. So, what you can do with stamina, you can stack it. You can also stack, uh, stack uh, antidote potions for poison resistance. And you can do it with thawing potions for cold resistance. Now, you can stack it 30 seconds a potion. So, I am going to drink every single one of these so I can run infinitely for... 1 minute, 2 minute, 3 minute, 4 minute, 5 minute, 6 minute, 7 minute, 8 minute, 9 minute, 10 minute, 11 minute, 12 minute, 13, and 14. So for 14 minutes, I can run infinitely. Um, so that's a good length of time. I should be able to get to Andariel in that time. I say that, and I won't. Uh, long staff. I'll have the long staff. Long staffs can be worth some, some money. Um, because I said money runs out quick especially when you're buying potions especially when you're raising your guy um, when you get to act 2 you get a, a hireling that you can carry carry around with you he uh, he does a lot of he's got an aura as well because he's like a paladin style um, paladin style so a mercenary uh, he has an aura which is quite cool um, it does uh, help out quite a bit depending on which one you go with there are different styles you can have one with blessed dame one with prayer one with um, holy freeze um, so there's a good mixture to go with um, so i do recommend picking one of the act two um, one of the act two mercenaries up over all of the other uh, characters all right, so let's just try and get through this area now and find the Gao Dame exit. Got oh, unique guy down here. That's fine. I right, kept yep. stop running away. Look at that. Just I hate when they do that. Just run away from me. Yeah, bye guys. Okay, I was going north, but I just have had the feeling that it's it's somewhere. Stop running away, though. Come on. Hello. Okay. I just got feelings like over this side, but probably going to get done over and it should have been where I thought it was. Where it was initially where I was going to go. Skull cap two sockets, maybe? Yeah, two sockets. Happy days. So that'd be good if I wanted to make another um, style helmet. Uh, but at the moment, I'm okay. Sapphire. So, picking up all the chip gems, you'd be like, yeah, but elves, you got so many of them. Yeah, but you know what? Once we get through to Act 2, we can actually get something called the Roderick Cube, which can actually turn three chip gems into one flawed gem. Now, if you've got then three flawed, you can turn it into a normal gem. Once you've got a normal gem, you can turn it into a flawless gem if you've got three of those. And it just keeps going until you get perfect. Now, fantastic for if you're needing diamonds to be like that. But hey, there is no harm you having any other ones there as well. Because there's some really cool cube recipes that will use perfect gems of any color as a way to re-roll statistics on items. Now, um, a good trick that a lot of endgame people tend to use is using three random perfect gems and re-rolling grand charms now you may go well why am i re-rolling grand charms well re-rolling grand charms gives you a chance of rolling a skiller 
um, sort of prefix. Now, a skill of prefix means plus to a skill tree. Um, so in most cases, you'll have like a sorceress with cold, uh, a cold skiller or a, a lightning skiller or a fire skiller. And these will really help your character boost their, uh, their damage and their skills um, so that they can absolutely own end game. So the more they've got, the better. Okay, we're trying to find the exit. There's the exit. Okay, category C. Now, you may wonder why didn't I get the warp point on this. I'm not going to be coming back to normal to fight Andariel, realistically. He'll be un uh, you should pick it up in most cases, and I would recommend anybody that's new, but because this is guided, I'm not picking up the warp point for this one. Um, but I would recommend you looking around uh, Catacombs Level 2 to find the... Um, to find the warp point because it'll just mean that if you were ever to die at Andariel that you can come run back or if you do want to do Andariel runs then you can literally come back and absolutely annihilate her uh, in a shorter distance than I would have to do which means I have to run from the outer uh, the inner cloister sorry not outer inner okay get my stamina going and let's keep on going so all we're looking for right now is the exit uh, I'm going to try and kill the unique guy here and his minions, same again, they are fighting at level difficulty 5, so these are worth killing. They are giving me tons of XP and I will be leveling up now. So I am actually level 18 and still in Act 1, I know, I know. So we're going to take the strength up and we're going to go... Now, we could go Blessed Hammer, we could come down here and do it. We could switch from Zeal and go to Vengeance and start doing Fire, Cold and Lightning damage. But that does 4 mana cost, so I'm going to stick with Zeal for now. Um, but I am going to keep going with my Holy Fire um, and just keep plowing those points in. Um, now, people are like, yeah, but look, you could respec now. No, I am going to respec at level, I'm going to say 22. That is when I'm going to respec, so I can then get my Blessed Hammer to really do some good effect. Um, but I am probably going to wait until I've at least, at least killed um, the, or got out of the Maggot's Lair. Now, the Maggot's Lair is horrible for Blessed Hammer. Uh, so I would recommend, if you're already thinking to go to Blessed Hammer, get, get the Maggot Lair sorted first, because it is horrible. It's horrible otherwise. It really is. Okay, so here we go. And Ariel is a bit of a pain in the backside, but she is uh, fire weak like crazy. Let's kill her, and she is dead. Bye bye, and Ariel. Um, let's get rid of all the small potions. We don't need them. Um, we need amethyst. Now we got a couple of good items here. We got Nal staff, which we will put in somewhere. Uh, skull cap will keep. Um, uh, two handed sword can go there. Uh, mace can probably go somewhere here. Let's get rid of those. Uh, mace, there we go. Awesome! So, to bug her, all you do, go back through the portal. Nice and easy. You can speak to Kane if you want to. Ident um, identify. No, what are you doing? Identify, thank you. War Eve, yes, go east, done. You have now bugged Andariel to the point where she will always drop you quest drops. Ooh. So if you ever want to pick up some items from her, you can get some really nice items. You can get some nice uniques, you can get some nice green items, even, even some nice yellow items. Uh, so yeah, do Hello. that. Honestly, it's, it's, it's really? worth doing. Okay. Um, you can find them, but it's obviously about how many times you want to fight them because obviously um, they have a chance to drop it's not guaranteed so there we go 200 nah 2000 yes please um, then we've got this one which is an increased attack speed um, but it doesn't have the perks that this has um, 1006 thank you one to strength meh one to strength nah um, I don't like the skulls. Skulls, I'm not so here. 60 to attack rate in. That's quite nice. 15 to attack rate in. 60 versus the one to mana. Now, I'm at the point where I got 43 mana. I can actually go without the one to mana after each kill right now. Because I am actually getting mana to kill here. 
So, I'm gonna get rid of that ring. I'm gonna keep the helmet, and I'm gonna keep the gem, and I'm gonna keep the rejuice, because the rejuice I can make into giant rejuice, uh, full rejuice later on in the game. And there we go. There's all that. So, let's go speak to Farah, who sells flails. There we go, a flail, which requires 41 strength and 35 dexterity. Okay, so 41 strength. Um, as you can see, uh, I need five more points into strength. Uh, I do have 35 dexterity, so I'm good for the dexterity. I'm just bad for the strength. So my next level up is going to be strength, and I'm going to see if I can get a three socketed. Um, a three socketed one now this is the point where you might want to upgrade things so this has got 13 to fire resist this is has gone anything good let's have fire resist there we go so we got we now have fire resist seven poison resist don't really need poison resist can we get something better yes we can 15 percent better chance of magic items or 17 percent better chance of magic items yes please let's get some of those now helmet obviously i've got the i got a bit of health in there and nine percent better magic but if there's something here that had like 20 fire or cold or lightning resist i would switch it um boots i do need better boots um but nothing is coming up for boots at the moment from these people um now we need potions so potions Hello. from this guy we, we want the heals and we want some manners um and then obviously stamina's as always, we need the stamina to keep us going. There we go. That should be enough. And I will buy a couple of manas and a couple of healings. There we go. So we're nice and stocked up. Hello. Now we want to go speak to Atma. She will give us a quest where we will um, go to the sewers and kill Radamant. So let's go and do that right now. Um, so yeah, the next skill point we're going to do, we are level 18, we're going to go level 19, we're going to go up into, um, we're going to go up into, um, strength. So, what I might do here is actually, before I move down to the next area, which is probably just down here, or just, yeah, up to north, always check right down the bottom right at the top you never know you might actually find the exit really close like that there we go so before i go down i am going to lower it to players one now i'm going to run through the game a bit quicker uh do more damage to creatures um yes i won't get as much xp but i will be hitting people for um basically maximum damage um so yeah that's what we're going to go for right now just a bit of speediness um, so act two is one of those ones where you can actually get through it quite quickly um, the slowest part I would say is finding um, the um, the staff and finding the um, and finding the um, the amulet uh, because you gotta go basically through the entire desert to get there um, but in most cases you will level up quite well in that time um, so don't worry too much. It's a fun. It's probably one of probably one of my uh, favorite acts. Act two is great fun. Um, the only problem with the paladin is if you've gone with blessed uh, uh, blessed hammers straight away, um, is you're gonna find that the corridors are going to affect you big time. Um, you want to be in open spaces with the hammered in. Um, so act two becomes a little trickier if you've gone to it at level 18 okay so guys so this is why i say hold off um, this is obviously my preference um you may want to just go straight into it and get it going and that's absolutely fine um but the recommendation for you is you want to be uh, you want to be this so you want to be um so you want bless out so you want to get holy bolt uh get that one early at level six uh, and then Blessed Hammer at 18. There you go. You've got those two. So those two, but you got pre-point at, at six to get Holy Holy Bolt, or you may want to put it in at seven, eight, or nine when you get your level seven, eight, or nine. Then you want to make sure that you've got a point in Might. You'll have that at level one or your first level up. Um, once you get level 12, uh, anywhere in 12 to like 12 to 14, you put Blessed Amen. Um, when you get to 18, obviously you want to make sure that you've got uh, a point for concentration at the same time You got a point for blessed hammer. So you might hold a few points back 
now this is where you need the points in as well so if you're in early points like um like the early points are like four five uh maybe even like seven or eight you want to put point in prayer uh, defiance uh 12 and beyond so this could be your 13th or 14th points for cleansing and then same again you should by 18 you should have three points available one to vigor um one to concentration and one to blessed hammer and that sets you up on your uh, blessed hammer uh paladin running through at as soon as you can uh, that is if you really want to hammer in early on my recommendation is hold out a little bit and do a reset now i know a lot of people will be like yeah, but i don't want to waste a reset you know so early um, and that is that's perfectly fine you're allowed three resets in the game uh one once you complete uh, den of evil the first time around then you got one once you've completed the den of evil in nightmare and then your third one once you've uh, killed uh once you've done um i can't carry anymore <laughs> once you've not carried anymore um what um ooh, once you've killed um the de all the den of evil creatures in um in hell uh so if you feel that you are going to do a reset in hell a few times then maybe you want to hold on there and you want to do that build the way uh, i've mentioned which is the doing it early um and not doing a reset in normal um but i find that blessed hammer early on does make it a bit of a struggle and you do play the game at a much slower pace but if that's your style then that's perfect if that's your style and you like taking your time you like being very methodical going through it all that is a very good style to do it and just take your time with it but if you like actually just getting into the mix and really getting through it um i'd recommend doing it when i'm going to be doing it at around 21 22 um because then we'll be fighting um diablo realistically i think we'll be fighting diablo with blessed hammer um which shouldn't be too much of a problem but we'll see how it fares but what damn it um what i recommend is uh um that you will want to at the end of killing bail in uh, act five is uh focusing on leveling up your paladin massively before he gets through nightmare um now i myself like going to about about um about level 35 to 40 and you can honestly do that by using player counts and the speed that you can level up is insane and then by the time you're in nightmare and you're zooming through nightmare you are already um getting to like level 50 in nightmare uh and really doing a lot of damage now uh, here's radamant he is literally gonna die in no time he is an absolute pushover we got a skill shrine so let's pop that in there um get a new skill there we go we are losing health like crazy but don't worry you can only lose uh, down to one health um poison will only take you down to one health okay um so i'm on one health i'm still poisoned but it's not a problem because i'll heal myself and get rid of it so we are level uh we are level 18 now um uh, is it no 19 18 no oh, it is 18 <laughs> um so we're just going to keep going with holy fire now keep us going and then um we are now all set to speak to atma to say all good and she'll make the prices of all our guys all the sellers do better rates for us now we found a five to strength wow so five to strength if we wanted so we could switch that up there and we will be i think we'll have enough to actually wear a flail or use a flail but that would mean that uh, i have to have the amulet on all the time um i actually put vitality in didn't i <laughs> i'm a po okay so i will use the amulet because i'm an absolute idiot um so <laughs> we'll get rid of that one now i picked up this shield this shield is going to be awesome now this has got three sockets in it it's already got all resistances seven which as you can see this this has got a diamond in it already and it's only up to 11. now if i can fill this shield with three perfect diamonds i will be getting 
a massive 19, 38, and I think it's 38, it'll be 48, and it'll be 57. I just don't 57 all get resistances, it. plus the 7, 57 all the way up to 64. I will have all resistances to 64 on one on one equipped item uh, as you can see obviously with your uh, your stats here uh 75 is the max that you can have on all of these and i would have that then at 64 just that and then obviously anything else here having any resistances will take us and top us up which is a great one to have early on in the game so i will keep that and i am going to be keeping an eye on some diamonds uh, and i can show you guys how to um well, I showed you guys earlier on how to make your gems better. Um, no worries, Slay. The pally is very cool. Yes, indeed. Um, so, um, I can now see if I can get a flail. Three socketed, maybe. Uh, two socketed. Not ideal. Hello, Millie. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Now, we could get a guy. We could hire a guy and he'll help us out. But at the moment, I don't want to do that. I want to see if I can get... Um, see if we can get a flail, a three-socketed flail. Just going to do it a few times, see if we can get it. It is an honor to serve you. One socket. Nope. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. You run out of the island or pop up like that. I don't know if sewer works. Does sewer work? I don't know if the sewer works. Might work. I haven't checked the sewer. I've never done the sewer before. Um, it does. Re yeah, it does reset it. Okay, cool. Sewers. Oh no, you have a cold. Oh, everybody's having colds recently. I hope you. Uh, I hope you feel better, Millie. Okay, so let's see if we can get a flail. Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Let's do this. Let's get what we were looking for. <laughs> You're welcome, Millie. Okay, let's see if we can get this. It is an honor to serve you. Nope. Same again. I want to make the weapon so you can see it, guys. There we go. But we might just come back at a later time and see if we can get it then. Um, so yeah, we are currently doing this. And Millie, yes, this is the Paladin. He is a glorious, glorious beast of a man. Uh, and we are doing this. And this will be up on YouTube. So say hi to all the people on YouTube and all the people on YouTube. Twitch says hi, okay? <laughs> There we go. We got it. That was just luck. Luck of the uh, puffer fish. <laughs> luck of the puffer fish. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you, Millie. Okay, so we've got the, we have got a three-socketed flail. There he is. Glorious. Uh, now, this is to make the w rune word malice. Uh, so malice is ith el eth. Uh, so you put the ith el Eth, and there we go you have malice now malice has basically minus 25 percent target defense 52 attack rating a hundred percent chance of open wounds prevents monster heal minus 100 to monsters defense per hit it does drain your life by five health so it is something that's hurting you constantly so you do have to keep an eye on your health but it is a very, very nice weapon to use. Now, um, compare it to, obviously, steel. Steel has 50% uh, chance of open wounds. Now, 50% versus 100. 100 better, right? <laughs> but this has got 6 to 12, so it's a slightly lower sort of um, damage... Uh, um, slightly lower damage range, but the minimum is, is better. So, as you can see there... My minimum with zeal and holy fire is 88 with the flail, 96. But look at the look at the higher. It's 124 for the sword, but 167 for for malice. So I will take the hit. Literally, I will be taking the hits 
five to go. <laughs> um, so if you can make steel or make malice, they're really, really good items to make. Um, and you do need those runes in that order. Ith, L, Eth in a flail, three sockets. Or if you're using a steel, you need it into a sword, uh, which is Tyr and L. Nice and easy, everybody. It's that easy. Um, I know everybody does get stressed out sometimes when making rune words because it is scary when you mess them up. But don't worry. Uh, you will get used to them. And if you're ever unsure, do check out the rune words on the wikis. Um, they will help you. They'll, they will help you. They're there to help you. So, we are now on our journey to, um, to getting the... Um, to get in the cube, to get the staff, and to get the um, uh, to get the amulet. So that is our goal. As you can see, I'm literally wiping creatures out. Um, I am obviously losing health, um, but it ain't the end of the world. So every time I hit, see, I am just losing my health slowly. Um, it hurts everybody. Look, look at my health going. Look, 196, 195. 194, you know, I'm dying, man. This sword's killing me. <laughs> there we go. So we just need to find the exit. So I'm going to check if it's nearby. I don't think it's actually going to be here. No, that's too close. So you can tell because that's where the loot lane is. It's not going to be there. So it's going to be up this way. So, but that's the thing. Even though this weapon is killing me, just drink a potion. Get your health back. It's as easy as that. That's what it's used for. <laughs> You're back for a short break. Nice, dude. Nice. Um, so, we're going to be trying to find the dry hills. So, keep following the outside. Keep following follow the exits. Um, we will slowly kill things as we go along. Um, but our main goal is just to rush around as best we can. Uh, we will be switching into Blessed Aim. Uh, blessed Aim. We'll be switching in and we'll be doing our first ever respec on our tutorials ahead of Nightmare with this Paladin because our main goal is to get past the Maggot Lair um, and then we're going to go Hammer Time. Oh yeah. It's going to be pounding all the demons, pounding them with my hammer, with my beastly hammer, I'll pound them into the ground with that hammer of mine. I'll have to whip that hammer out and pound those demons. It's just how it has to be. Uh, let's get some healings. There we go. Uh, kill these guys. Just keep going, keep going. Now, staircase uh, is sometimes handy because the staircase usually either means that it's um, up to uh, the either the exit is going to be up here or the warp point slash. Um, in this case, it'll be the um, what you call it, uh, the, the the halls of the dead. That's what it's called, halls of the bloody dead. So okay, so we found the warp point. That is something. Uh, we kill him. Be unique. Mana burn. Don't care. Kills ya. See you later. Bye. There we go. Um, so we need to keep looking out for. Things. Now, like XP wise in Act Two, it is very, very tasty. But it gets really tasty once you start finding um, uh, the scarabs. Uh, they give a lot of XP. These guys, I could easily just kill with my fire. Uh, just running past them, they just keep dying. Just because of the power. Okay, so our far oasis is going to be up that way. Which is going to be the maggot lair. Which we will go and do, but I do want to find the cube. Um, so let's keep looking. Okay, so I think it's the cube is going to be down. Um, yeah, so it's going to be down there. It's going to be down the, uh, the staircase. Um, so like I said, the staircase either was taking us to the warp point or the exit. Um, or the staircase was going to take us uh, to the, um, the the halls of the dead. Go back to the normal world. <laughs> See you in the next episode three. <laughs> um, okay, so we're just looking for a like a, a crumbling like temple. There it is, and there you go, halls of the dead. Cool. So halls of the dead. We need to get to halls of the dead level three. 
Uh, I am playing this on phase one, um, just so I'm not having to fight really tough creatures. Um, plus my fire, my uh, fire is actually hurting now. Uh, so, plus I am gaining SP, which is this is at players one. So can you imagine if I was doing it at players three, players five, etc., even players eight? Uh, you can level up massively and really, really have a big jump in your um, your experience uh, and get yourself to the end. There we go. So holds the dead level two. Let's keep on going. I'm gonna go right this time. I feel like right. I feel like right is right. <laughs> okay, let's go. Was right right or was right wrong? I don't know. How many times can I say right right? I'm just gonna keep going right. I don't know why. I feel like right is right. Small charm. Thank you. Stamina. Probably need more stamina. Oops. Um, okay, I'm just gonna just keep going right of where I'm facing. Experience shrine. Oh, you tease. You tease. I found the stupid wall point. God damn it. Right was technically wrong, but technically right too. <laughs> um, to be fair, uh, that wall point is not really worth it. Um, really not really worth it. Um, because once you've come here, uh, you don't really need to come back here ever again. Uh, so we're gonna go south this time. Let's go <laughs> My thing is killing me again. Oh, hello unique. I'll kill you cuz you're usually worth something And there goes all your health ha 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 And I will kill you. Thank you. Bye. So I've nearly leveled up again and here's the exit. Yay Level three now. I'm gonna go left this time when I say left this looks like right But it's left of the way you come in that's kind of the way the you got to kind of put yourself in POV Point of view, yeah, <laughs> you've got to go POV <clears throat> So you've got to kind of look at the way your character is looking. Oh, we found it. Look at that. Yes, baby Yes There we go, and he died. We all win. I get the cube and I run away happy. There we go. Cool Is this gonna be th two sockets or something one socket? No so, when I get a guy, I can obviously put good armor on, but they're not going to do that right now. You you have quite a treasure there. Mm -hmm. um, sell that. Thank you. 14% magic find. Nice. That's better than nine. <laughs> uh, one to maximum damage. Uh, one to defense. Now, thank you. Um, okay. So, let's, uh, let's get Welcome some... To my shop. Now, I like setting up my, my, my layout like this. I like cube at the bottom, identify some tomes at the top, and a key on the bottom there. That is apparently how my life works. <laughs> I have to have it this way. Uh, so, I'm going to go full on stamina again. I'm not exiting the game um, because I am still focused on getting the quests out of the way. So, I'm going to go for full run. Um, obviously, don't do this if you think you're going to do a save and exit. Now, obviously, you're not always going to know that you're going to do a save and exit. Because uh, sometimes you'll do a save and exit because you're about to die and you don't want to die. Um, but just remember, in normal, it doesn't matter if you do die. Because if you do die, you don't lose any experience like in Nightmare and in Hell. So bear that in mind when you're considering that. Now, little trick. If you got three of these lovely purple potions, you can make a giant purple potion which heals your mana and your life 100% instantly. Um, if you've got blue, three blue gems, you can literally put three of them in and voila! You've got a lovely... Uh, flawed sapphire you can keep doing it in fact i've got so many blue ones that i could literally get the two there um i need one more chip sapphire and i will be able to make uh, a basically a normal sapphire um but yeah it, that's why it's worth keeping all those gems to upgrade them and use them in uh in Hello. crafting or even just pop them into an item that's got uh, sockets in it so like a helmet if i get my rubies up i could uh, have a ruby helmet uh, with uh, way more life in it uh, or i could focus on like i said earlier the ral runes to get the fire resistances so yeah so here we go back to dry hells as we're going to the fire oasis which was up this way so like he's chasing me and he's just getting burned and now he's dead and i didn't even hit him <laughs> this build itself 
has it has got its advantages it really does like i find that this build works really well through normal before we turn into the hammerdin uh now the hammerdin will be happening at like i said around 22 i'd say 22 is probably where we're, we're sitting with it uh kill the uniques hell rune thank you i'll take i'll take an hour rune mercy baku now far away says has these guys these guys are worth a lot of xp uh if you find it in a unique group of those and one of them is called beetle burst you want to be mining them like crazy and here we go so stats strength so i don't actually have to keep that amulet on me anymore um i'm just gonna keep doing holy fire for now that is where i'm going with it so these are just champions as you can see they do hurt my health is going down quite a bit because they do hurt um but i'm doing all right with my defense etc so uh heavy gloves probably probably be all right but um but the one you're looking for is beetle burst he is in um he is in far oasis um so this is the place and he's usually hanging around by the water you know by the water hole now this is where we go next lost city uh we do go there next so we found the exit which is great we do need to find the maggot's lair which is great it's right there we just need to find the warp point if you're literally right next that would be perfect but at the moment it doesn't look like you are near There's some bugs here don't know if it's beetle burst i can't see his name no beetle burst yet Okay, so I can't see it's Beetle Burst there. Would have been good if it was. But it's not an end of the world like. Um no, what was that? Chipped Emerald? Oh Chip Ruby. Thank you. Is this beast Beetle Burst? No. He's usually like orange, uh, like an orangey colour. Um Okay, so stairs goes up. Stairs tends to mean um tends to mean that the warp point is going to be up there um so i am going to have a quick look at that but i haven't seen beetle burst um so he could be he could be up here and further away but there is a okay so there's a lake there let's see if we can find a warp point oh okay got bugs uh, raptors the lamb so you're looking for torches as well when you're trying to find the warp point. There we go. We've got the warp point. Okay, so we've got the warp point, but no beetle burst right now. A bit frustrating. It'd be nice to actually have beetle burst like here, because if beetle burst was like here, that would be absolutely perfect. Um, if you can get a good beetle burst spawn, you could probably level up to 20, 23, like in Act Two. You could really do it um considering i am level 19 right now and i've only just been here um so let's see if he's actually nearby so we've got some we've got some birds here um got some more birds got some bugs no i think that's it um no it doesn't look like he's here okay unfortunately we do not have a, a good beetle burst or he hasn't as at least spawned or if i've killed him he has been killed down this bottom section here um and i just didn't notice and because it's dark now it's very difficult to tell so we do have the magus left so i'm going to drop a portal and i'm going to move ahead to lost city find try and find the lost city um waypoint and then i'll walk point back to town and then we will kill um we will t teleport then to the maggot slayer get that done uh, and we will be set because we won't need to run it at all um with our blessed hammer which will be great <laughs> now um blessed hammer once we get powerful enough with it um the bosses really will get absolutely nuked um because their magic resistances are so so weak um so all i'm looking for right now is that what point uh, let's see if i can find it now you will come across some some nice uniques actually in this area um they are quite nice to kill uh, lost city does have the ancient tunnels as well another good place um to level up um so i do recommend that 
So there's the ancient tunnels there, trapped up, ancient tunnels. Go in there if you want XP. Go in there if you want some good drops for items. But we're looking for this. What point? Got it. So back to town. There we go. Um, and what we're going to do now is just stock up on our potions. Drop a follower stuff. Give everything a bit of a repair. Drop the runes in. I've got rubies. So three rubies. We make a flawed ruby. Awesome. So that's 17 to health, which is obviously more than that, which is 10. Um, so it's just weighing up what you want to go with. So one to dexterity. I'll keep it. It's not a big deal having it. Um, and then we're going to go with stamina. Greetings. Greetings. There we go. So let's go stamina again. Boost ourselves up. If anybody has any questions, don't be afraid to ask uh, in Twitch chat. And if you have any questions um, over on uh, Twitch, uh, uh, over on YouTube, just drop a comment below and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can with, uh, with some answers or advice. I am more than happy to impart my 20 odd years of... Uh, of experience of playing this game. Um, okay. So speak to Drogdon, Drogdon goes blah, 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 blah. Um, we are now going through that portal that we created because we're going to the maggot lair to get that done. Now, if you're Blessed Hammer right now and you haven't done maggot lair, you are gonna find this section a little tricky um, because obviously um, the hammer needs to spin. But because you're in a trap tier, the hammer just goes, huh. So you've got to really try and position yourself in a position where the creature is the first one to get hit um, and not the wall. Uh, so it becomes quite a challenge to try and um, kill everything. It really does. So good luck to you. All I can say is um, I would recommend getting the maggot lair done before you, uh, you head into... Um, blessed hammer now choking gas is a better poison so uh, choking gas is here 23 of them 72 damage so if you still want strangling you can but honestly take it up a bit if you come across creatures that are becoming a problem for you use poison because if they're immune or have high resistances to you try throwing a poison one on them because and especially if they're in a group groups um will move into the uh, the the, the the poison cloud and they will get annihilated. Now poison is obviously a skill that can easily be dealt with by yourself um, because you just go back to town and get rid of it by you know one of your, your, your healer uh, which act two is obviously Farah. Uh, we're just trying to find the exit here but obviously coming across all the bloody side rooms not the best but we just go so as you can see having zeal just at level one is allowing me just to hit twice which is enough enough damage for me to do with my malice spell um which is great so anything in here no just chests so we're literally just looking for the exit um there are three levels in uh, the magala and there's the first one there we go done level two yeah. Now, once you get to level 3, it's a lot easier to navigate. Level 3 is um, always north. The boss of the room and where you get the actual uh, heroic staff is always north. Uh, so that's my best advice um, when you're dealing with that. Uh, with this, you're literally just trying to find that side room that has, um, that has the hole going down into the next area. All I tend to do is just keep trying left. Keep trying left. Keep trying left. Uh, just keep going around it. It's not the best tactic, I will say. You know, there are obviously preset maps that will, um, which people will be able to work out. But I tend to just try and just run around, keeping keeping to your left. Follow the wall. Heavy boots. Lots of heavy boots. Heavy boots are better than those. Six and six. There we go. I need better boots, so I need magic boots, so I can go back to Farah maybe on the next teleport back to town and see if I can buy buy some nice uh, buy some nice boots, some stylish boots maybe. Okay. Um, obviously, this build is quite handy as well. Like I don't really have to fight 
I, if I don't want to, I don't have to, because Holy Fire does the work for me. Um, Holy Fire, I find, is probably one of the nicer ones. Like, you can get Holy Frost and Holy, uh, Holy Lightning. Um, Holy Shock, sorry, I think it's called Holy Lightning. Holy Shock. Uh, it just does the alternative um, damages, really, you know? So it depends on what you, you find. Um, fire is the one that you get the earliest, um, but you can obviously go into the other routes. If you're thinking, oh, you know what? I want to be like a Tesla Den who is the Lightning route. You will need 20 in Holy Shock if you're going down that route and doing a Tesla Din. Um, and, you know, if people want guides like that, like different variations of characters, let me know in the comments. Um, or come over to Twitch uh, at twitch.tv slash steel elves, um, where, uh, where I appreciate anybody saying that uh, the guides that they're looking for um, because I will help out as best I can uh, I'll give the advice the best I can um, and yeah we, we can run through the game and I'll show you exactly how to do it um, from normal nightmare and hell for the character styles that's what I'm here to do because I think there's just too much content out there that is literally just all end game Everybody just cares about, oh, this is the most efficient, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, people just want to play the game, man. People just want to play the game. And they want to find out, how the fuck do I get past this thing? How the fuck do I deal with this? I don't care about, I mean, rune words that are just freaking insane and I can't do. Because, <laughs> you know, i got to farm a million Mephistos to get a rune or to get an item that, you know, to max out my... You know my my alter skills and stuff people want to know i'm stuck in this area how do i get past it i'm only level 23. how do i get past it that's what people want to know in my uh, from, from what i've seen who cares if you've just dropped an item that's got two more damage than your previous item well done i'm so proud of you <laughs> i want to know how i kill this bloody beetle that's in my way how do i do it Stab him in the face. And there we go. Staff of King. We got it. So I'll kill him for a laugh. And then um, we will get the hell out of here. See you later. Bye. <laughs> awesome. So, what's so great about this? Hello. Well, we have now it is an got the staff. Great. Staff is great. I, staff of readiness. I thought it was staff of kindness. That'd be a good staff. The staff of kindness. Um, reach you some manners. There we go. Uh, okay. So let's get a few more uh, healings. There we go. And we get some stamps. Yeah, we get some stamina. There we go. And off we go to the lost city. Let's go, lost city. So what are we now? It's still level 19, almost level 20. Uh, so Lost City now, we're looking for um, Valley of the Snakes. So Valley of the Snakes um, is the area where we get the um, the Viper uh, Amulet. Now the Viper Amulet is what you try link to the, the, the Horodric staff you link it up and it literally um, creates the Herodric staff from the staff of kings and the Am viper amulet stop stabbing me you bastard see you later um, and then you use that staff to open the way to 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 basically get into Talrash's tomb but it's guarded by Duriel um, there we go valley of the snakes in we go once we've done this, the game just gets so much easier because ultimately we get into the palace and the palace is where we we just go back to town, basically. Um, everything is there for us perfectly. So let's go south. Um, <laughs> you're stuffed. Oh, wow, that was an amazing room. Look at that. That was amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better layout. Okay, so... So ultimately, this guy's going to be a knob because he's lightning. But no, oh, there we go. We got a green item. Wow, it's a terrible item. So yeah, green item. 
Overburdened, always overburdened, always over bloody burdened. Yeah, so as Eisenhart, increased attack speed, and that's basically it. Um, it's not worth much, but, um, but you can get some nice items. <laughs> Pally is looking good. Pally is looking good, considering he is literally um, level 19, well, level 20 now. Uh, we are almost there, and we have done that. Let's go. Okay. Um, happy tummy, happy tummy, happy tummy time. Okay, so we've got 40 base, we want 41 base, and then we want, um, is it 41 base? Yeah, 41 base and 35 base. Was there a 36? No, 35 dexterity, 41 strength, that's it. There we go, we put the rest into vitality. Um, new skill, same again, holy fire. We're just doing holy fire right now. Hi until we get to the point where we're leveling up and respecking you will see me respec my character uh okay. ready into the hammer boy so i can pound some demons with my hammer now we have a jewel here with fire resist 24 percent. that's quite nice so what i might do is i might use this and i'll use this and this will be my helmet so this helmet will then have 17 to life and then it will have 24 to fire resist and 2 to energy i don't care about the energy but that helmet now is better than that helmet there we go use your gems up why not why not why the frick not there we go so we now got the staff speak to him and let's do the l run and then now this item was worth 10 grand now if an item is worth five grand in act one keep it if it's worth 10 grand in act two keep it if it's worth 15 grand in act three keep it can you see the pattern <laughs> if you find an item that's worth 20 grand in act four uh when you go to the selling it keep it if you get to act five and it's worth 25 grand keep it until nightmare the item is Streaming basically with both much direction harder. and magnitude <laughs> it's oh harder. yeah god damn you twitch um <laughs> love you chat um it basically means the item is worth way more than the act can give you as a limit okay so keep those items because they will be worth more money and like i said if you don't need the money right now hold on to it sell it later and get more money <laughs> uh welcome back welcome back welcome back people welcome back oh okay so we are now why have i got that there no idea um, we are now heading into the Arcane Sanctuary. I've been... Now, same again, the Blessed Hammer is actually not too bad in the Arcane Sanctuary. It could be could be better, because obviously you've got narrow pathways. Um, but our goal here is to um, get to the point where we can actually have Blessed Hammer do an okay damage. Um, so yeah, uh, how was uh, how was the dinner, Sly? How was the dinner, Malin? Hope you had a lovely dinner this evening. So let's kill these guys. Hope you had tasty foods. So we're trying to get to the end. The end is just at the at the end. Um, I'm full, that's for sure. <laughs> I could eat all night. Oh, you need to get the satisfying foods. Um, I did uh, I did post some of my. Uh, lovely gourmet meal that i had uh, yesterday um just before going to see the stand-up comedian um when i visited bristol uh it was great fun absolutely great fun okay so the exit is always always the opposite uh way of you coming in so literally the exits are always up here this is play this is uh cellar three so this is where you actually exit um so we need to come down here the bad guy is here. Bad guy. Uh, the main bad guy, him, fire eye. There we go, just keep hitting him. There we go. Gnarled staff, thank you. And then we go through here. Oh no, it's not through that. Down here. Down here and in there. There we go. And that's it. That's the entire palace done. That's how quick the palace can be done. Um, surely me too. Now, tip for everybody. This is a warp point. It's not just a lovely statue. It is a wall point. It looks like a cool mural. People do miss it. Don't miss it. Click it. Uh, it's important. Um, okay, so we've got um, we've got one in four chance of finding it first time. I'm going to leave it to Twitch chat. 
Twitch chat. Please tell me, are we going? Are we going south west? Are we going north west? Are we going north east or are we going south east? Which way are we going? First one in was Malin Designs with South. So we're going this way. Going down this way. You better be bloody right. <laughs> you better be right. <laughs> so as you can see, I can kill these quite well. Just one on one. Just bow, 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 bow. Very easy to do, okay? Now, Hammerdin would probably have a little more trouble because the hammers are going at a weird angle. So, I would recommend keeping an eye there. Raiders, how are we doing today? Welcome, welcome from the lovely That Welsh Karen. How are we doing, Raiders? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, here come all the screams. Uh, Enigma, welcome to the stream. How are we doing? Welcome over. How is the stream, Karen? I hope you're a good one. <laughs> We're saying hi. Hello. Ah! Uh, Ron Boy Gaming, thank you very much for the follow as well. Link has fallen to his death because of you, but he's very happy about that. Uh, <laughs> many people shall crush. My name is Steel Elves. I am a Diablo uh, streamer well, and content creator over on YouTube. Um, where I do guides to help people get through this lovely game. It is a raid! Glorious. If not already, uh, Sly, can you give the lovely, that Welsh Karen, a beautiful, beautiful shout out. You probably have already done it, but if you haven't, give her another one. <laughs> Welcome, Swiss. How you doing? Welcome, everybody. Let's say hi to everybody. Uh, by the way, everybody in Twitch right now, say hi to YouTube. Say hi, you're, you're, you're going to be all on YouTube. There we go. Uh, Nyax, Lola, Lation, um, that was kind of course. Swiss Hope, Patrick, um, uh, the infamous Q, uh, Enigma, um, uh, Swiss, um, I'm just sort of doubling up names now. Uh, Ron Boy Gaming, um, what else have we got? There we go. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I hope you're all having a lovely evening. I hope you had a fantastic time over with Karen. I know you would have, because she awesome. Um, so, if you do love Nintendo games, any Nintendo games, she's your she's your streamer. Just just go. Go on, go on, pop over. Nintendo games, great games. Um, <laughs> we will. Yes, Sly, this is it. This is it. Uh, there we go. There we go, all sorted. Um, I get to be on YouTube! <laughs> you do. And if anybody wants to check that out, there it is over there. There's a link to the lovely YouTube's channels. You are there. You have been called out and you are on that YouTube video. <laughs> In a bit. Awesome. Well okay. done, Sly. Thank you, my dude. Um, okay, so we're just going to head back now into the lovely port. <laughs> it seems that way, Marlin, that I am a you pooper now. Why did I? God damn, I'm stupid. Distractions, raids. <laughs> I didn't want to go through that portal. I wanted to go to my warp point. I was being silly. Okay, so I am level 20. Uh, back to that game. Okay, everybody in chat, first person to type in the direction. We went south last time. Are we going to go west? Are we going to go north? Or are we going to go east? Where are we going? First one in was northeast. So north, if you're looking up this way, northeast is that way. So northeast, we're going this way. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Uh, basically, we have a one in four chance of getting it right. And so far, we've got it wrong. <laughs> Who got it wrong? Who got it wrong last time? <laughs> Oh, right, isometric. Yes, isometric. It's, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I tend to look at it, like, from the point of view of my paladin. So I'll be, I, I look at that as north, I look at that as east, south, and west. That's just how I look at it, but I know a lot of people will look at it as north is there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's isometric, so it's, it's, a, it's a weird one. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> our goal, to climb all these stupid stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh let's go uh, but yeah otherwise it's a position of like northeast northwest yeah 
Whichever way people want to look at it. As long as people understand, that's the main thing. There we go. So let's try and get past all these boys. I am a glorious paladin who will be switching into a very cool skill soon where I will be pounding all these demons. I'll be giving them a good pounding with my hammer. Um, and no, keep it clean, Twitch chat, you filthy, filthy people. <laughs> I know you people. I know you. <laughs> That's it. I gotta get. I gotta get my hammers out. <laughs> and I say, I'll get my hammer and I'll swing it around. I'll have to swing my hammer around, and then uh, and then the pounding will commence, and then the creatures will fall to their knees, and more pounding will happen. And then see, look, he just got pounded by my lovely flail. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. You dead. <laughs> das is lewd. Das lewd. <laughs> That's your fault, not my fault. <laughs> okay, so if you want to know where you're going, we have got Triangle. Triangle is the one we look at. Now, Triangle <clears throat> is up this way. Yes. Yay, we found it. We did. You Well done, Twitch chat. Well done. Two out of four. That's not bad. I'll take 50%. I'll take it. All right. So triangle. Here we go. Triangle is always in this location. It's always the same order. Uh, we're going triangles. Um, if I'll give you everybody in Twitch chat a free Welsh lesson. And plus uh, um, YouTube, you get a free lesson too, I guess. Um, is triangle in welsh is triangle there we go you all learned something new today everybody can go to bed happy knowing that i will be pounding these demons very very soon with my giant hammer with my magical hammer actually it's not even a giant hammer it's a magical one it's got powers <laughs> May the hammering commence. <laughs> okay, so my main goal here is you need to find the exit. Oh god, this is gonna go bad. Oh dear. But luckily my paladin is pretty goddamn strong. Wow. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, I got out. There we go. So let's keep going around the edges i try to use them uh, just the edges of the the, the walls as a, as a way to navigate around and then just pound pound and pound all the pounding in all the land you come to my my domain in my pounding domain um let's go <laughs> what's that a mana shrine don't want a mana shrine now a lot of these creatures do shoot out lightning which owie hurts don't get electrocuted um, but what we're looking for is this! Okay, so I need to put my I need to put my staff into the orifice, okay? So I need to get my stick and I need to put it in that orifice, okay? That is that is just what this game is about, okay? I take my big long stick and then I shove my big long stick into this orifice. Okay? I then accept it, because it's gotta be accepted. And then my stick is in the orifice and magic happens. <laughs> this game is getting looter and looter. <laughs> Why do you think we have a gasm uh, emote? It's just because of this game. Okay, so we have Duriel to deal with now. Now, a good way to deal with Duriel. Now, so if you've been following along exactly as we're doing, we are currently doing fire damage. And now, um, we've got to be aware that Duriel has a cold aura, which will slow us down, um, or, you know, to the point, uh, not where it freezes us, we can't be frozen fully, but we can be at least yes. slowed down. So, what we can do to combat that, let's have a look how much this item's worth, 3,000, so that's not worth 10, so let's get rid of it. Um, so what we do, there's a magical trick here. So if we have a look at you, we look at our stats, okay? Stats. Um, and our cold resist is only 11%, which is absolutely... 
Um, but there's a magical way you can do it. You can grab here, and I'm getting well sure by the moment. Um, you can get something called a thawing potion. You pop that, you drink it, you give it a little bit of sippy sippy, and then look at that cold resistance in that corner. Go, boom! We're up to 61% now. Boom! Out of nowhere. And that gives you 30 seconds of 50% 50, 50 resistance to cold, which is great when you're fighting this person. Um, <laughs> it spins in the hole, only if it's accepted. Oh, of course, Enigma, of course. It's always got to be accepted. Like, pounding demons, it has to be acceptable. It has to be accepted by the demons and the pounder. Always. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop a few of these potions. Uh, but I'm also going to grab a few staminas to keep me running. Um. <laughs> Diablo is a bit horn. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so I'm going to get stamina so it means I can run infinitely. And then I'm going to get thawing potions to keep me going. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do that to get my potions out. So now I filled up those and I got these out of my belt nice and quick. So, next step. We are going to get a guy to help us, or at least be a distraction. Yes. So isn't. we'll get a guy, and we want him to be as high level as possible, really. So we'll get a level 19, and his name is Zanahai. Yeah, or Zanahai. That's his name. His name is Zanahai. Um, he's our guy. Zanahai. <laughs> I love his name. It's brilliant. His name is Zana. Hi. Um, so, we'll get Zana. Hi. Um, a piece of armor to at least protect him. So, we'll grab one of these and we'll put some... Um, we'll put some gems in him to, to help him out. So, let's give him maybe some strength. Yeah, we'll give him some strength. What else can we give him? Um... Not much else there. So we'll give him strength and we'll give him... Um, we'll give him some life as well. So we'll give him life and strength. There we go. Pop that on for him. I'll put that to good use. I'm glad you will. Uh, we'll grab him a helmet. Uh, that one seems like a strongish one for him. There we go. And then we need him use. to have a spear of sorts. So what we need to do first is... I'll drink these to move them there and then we'll buy a spear of some sort uh so which one's the stronger seven to poison 60 odd well this these have sockets so so i could go with this one that could be quite good there we go so pop that in there yeah he can use that great and then let's pop a gem in there to do more damage so let's go with poison damage but what we'll do is we'll turn these into better poisons which i don't have enough i've only got five so it's only going to be a poison 20. there we go that will do so there we go he now does 66 to 93 it's something it's not the best but it is something but what we want to do as well is give him some resistance to um to thawing uh, uh yeah just throw it on the floor Thanks. So we're going to give him at least Thanks. two minutes worth. Thanks. I'm going to drink two minutes worth. And then we are going to go fight the glorious and most annoyingly, Duriel. So here we go. So drop a portal down and then literally pound him. And then if you want to heal your guy, you hold shift and click the number of your healing potion. As you can see, we are trying to hit him, but look how slow we are going. But it's not a problem. Look at his health flying down. He will be dead in a moment. And there he is. He's dead. Goodbye, sweetheart. And then we pick up that. We got Izanard's case. We picked up Izanard's um, uh, parry um, before. Is this not parry or like brand? We picked up the sword earlier, um, so we would have had two in the set. Um, we could give that to our guy, 64 one. It is kind of better than what I got there. So I wasted my gems. Uh, not really, they were all right. Um, so I am going to pick up the portals and then we're going to go. And well done, everybody. Give yourself some claps. You have done it. Duriel is dead. Act two completed. 
with your paladin and your paladin isn't even um using the hammers yet he could be using hammers if you wanted to um if you were going at the rate i'm going which is level 20. um i'm aiming for level 22 uh, before i switch two hammers so what i am gonna do though greetings you're standing in my chest can you get out of my chest please um what i am going to do though is i am going to um i am going to try and level up now so what i'm gonna do hello so let's speak to all these people before we go to act three hello. there we go good evening so we're just going to go to act three just quickly just so we can get it moving and then we'll come back to act two and level up a quick way to level up so i'll show you a quick way to level up once we go over to act three so here we go let's do this okay so with um with the hammer did being at level 22 that does mean that i will have a few points in uh, blessed hammer i will have a few points in concentration i'll have blessed aim and i'll have vigor all right so these are the these are the combo that you need to make your hammers good this is the combo now what you can do as well when you get here in act three is you can get rid of your smaller potions um to end up getting bigger potions now bit of a tip for you guys that you are using mana now i only have 46 mana now i will never buy these ones that which cost 300 gold 120 mana is overkill if your mana is 40 it's overkill this one is perfect it's 150 so it's half the price and it does 60 it's still kind of overkill but it's more than just getting 30 points here on this one. You could go down to this one still at this mana level. But because we're going to go into hammers, we'll probably be sitting at light mana. So a big tip for anybody that is trying to conserve their money or be mindful of their money early on in the game is you do not need to go straight into the highest level manas. Health is definitely recommended because health does drop down quite quick. So I get a 300 health pool. This heals 150 points, which is half my health pool. So if I drink this, it's only half. If I drink this, it's only 90. So health-wise, I want to be sticking with the higher ones. But mana, you can stick lower. Honestly, a fantastic little tip for you all um, dealing with your mana and your money. It's always on your mana or your money. Your money on your mana, and the mana on your money, and money on your mana. Yeah, exactly. That. Exactly that. So, what we're going to do quickly is we're going to go back to Far Oasis, but everything is dead because we haven't saved an exit. We will save an exit. We are currently level 20, and level 20, uh, our goal is level 25 by the, le by the end of Act 4. That is our goal, which we should be able to do. So, you will have quickly seen there that below my guided paladin is my actual paladin, who is currently level 54, and he is uh, he is uh, going well. I've been focusing way uh, a lot on my other builds, which is my sorceress and my Amazon, who are level 93 and um, 89. Um, so um, to get a 54 paladin in a short space of time, I've only really done him um, in the last couple of weeks. Um, he's flown. He has absolutely flown. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into players. Uh, we're going to go players. We're going to say players five. And we're going to see how we do in Far Oasis. And see if we struggle. <laughs> so, Far Oasis. So, head down. Itchies. Itchies are always fun to kill. We got some champions. Great. Look at the XP fly. Look at that XP. Glorious XP, thank you. Look at all that XP. Look at all that XP, look at all those items. Fantastic. There we go. Itchy's a good XP, honestly. Really good. My guy is nearly dead, so let's give him a portion, just for a laugh, because, you know, his name is uh, Zana. Hi! Um, so, yeah. <laughs> So all we're doing, kill some of these itchies. Some of them can be unique, which is good. There's the level up. Awesome. So same again. We'll just keep the health going. And we'll keep the holy fire going. Now, this is a player's five. 
I could go. I want to see actually where Beetle, where Beetle Burst is, because he's definitely around here somewhere. He's definitely around here somewhere. He's usually by the, um, he's usually by the water. It's by the watering hole. Usually. Um, any minions? No. See, most of them are dying just because they're near me. <laughs> okay, nothing here. No, I can't see anyone there. So I'm gonna say that Beetle Burst, not Beetle Juice, Beetle Burst. Beetle Burst will be up near where my walk point was um, because the champions were there. Maybe Beetle Burst was there and I just didn't see him. Now, a good tip for you guys, you can speak to War Eve. Go west. When you go west, where the air is free, uh, <laughs> you can then go into the warp point in Act 1 to then teleport to Far Oasis. It does tend to be a little bit quicker than running all the way up to um, to the warp point in Act 2 because it's just a little bit further. Um, once you've done this a few times, it does allow it to happen. So, here we go. So, let's see if Beetle Burst is around. Wow, he died straight away because I didn't change it to players. Fucking five. Not a problem. So, let's, um, let's change it to players... I'm good. I go big. Screw it. Players eight. Let's go hardcore. Let's go hardcore. So the creatures that spawn now will be players eight. So these guys will be players eight. Um, let's see. No. Oh, bitchies. Itchies. Lots of the itchies. <laughs> this is what happens when you pound too much. You get itchy. It's not good. Too much pounding can equate to itchy. Okay, so you know, be be prepared, be protected. You know, make sure you got your your defense up. <laughs> Why is this game full of innuendos? Look at all these bugs! Fuck off! I don't bugs. What are they? Um, freaking... Okay, more itchies. There he is. Found them. Look at the XP he gives. Watch now. He will probably try and kill me. Woohoo! Look at that! XP! Boom! Tons of XP. Okay, so we found Beetle Burst. So he's literally down there. At what point do you respec a pally? Okay, so there is a window that I recommend as a respec for a pally. Um, is you want to be around 20. That's where I'd recommend a respec. Um, but some people respec as soon as they hit 18. So once you get to 18, respect your character and you get your first point into um, uh, into um, Blessed Hammer, uh, into Concentrate and into Vigor, okay? But you do have to preset yourself, so you gotta make sure you got those skills, you gotta make sure that you got those skills and make sure you got that skill, okay? So that's what is recommended, but I'm gonna go to 22, which I'm only one away. Uh, and especially with this build now, I'm doing players 8. I'm going to get there literally in the next few goes. Um, as long as I can get Beetle Burst. In the end, though, the horny devil gets it. Exactly! In the end, the horny devil gets the good pounding, okay? So, kill all these guys. The XP just flows because champions, what do champions give you? 300% XP. Oh, glorious. Glory be to the champions. Um, <laughs> but remember, I'm playing on players 8. You cannot do this if you are playing your character online. So if you create an online character, you will have to rely on seven other people being in your world. So, if you're playing single player, like I am doing, um, you can adjust the player count. Which does make it that leveling up can be quite, um, not quite easy, but it's just easier than having a group of people with you. Uh, or trying to get people to join games and things like that. Um, this does allow you that factor. Now, I do, I have characters online and I do have characters offline. Now, with all my guides, I do offline because I've got more control over it to show you all the features. Chip Diamond, we want that, okay? I'm going to show you a trick with that in a bit. Um, because this will set us up for Nightmare, okay, guys? Very important that you do this. Um, so when we get to the end of the game, um, when you are more or less ready to kill that final boss, uh, Beetle Burst, give me all the XP! Give it all to me. Oh, we've just got a unique spear, you glorious boy! Thank you. Beetle 
Bursty boy, you giving me the uniques. What is wrong with you? Okay, you've even leveled up my guy. How generous. Okay, so kill a few of these and we'll save an exit in a sack. But look at the XP. It's just delicious. These are just normal creatures and they're getting tons of XP. Um, yeah, LV, gonna die level 888. <laughs> okay, cool. So does the boson with exploding arrow ever need to consider respecking? Yes, it does. Yes, it does, dude. Uh, exploding arrow, you want to basically get cold and exploding arrow. Um, so you tend to respec um, once you're into nightmare, so you can then get some. Um, you can get some of the uh, cold um, skills. Uh, but if uh, you're aiming at around, I'd say around thirty-five to forty, that's when you're looking to do a respec for the boson. Um, I will be carrying on my nightmare uh, boson um, once we've completed the. Um, the rest of the characters are normal, giving everybody a chance to have their characters played uh, up to a certain point. So, we have got this. Where is it? We've got a lovely spear. This spear is going to be... Boom, boom, boom. There it is. We've got the Dragon Chang, which is a 10 minimum damage, 35 attack radian, 100% damage to undead. It does fire damage and a bit of lightning resist. Now, that's not amazing, but compared to what we got here, 47 to 65, 66 to 92. Now, you got to remember this does 20 poison damage. So if you take 20 away from those stats, uh, this is uh, 72, 46. So 46, 72, 47, 65. So... That one is actually still better than a unique. This one here is better than that unique. Uh, this one's got a couple of other features that might be okay with the fire damage and stuff, but overall, it's not that great. So just because it's unique, doesn't mean it's amazing, okay? Um, <clears throat> I <laughs> still forgot. Yeah, the guides are there, guys. Use them. Use them at your own pleasure. Use them at your own pleasure. Now, I did say I was going to show you this trick. Now, with the diamond, um, we are going to quickly go to Stony Field, okay? Uh, because we're on single player, we know the maps, which obviously are set up here, and I got a, I got a shrine here, which is great. So, run down to it, and sometimes the shrine will be... Um, if it's a health shrine, if it's a health shrine, it will always be a health shrine. <clears throat> if it is a shrine like this, this shrine will change. Okay, so these two shrines, one is a health shrine, one is a um, one is an actual adjustable shrine. What you want to do with it is you want to save an exit, save an exit until one of them flips over to a gem shrine. Once it's a gem shrine, you take your diamond to the gem shrine. You do that five times per gem, and you will then upgrade your uh, gems to a perfect gem, and that will be four gems to a perfect. Now, I have got a shield that's got three sockets, so I can do it, th uh, I can do it 15 times um, to allow me to get a perfect uh, diamond in each one of them. Uh, and set me up nicely for um, oh experience shrine. Thank you. I'll take this. So Stony Field is the best place to get shrines. Okay, you get experience shrines quite well. You get um, the gem shrines quite well. It is a fantastic place to get your uh, your um, shrines. So do consider coming here. Now I'm going to do players eight, and we are going to go through the roof here. Here we go. Let's go. Okay. Let's get tons of XP, guys. Watch that bar fly. Here we go. Below. Watch that bar fly. XP. Here we go. We are going to level up in a sec. Here it comes. <laughs> There's the level up. There's the level up. Now, I, mean, I am a bit slow because I have been hit by that person. Um, but we're going for full on. We're going to go kill Beta Burst in a second, but we're killing all these because they're minions as well. Uh, they've dropped an uh, L rune. I got quite a few L runes, so I don't need that. Um, so we're going to go kill Beetle Burst. That's the one we want to kill. Beetle Burst is the one we want. He's the one with the XP. 
Um, hope the spear isn't or isn't on the grail needed list. It's not. It's not on the grail. <laughs> it's not on the grail list. I've already got the dragon shang. And there's Beetleburst. So you focus on Beetleburst if you can get to him. And he's going to have all that beautiful XP. Look at that XP fly. Boom. Boom. Tons of it. Kite shield. Now, kite shield three socket would be handy. Um, so I'm going to keep going now because I've got XP trying to use. So use it up until it goes. There we go. Try and focus on all those guys. They're the ones to kill. Um, maggots and some of these guys. Just tons of XP, man. I might even level up twice here if this keeps going. Yeah, just keep, just keep killing, keep killing, get the XP shrine. There we go, keep it going. Can get some more itchies maybe. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. There we go. Come on. Okay. Just keep trying to find creatures. And there's my XP shrine gone. Okay, so I'm literally just going to kill these guys now. And then we will get back and we will do what we need to do. We are level 22. Boom, let's do this. Need to go stretch and grab a drink? No worries, okay. Here is our paladin. Ready to get into hammered in, guys. Here we go, level 22. Let's do this. So, with a hammered in, you are hoping that you find items with faster castrate. That shot. is that is the main goal with, uh, with a paladin. You want faster castrate. That is just the giver. Okay, so if you have any items, most of the time it'll be rings that you can have faster castrate. Luckily, we do have stealth. Now, stealth will set you up nicely with faster castrate because you will have hit two breakpoints already, which is the nine breakpoint and the 18 breakpoint. The next breakpoint is 30, so you just need five more and you will be in to the next breakpoint of uh, 30. Uh, and then the next one after that is 48. Okay, guys. Um, so let's uh let's get over to uh respec so all we do with the respec is we come over here we go to the rogue encampment let's go let's go i'm home from work but i just started cooking things on the stove so here's an immediate look yeah <laughs> thank you very much Rosaka. much appreciated hope food look goes amazing Welcome okay so we're doing a reset here we go guys reset points Okay, so all our skills have now been reset, okay? So if we have a look here, I have 23 skill points to use to build my Blessed Hammer build, okay? So let's first of all, let's start here. So let's go to our inventory. The only item here that is restricted to my specific build is Malice, okay? Now, Malice, um, unfortunately, isn't going to be a weapon that we need to focus on okay at this point because blessed hammer is not going to benefit from the enhanced damage the maximum damage the target the well the target maybe uh chance of open wounds will work prevent monster heal will work um minus 100 to monster defense per hit that is something um and it will drain obviously life so malice is a weapon i'm not going to be using anymore okay because i don't actually hit anything the blessed hammer is a magic ability guys okay so the item we're looking for now is any item any wand any wand or scepter that might have faster castrate okay this is what we're looking for and obviously the cheaper the better okay so let's have a look at some scepters maybe that might even have blessed hammer now if we can have one that's got blessed hammer that could be good to work with okay so zeal blessed aim now blessed aim is something but not what we're looking for we are looking for either faster cast rate or we're looking for um blessed hammer so let's see if we can find a cheapish one there's faster cast rate 16 grand raised skeleton it's not a big deal but 16 grand would i do it i got 73 grand i think i can get cheaper so all you do pop up pop out the town and back in so I will store Malice, just because obviously we've created these items along the way. So there's Malice now. We do have this one, but this is Sorceress only. Doesn't have what we're looking for anyway. Um, so let's get these sorted. So you may be going, well, hold on, a paladin, he usually uses like a sword and stuff. 
But why is he? Why would he use something like that? Why? Because he has got something that is a magical ability. So why would he need to use melee style attacks? So go for something that's going to benefit your magic, uh, which would be faster cast rate. So that's what we're going to be looking for right now. Um, a faster cast rate or maybe even um, a uh, blessed hammer one. Uh, the blessed hammer one would probably be um, more expensive. Like you see there, 71 grand for blessed aim plus two. Resist fire, resist cold. None of them has got faster cast rate, no. Um, if we can get just a wand with faster cast rate, that would be amazing. But I doubt we'll get that up front. That's not a problem. We're just going to try and get it. So we can then obviously prepare our guy uh, for blessed um, hammer to the max. So, holy bolt. Cleansing, holy bolt, cleansing, thorns, no, 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 So, all I know is obviously there is a feature of the game that you are looking to get a better belt. Now, most belts at this point will end up being not high level in strength but you may end up going to uh, 60 strength um now not really finding these items let's try and find them maybe i should have just gone for that 16,000 one <laughs> it's ruined me i got i got impatient with this uh, with the cost of it i should have just got it um the only reason is obviously I will benefit from the the, the a ten to cast rate. So next the next cast rate one, as long as it's under fifty thousand, uh, I'll pick it up. Um, resist cold. Um, prayer, or if I can find one with um, um, blessed hammer. If I can find a blessed hammer, I will be well happy. Uh, so it's either fast uh, ten faster cast rate or. Um, or we get a uh, blessed hammer um we are high enough level to obviously get blessed hammer um so that's something and i will actually just get that get that going so combat skills holy bolt blessed hammer blessed hammer blessed hammer we can get five points into blessed hammer from the start now because we're at this level okay um then skill wise we want to get down to vigor so one two three vigor and then we want to get down to concentrate so one two three there we go we're in concentrate okay so blessed hammer is maxed at the moment we can't do much more with that another thing you might want to do is holy shields now because we're going in i i don't want to put these points in at the point but i do not blame anybody if you are nearly 24 or you are 24 to get your points into there so i could do uh my next point in smite another one in charge and then literally when i become level 24 i can have holy shield which gives you a big boost in defense it's up to you how you look at it. I'd rather focus on making hammers stronger at this point, and then I'll get the shield at a later time, okay? Um, so let's get the no. wand and then I'll do the stats. So let's have a look, come on. Come on, give us a good one, boys. Give us a good one. Faster cast it, ya betchas. Prayer, nope, 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 nope. Low, lots of shit in that one. The invasion skeletons, no faster cast road. Uh, damn, okay. Uh, don't just save an exit. I'll just take too long to load in and out. There we go. Back in. There we go. I could potentially go to Act. I could go to Act 3 to see if they've got any, but usually this lady has. She does okay with them. Defiance. Resist fire and zeal. Pray and right lightning resist. Why aren't you giving me the faster cast rates, you bastard? You gave me one earlier. <laughs> you toying me with me because I didn't give you the money. I didn't give you the 16 grand. I should have given you the 16 grand. Ah! <laughs> Tip for everybody. If you see something that you're like, Oh, I want it. Oh, it's a bit pricey. Just 
bloody buy it yay we got it 11 grand is cheaper yay okay so the 11 grand um let me just see if there's blessed hammer you never know blessed hammer maybe no okay let's get it we, we're getting it okay we're getting it <laughs> don't tell my wife that else <laughs> just buy it there we go Te so if we look at our stats now okay and we go here our faster cast rate is 35 percent okay we have hit three checkpoints on the breakpoints which is 9 18 and 30 we are there we have gone down we can cast three times better than if we didn't have any faster cast rate we're nowhere near obviously 48 at the moment but if we do find some rings if we find two rings that give us 10 percent more each we will be able to break that 48 mark and we will be good to uh, ew buying stuff i know in it ew buying stuff so my base strength is 25 now i will take my base strength up to 30 one two three four five okay take my base up to 30 because some boots do have a strength of 30 okay uh dexterity is only 20 now i will take dexterity up to 30 as well okay and then i will put a few in mana because my mana is a bit low okay so i will put my mana up uh probably an extra maybe go an extra uh take it to 25 so we're on 64 um i will double check uh the mana generation of hammers so let's get hammer there you go so hammer every time i cast hammer it costs six okay it costs six to cast in 64 that means i can cast it 10 times before i have to drink a potion that's fine you don't need a huge pool of mana for it but honestly once you start getting items with mana in them and increases in mana you will really fly okay so let's have a look at what we're looking at here so let's build the character so we got the mana base we're happy with we got uh, dexterity is 30 we got base we could take both of them to 40 but realistically i think 30 possibly 35 and then the rest in vitality so we're on that'll take us to 105 vitality there we go so <clears throat> if we level up now three more levels we could consider taking it to 40 um some items do come up with 40 so this is where we build the hammer style okay so let's quickly look here we've got the potions there um there we go so we've got our wand which is faster cast rate we now want to focus on hammer in the left okay so get it on your uh, your favorite button okay and then uh, on the on the right hand side you want your spells so for me i tend to put uh, so you put my hammer on the left button then my mi mi middle finger will switch to um to vigor and then my outer so my uh, index finger will then be uh on concentrate okay you don't need to worry about blessed aim you don't use it defiance don't use it cleansing and prayer don't use them uh turn a tone portal i do sometimes use as e as a skateboard and there we go so now you'll see there's a glitch here i have actually glitched it that i am actually i have the aura of holy fire now i may actually not do holy fire damage but we'll soon see when we go outside and if creatures get burnt but it has glitched because i've done a reset when i was holy fire so i'm using vigor at the moment and then if i switch that is concentration okay concentration makes blessed hammer stronger because your uh, attack rating damage uh, your damage and your un in in un in <laughs> uninterruptible um is added as well okay so switching between vigor and that is a great deal you run pretty fast with it once you get some faster run walk boots you really go fast um and then obviously concentrate there so you're switching basically between these two spells from vigor to running around with vigor switch it to that to attack uh once you've got your hammer hammer out get your hammer out so let's add the points so we've done blessed hammer as far as we can we can't put any more points in it until we level up okay so what we do now is blessed aim and vigor are the ones that increase um increase the actual damage of blessed hammer so you work on that basis so you start i go vigor's on one it's now on two blessed aim's on two now you do concentrate 
Then you go defensive back to Vigor, back to Blessed, back to Concentrate, back to Vigor, back to Blessed, back to Concentrate, and last point, back to Vigor. And you're literally going in that rotation, keeping them equal going around because obviously your concentration is giving you the uh, increased damage um, and then obviously you've got blessed aim and vigor giving you a boost to your hammer do that rotation and you f I, I find that it gives you an all-around even distribution of damage and attack okay so very very handy to use that so what we're going to do now is we're going to head off to act three uh, make sure we're in players one because obviously this is the hammer now. This is a different sort of build. This is Hammerdin. <laughs> so glory to Hammerdin. Yes. Here he is. We're gonna drink our potions up. We're gonna get good potions. So we're gonna sell the smaller ones because obviously we're all about healing good potions. And then mana, we're happy to stick with light mana because 64. These heal 120, which is perfect. Okay. So. I'm going to keep the diamond and I'm going to pop it safe because what we want to make with this is a three perfect, a three perfect um, uh, shield with all resistances. So by the time we enter nightmare, we're prepared for the resistance drop. Okay. I recommend you guys doing this. Uh, this will take a while, so you don't need to do it now. I will probably be doing it um, before I start a nightmare run of this character, but all you need is three diamonds chip diamonds And you take each of them to a gem shrine in stony field until they're perfect But you gotta make sure you only have one of them on you at any time Do not have more than one because it will give you a random chipped gem You've got to make sure there's only one gem, okay, and it's the same with skulls skulls counts as gems as well So if you've got a skull in there and the gem it will give you a random gem again uh, so make sure that that is something that you are keeping an eye on so away we go let's go running and let's get our hammer time let's go so out into the wilderness that is the glory that is this place so you'll get to see the hammer time here comes hammers There goes hammers, there goes hammers, there goes hammer time. And there you go, the hammers just spin around. Boom, boom, boom. And we got a jade figurine as well, which is awesome. Thank you. Uh, as you can see, the mana does go down. And there you go, the hammer literally just spins around and causes damage. There you go. And when they come into the, they come and walk into it, boom, they're dead. That's what's so great about hammer. <laughs> Now you do go through mana a lot quicker than obviously any other build that we've done. Not when I say any other build, I mean any other like paladin the, the the paladin attacks you've seen so far, which has been zeal, which has been negated by um, by uh, attack um, killer killer <laughs> mana on kill. Um, so you need to consider that yeah you might need more mana potions. And carry more mana potions on you, which I do need to do. I've only got a few, so I do need to go back and make sure that I've got plenty of, plenty of uh, mana. Or just keep an eye out for mana and pick them up on the way. There we go. So, same again. You're just keeping on top of them. Okay. Could be a faster cast rate uh, ring, so keep an eye. Fire resist 8. Meh. Amulet, maybe faster cast rate. 2 to strength, meh. So, yeah, always keep an eye, you never know. Floor Diamond, now that saved a lot of time for me building my, uh, building my, um, my, my diamonds. I'm already now at Flawed. So that is something to obviously keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for those diamonds. You never know when you'll come across one. Um, the more high-end diamonds you have, the less, um, the less you need to go to the shrines to try and upgrade them, okay? Um, so I do recommend that as well. So just keep an eye out for diamonds. You can also upgrade diamonds if you really want. Um, all you need to do is have three of the same quality of uh, diamond and pop, pop them in your cube. All right. Uh, superior boots. There we go. Strength 30. Uh, that's better than those. I will go back to turn because I need mana. 
<laughs> so now I'm going to be 50-50. I'm going to be 50, 50 health and I'm going to 50 mana. That's what I'm going to go with. 1 to 6 lightning, you don't need that because you're not physically hitting. 1, one to 6 is uh, physical, dexterity is okay, poison is okay. 1 to strength, not really needed, but uh, it's only eating at one space. Um, I can make this into a emergency piece of equipment. Um, that's just if we want to... Um, as if we want to do an instant heal um but other than that we just want mana so same again we want these there we go and just get plenty of mana potions topped up there we go and we'll go speak to Mashif because he's going to give us a bird and then once he's given us the bird we then go all the way up and we um we speak to Alco Alco then sorts us out with um so that's just out with a potion. Good day. There we go. And there we go. Drink the potion for 20 to life. Perfect. So same again. I'll drop off this floor, yeah? Good to see. There we go. So now I have two. So I can use those two to go to shrines. Which is perfect. Back to Spider Forest. And let's keep going. So we're looking for the gaps in the walls to take us to um, new areas. Unfortunately, it looks like nothing much here. Might be in here, maybe. Nope. So I'm trying to, like, if you notice, I'm just trying to gather them around if I can. Mana. There you go. Keep them in mana. And then, yeah, just lead the hammers. Do the work. The hammers are your power. Um, Odyssey, this build is so fast when it comes to, um, like, when you're in your, like, 40s and 50s like the speed you go at is great because of vigor and then also the damage you do with blessed hammer is just lovely um, using that blend of um, of uh, those synergy skills um, all I would say as well is just keep an eye for um, the angle that you're hitting at because that is one thing that you'll notice is the hammers go around in a weird arc um, they go weird circle arc like that and that does become troublesome When creatures are on a certain angle, but as long as you're moving around and causing them to To move as well, you'll honestly hit them more than you actually realize So all we want to do we want to get into the spaces where we can actually run around like this and actually do a circle attack like that And then that works quite well um, all we're looking for here now is um, the, what do you call it, the spider cavern, which should be here somewhere. There it is. I heard a shield. That could be a good shield. No, it's not. And here we go. Now, this is a tricky place because, as you can see, corridors. Corridors are not good for the paladin. He, he does struggle when it comes to hammer time. But as long as we can get a few hammers to come down and then they move forward to us... You just need to kind of like position it that the hammer actually goes down and hits them. Um, but yeah, it can be quite tricky, so be aware that the hammers will sometimes struggle to hit. You've just got to just get into position, mainly. There we go. That's alright. So mana's out already, so just going to make sure I just drink up. So we need to get down there. There. So in a weird angle, so he's done all the work for us there, which I'm happy happy with. But we do need to go be on the other side, so I need to go all the way around. Um, nearly leveled up, so that means we're nearly level 23, I think. 23, yeah, 23, I think. So we are going to be perfect. We're going to be not losing any of the um, XP. We've not been going, obviously, the speed that we would usually be going, especially compared to, like, uh, the Sorceress or the Druid and things like that. But we're still going at a decent speed, I'd say. So let's kill this group here, and we should level up. So as you can see, the hammer's only, like, going halfway. There we go. That's better. There we go. Kill the minions. Just get rid of them. There we go. Out to mana. Gotta make sure the mana. Look at those spiders. They're all dead. See you later. 
go to hell. <laughs> uh, so I did the way that two to five fire. Same again, not worth really doing. Um, get the mana going and let's go. So you leveled up. What do we do? Hammer. Always blessed hammer. Uh, once you've once you've got spare points, you'd put them into um, you'd put them into the other skills like. Um, so you'll find that we'll be getting up to um, what is it? Uh, doing Iswal, which is a quest where you get two skill points. Well, that is one where you might put one in Blessed Hammer and then put the other in Vigor or Blessed Aim or whichever one comes like next on your list. Um, <clears throat> so that's not going to be worth anything. So let's move on to the next area. So hopefully we'll be getting to the Flayer Jungle soon. Now, so let's watch out for Flame Boys. Flame Boys suck. Now, the main thing we're looking for now is that we don't actually go into the Great Marsh. I hate the Great Marsh. It sucks. It sucks big noodles. And there's the Great Marsh. Okay, so we don't want to be in the Great Marsh. I kind of wanted to go to the Flare Jungle. So I'm going to go left and I'm going to see if it takes us to the Flare Jungle. Now, if it takes us to the Flare Jungle, I'll be happy. If it doesn't, I'll be sad. Um, because the Flare Jungle is um, is ultimately where the next like quest item is. Great Marsh does not provide anything um, valuable, um, uh, quest related or even like I wouldn't even say experience wise. It's just a place that it's just a place, um, and I wouldn't recommend it for anybody. Because there's creatures in there that are an absolute pain in the absolute balls. And there's the flayers. I've seen them. I have seen them. Now, we are going into the flayed jungle. There it is. Now, flayed jungle is where more shit goes down. Creatures are tough, yes. Uh, these guys are knobs. We hate them. Uh, but ultimately, it's progress in the, in the area. Now, I am putting concentration on so I get a bit more damage. There we go. I am running slower now. There we go. These guys are being annoying with their shooting attacks. There we go. Because of the, the way the hammers are rolling, they're not getting them as easy. There we go. Just gotta keep an eye on what they're hitting. Like, I hate the, the what's call it, guys? The ones that shoot. Um, what do they call it? They shoot the... Um, oh, damn it. Come down. Uh, they shoot their like, uh, pea shooters or whatever they're called. Blowpipes. Blowpipes, that's it. Um, they shoot the blowpipes. Not a big fan of them, guys. They're absolute asses. But as long as you can get into a good position with them, you should be able to actually take them out. Okay, so... What are we dealing with here? Okay, that's fine. Any mana. Any mana. Okay, so we're going to see if we can find. Yeah, so I'm on the wrong angle with these guys now. They're, they're, they're causing me to not get the right hits on them, which is annoying. But all you can do is just keep out there, keep the hammers flying. There's another Targe that could be... No, I think Targe is only th three sockets. That's the most you can get. Um, so that's Ethereal, but Ethereal with 13 to all res. Um, that could have been good. Oh, so same again, you got to watch, watch the health. Watch the health. Okay, so an absolute dead end. Sounds no good. I'm going to go back to town and get more mana. Um, so in this case, I'm going to fill up on mana to the max. Um, there we go. So let's get full mana. Uh, oh, I went to I went to the too big. Went too big. No, I don't sell them, you knob. Never mind. Okay. So we want to go with these ones. There we go. I'm going to just fill my inventory up with these. Sell that. Sell that. Keep buying as many of these, sell that as well, because that's not really worth doing. I'll buy a few healings as well, just as a backup. And then, there we go, we've got plenty of mana just to keep us going. 
and let's go. Okay, so let's see if we can find the exit. How sure I am? Those. I think this is going to be Great Marsh down here. Oh no, Spider Forest. Okay, so Spider Forest is that way. Don't need to go that way. Just keep going. Just keep going. If you want to run, put Vigor on. And you run a little bit faster. As you can see, I'm outrunning those guys. There we go. And then when you're ready to fight, switch back to Concentrate to cause the damage then. There we go. Extra damage. Hammers in, so they hit them. Boosh. There we go. A unique push up for him. It's going to be a bit of a pain, but no problem for me. Um, I can't carry it. That's fine. Smoke Sphere could be good if it's not ethereal. It's okay. It's got some skills on it. Uh, okay. So let's keep on running. Oh, God. Oh, this could go bad. This could go bad. But somehow we survived. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. Okay, they be busy. <laughs> As you can see, this is the hammer boy. He is a strong guy. He can survive. But just imagine how good he can be if you end up getting some good items. Um, if you can get some good items that will boost your hammers. Okay, we need to go back to town because we've been cursed. Uh, we want to get rid of that curse because that curse is amplified damage which is an extra 100% physical damage we don't want that because anything that does a lot of damage will absolutely destroy us and it's just not needed uh, go back to town come to Ormus get healed up and then back to it okay so our goal is to get into these doorways <coughs> There we go, like the radius of it does go quite good like once you get started. There we go, it wipes them out quite well. Like you just gotta just gotta get the angle right. Okay, so here is the warp point for Flayer. Uh, that's the swampy pit. Don't need that. The one thing I will say though is if the exit is up this way, is there an exit? There might be, yes, there is. There is an exit. So there is an exit up this way. There we go, just try and get them in. Watch out for the flame boy. Flame boy is a pain in the ass. There we go, get the mana going. Okay, so I'm gonna say that maybe. Oh god. Okay, this is actually a good point because I'm using the bridge as a bit of a shield. So that's actually a really good thing to do. Okay, so the main goal we're looking at is um, finding the, uh, what's it called? Um, Kurast Bazaar. It's the next area, but we do need to actually find the Gibdin as well. That's part of the quest system. Like, you don't have to do it anymore, but it's, I'd say it's a quite good. Um, poison, don't need that. Don't think there's another one here, but... As you can see, the XP you get from these guys are actually quite good. Like, it's not bad. Um, I wouldn't complain too much with this XP. It's actually quite tasty. Rod dash. Never know. Rod dashes. Magic ones. One, eight. No. Not that good. Not that good. Okay, so... Let's keep going. So I think the exit might be this way, but switch to Vigor so we can get the boost of energy. And then all we want to do is switch into this and get the shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. okay get some heals on. Um, project shield, though. How many sockets? Three sockets, so that one is good for an Ancient's Pledge. Um, if we don't go down the route of using um, the uh, other socketed uh, shield with the three diamonds, could put three diamonds in this one. Um, it just depends what you yes. want to look for because uh, Ancient's Pledge is a, is a good uh, rune wood. 
Uh, that already has seven to all resist and it's got a 50 percent chance to block where this one's 45 percent chance to block seven to all res as well um so it's it's like which one you want to make into ancient splits you can and then the other one can be a diamond one uh, and you can flip between them if you want to okay so let's uh let's get rid of these because these are probably going to be worth something i'll transmute that to get a big a big heal and i'll get these out as well Okay, and sell these guys. Hello. Here we go. Fifteen. Like I could hold on to them, but fifteen grand at the moment would be quite good for me. I think just uh, give me a little bit extra uh, gold for now. Um, I'm gonna get some potions in and keep this flying and keep the healings go. Uh, get the manners going. There we go. Now, okay, back we go. So, flare jungle. Uh, let's put vigor on. And then we'll switch if we need to fight. So this, with the Paladin, I find you switch a lot between the aura. Um, you'll get used to it. Um, just find your, find your groove, find your groove. There we go. Now, once you find gold, you know you are coming up to the end of the area, and you're coming up to the end of the jungle, which means you are getting to the Kuras Bazaar. Uh, obviously, if you haven't got, haven't found the Flayer dungeon, dungeon by that point, you need to go back. Um, so, we're not quite there yet. So, let's go back this way. Get the hammer attacks in. There we go. And then we just need to find the gap. See if there's one over here. Okay, these guys are the annoying ones, just standing on the edges like that. Uh, yeah, we'll look at that. Cool. Good amount. Oh, damn it. Stab it. That's it. Cool. So my guy's at least helping. <laughs> But what do you guys think of the Hammered in so far? I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, it's something different. It's different to the build, the other builds that we've gone through. Um, it definitely, there's the exit there. Not the exit, but that's the place to the Flayer jungle. This is where we actually get... Whoop, Ethron. This is where we actually go in and get the um, Gibdin and we get the... Um, what do you call it? Uh, we get the, the actual dungeon. The dungeon is actually quite tricky for a hammered in. It's not the best, I will admit. It'll be tricky, but we'll we'll do our best. Now, being level, what, what level are we? We are level um, 23. So before we level up, a good idea, a good thing to do as well is to buy a, um, a teleport staff. Um, that is definitely something to get. Um, I'm going to just get some hammers going just because the guy jumps in here somewhere. There he is. There we are, and he's dead. Nailed him. Nailed it! <laughs> Nailed it. So that's the Gibdin done. So that's the Gibdin quest. Um, but we do need to do the Flayed Dungeon, which is just here. Now, what I'm going to do here, portal, and I'm going to run ahead to Karas Bazaar. And I'm going to get Kuras Bazaar uh, warp point, so I can then go back, jump through the teleport, and then carry on with my journey. I am going to hope that we can find some items, so I'm trying not to level up here. I'm going to try and just run ahead and get the money. Find the money, money. There's the money. We got the money. Now we just need to cross the bridge, wherever it is. Maybe up this way. Yeah, there's the bridge. And there's the rest of the money, and there's the group. So this is the group that is quite a tough one. Hopefully it doesn't level me up. Nope. Good. Good. <laughs> Not today, mon frere. Non today. So, up we go. Into the lovely world of Karast. Lower Karast. Not Karast Bazaar. Lower Karast. So Lower Karast, we're looking for a warp point. 
Um, the warp point should be on a little like platform, so we're gonna keep looking up this way. I think no, it's the edge there. It's the same again. Like just, I would put vigor on at this point just so we run faster. Um, I don't want to level up, so I'm just going. I am going. Oh, experience shrine as well. Are you kidding me? Oh Jesus, no. Okay, so I know there's an experience shrine there. That's good. Um, let's see if we can find the go dame what point quickly so we can then there we go find it okay so what point back to town now then tips tips for getting that telly um, that telly charges telly charges uh, is a level 24 skill now level 24 we are level 23 so every staff in this area is going to be a a uh, red one with charges on it. What we got? Attack rating, strength, energy, mana, mana after each kill, damage reduced. That's, if only it had faster cast rate. Uh, I'll swap it out for that one. Um, if only it had faster cast rate. That would have been OP. Okay, so we're looking in here for these ones. We're looking for the ones that say <clears throat> teleport charges. And only the red ones. There we go. So nothing in there. So all we do is we pop out any one of them. Doesn't matter which one you go to. And you're literally just looking for those red-backed items. The ones that you cannot use yet. It'll save you tons of time just looking for the red one. That's sorceress. That's sorceress. That's enchant. But 242 grand, which I do not have. Um, <laughs> uh, also, you can look for the Blessed Hammers as well. So if you find an item with uh, plus one, plus two to Blessed Hammer, go for it. Just be aware that a Blessed Hammer 2 or Blessed Hammer 3 is going to be expensive. Very expensive. Um, so it depends if you really want to go down that route and get something like that. Okay. Now then, let's keep on trying to get this item because this will make life a little easier when it comes to uh, the dungeon, okay? So there it is there. No, that's just sorcerer skills. Uh, energy shield level 24. Uh, don't want to save an exit. You just want to pop out of town, back in, and it's all about the shopping. All about the shoppings. Uh, so let's get in here. What have you got? Oh, nothing red there, nothing red there. So see, like that, I would have been looking at those items and I probably wouldn't have done it as quick as that. And now I'm back. You just wanting to get around as quick as you can so you can get um, you can get the purchases done. So here we go. Sorceresses, no. Enchant again. Uh, sorceress, sorceress, and nothing. And this can take a while, guys. Like, you can find it within a few moments, some people will. And then others will spend... You may spend half hour looking at it, which is probably the rate I'm going to be finding them at. Um, but we're going to go Sorceress. Uh, sorceress. Sorceress. Uh, sorceress. Enchant! Ah, that would have been perfect for a teleport. That would have been 16 grand, cheap as chips, teleport enchanted. Ah, yeah. That's what I say. Die, ah, been done over, everybody. Been done over. Okay. So, let's keep on going. We're nearly there, so. Enchant again? What is with it with giving me enchant today? It wants me to be an enchanted paladin. <laughs> it's giving me not what I want right now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, okay, so... Um, let's have a look here. Spider forest! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Come on, Amos. No, we're not going to do that big. No glacial spike and no... Oh, hold on. There's one there. I didn't, I didn't see that one. Sacrifice, but 260 grand. I don't have 260 grand. This is it. You can literally keep going until you find that 16 grand one, okay? Which is basically... 
in, uh, charges to teleport Hello. and that's all that's on there uh, you can hope for it you can dream about it oh, for god's sake stop giving me enchant you suck <laughs> it's giving me enchant twice now it's trolling me it knows I'm making a YouTube video guide you bastard <laughs> God damn you! Yeah. I hate you! I hate you! Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, spider forest again. <sighs> you bastard. Okay, here we go. Teleport! There we go, okay. So, teleport charges. Here we go. One to teleport charges, 33 charges, we're good. We found it. But, problem, 71 grand. Damn it. Welcome, PB. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Welcome home. <laughs> oh, 71 grand. For guide purposes, I'm buying it, okay? It's an absolute stinker to do it, but I am buying it. Teleport charges, it has to be charges. Frickin' hell, that is, that's expensive. I wouldn't recommend anybody doing that, okay? Don't do that. It's too expensive. But I've done it for the guide purposes. I am now poor. 26 grand. <laughs> the things I do for you. <laughs> so, we have now got the teleport. Uh, we can come to Flare Dungeon here and, um, and teleport once we're level 24. Which is fine. Because... I didn't want to go through there. I should have gone by the warp point. I'm nearly 24 now. Um, and I will be able to use that staff to uh, teleport through the dungeon, which is what we're hoping to do. That is the plan, uh, to teleport through the dungeon, to get through it quickly, uh, get the brain and move on. So what I'm going to do now is get that experience shrine up here. Where was it? Uh, it was there. I see it just ahead, the yellow one. Um, here it is. Grab that boy. There we go. And let's hammer this. Let's hammer these dudes. Oh, mana. Drain my mana. Son of a monkey dung. There we go. Okay. Awesome. I'm good. Basically, been super busy. Just finished the hospital. Of course, then at the end of the week, I have work experience, so I might have a job soon. Dude, congratulations. Well done. Well done, my friend. Okay, let's get the kills on. And let's get the level up. There we go. Kill all these boys. That's it. Okay. I might even run ahead and go into the next area, which is Kurast Bazaar. Now, Kurast Bazaar is where you get the unbelievable leveling location of Serena and her, you know, her amazing group of people. Um, so, we're going to go up and check them out. Well, we might level up by the time we get to Serena, to be honest. So, we'll see. Let's see how we do. Okay, so first one. Now, first thing you want to find is um, the temples. There's a temple there. That is not the temple you're looking for. These are not the temples you are looking for. Use your Jedi mind powers to stop them. Um, the Jedi temples. No, the one you're looking for is the one that is pointing downwards. This one, south, uh, southwest. Is it southwest? Yeah. Um, that's the one you're looking for. Southwest. Um, so, same again, you want to check the rings as soon as you get them, it might be faster castrate. Nope. Um, kill all these boys. How have you been? How have been good, dude? I am literally, you are, well, we're doing YouTube um, guides for Diablo. Uh, currently doing one right now. Uh, which is to uh, get the hammerdin. How to build your hammerdin. From scratch. From level one, I am teaching people how to do it from scratch. You guys can follow it along. It's a guided playthrough. Um, play it at your own pace. <laughs> um, so yeah, our goal here is to um, level up to 24 so we can have the teleport. Um, now, the only time you can get teleport otherwise is a armor that is insanely hard to make. It's called Enigma. Um, and Enigma is... Um, high runes to create it so without doing that 
Oh, blessed hammer. We do stats, a heal us. There we go. And here is the temple we want to go to. So this temple here is the one we want. Serena, it'll be in here. There she is. And you literally just want to blast her as best you can. Look at these guys. These guys will be immune to cold and shit. But it doesn't matter because I am literally so goddamn powerful with magic. It doesn't matter. So the XP in this area is lovely. Also, you get a lovely book, which will give you stats. And we like stats, don't we, people? Of course we do. So there's the book, and out we come. I am overburdened. Overburdened, of course I am. Okay, so I'm looking for the warp point. Um, the warp point is what I need to get back. I can't use a TP. If I use a TP now, we get rid of the one near the dungeon, which I need to use. And there's the warp point. Beautiful. How delightful. I can now use my staff. Now, my staff Greetings. is all about... Um, what am I doing? Um, I'm just going to do that for now. Um, there we go. So, my staff, I need to make sure, has got teleport charges on it. There we go. I then need to make sure that I'm not fighting. Yes. My staff is just to teleport, and that is it. So, whenever I pull my staff out, I can teleport. And that is the magic of that item. Um, I will use it to get around awkward and difficult areas. Um, there we go, we just got our stats. Five more points into that. I might put it into... Put it into dexterity. There we go. Put some into dexterity. Uh, so I'm now currently level 24, which is perfect. Perfect. Uh, so I'm going to the flared jungle now to go into the uh, into the dungeon. And the goal here is to try and get out of here without dying. Because these guys are absolute assholes. So I'm going to try my best to not die. Ow, circle of flame. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. And there's the exit. Cool. So, there is an area in this section that is quite dangerous, so we want to watch out for them. Here's one of them. Just not very open. Uh, lots of guys in here. Pain in the asses. Um, lots of these guys. Trying to get the hammer attacks off. Woo. There we go. And we just need to find the exit. Uh, it should be here somewhere. There it is. Fantastic. Now, number three. So, what tends to happen with number three is it tends to be... There it is. Awesome. We have found it. So, all I need to do is teleport in, switch back, get that, get that, save and exit, done. That dungeon is done now. Amazing. See? One teleport and we're done. Okay, so very handy. That would have taken me much longer to explore it. Use the teleport staff. You're good to go. Yes, it cost me 70 bloody grand. But for you guys, I'll do it. For you guys, I'll do anything. Um, so, we have now got the brain. We've got the brain. There we go. He says, well done, you got the brain. I know. Insane in the brain. Now... Let's try and get some money up. Now, we go to Karas Bazaar. We don't need to worry about XP. XP-wise, we are golden. Now, the place we need to go next is the sewers. Okay? So the sewers... Sewers is also a very annoying location. But, alas, we shall survive. There we go. Okay, so we found this. Uh, found upper grass. So we'll go in here as well. And we'll try and find the warp point for this one. If not, it's not the end of the world. Um, we can go straight up to Traving Call um, and get that warp point. So we'll just see how we do. Um, upper grass does have sewers as well. Does have temples that you can go to. Um, there's the sewers there. Um... And then I think it's, where is it? It's probably up here somewhere. Uh, Travancol, yeah, there we go. So Travancol is literally up here. So I'm just going to run ahead. 
Um, and we're going to get the warp point, nice and easy. Good night, everybody. Have a good sleep. Have a good one, Malin. Thank you so much for coming by. And I will see you on probably on Wednesday for the Halloween event in the world of Sims, which I know you are excited to see and experience. So yes, don't miss out, guys. Uh, on uh, on Wednesday, we will be doing a completely different stream, and it is going to be an absolute ball. It is going to be an absolute ball. You're going to enjoy it. It's a planned out stream as well. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and do come by and uh, just experience what is going to go down. <laughs> um, but have a lovely sleep. Dance, dance, dance. Exactly. Uh, okay. Boop, 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 boop. So we've got the brain, we've got the eye. We now need to uh, go to the sewers. So the sewers is where we get the um the heart so let's just head down there okay so i tend to go clockwise um sometimes i luck out and it's right but other times i screw out and it doesn't go well but we'll see we'll see how we do there's a lot of weirdness going on here okay don't think it's there oh. That. Oh, I hear the rune. Could be anything. It's a nephron. No, that's fine. Don't want a nephron. There's a chest in there. Lots of items. Nothing good. Okay, so methinks it might be anti clockwise then. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Maybe anti clockwise, but we'll have a look. But we'll, we'll, we'll go this way and we'll see what happens. Stone skin. That's fine. He will die in a sec. By having Vigor on, you can absolutely own these guys because they can't drain your stamina. I That's just what don't usually happens get otherwise. It's like, we said your back is really hurting tonight and sitting in the chairs. Killer! Gonna call it a night and rest up, dude. Have a good one, dude. Feel better. Don't be sorry. No need to. Um, yes, yeah, so have a good one, dude. Have a good night's sleep. Try and have a good night's sleep. Okay, literally you're just running past all these creatures. Like, the main goal is just to get to that um, button. There's a button that you have to press or a lever you have to press. Um, that is the goal. So if you can run it, run it. Um, that is my best advice. Um, and just keep following the wall around. It is very rare, but it does happen. And you will have to find it in a different section. But is it here? No. It's not there. Okay, that sucks. Okay, so it's not in there. It's fine. Let's keep going down. Uh, it can stay safe. Yes, indeed. Indeed we will. Okay, so keep going down. Literally, I think I should have gone bloody the other way. Because it doesn't seem to be this way. So I'm literally just boosting up this. There we go. Get the hammers down. There we go. My guy is taking an absolute battering, but that's annoying. So same again, just use the teleporter to get past something that's blocking you. Um, just make life easier for yourself. Don't uh, don't have to struggle in these parts. Okay, um, I am gonna go to that. Ten to life, now that's better. Ten to life is better. Okay, <clears throat> where is this button that we need to press? Where is the button? Where is the button? Show me the goddamn button. So the button we're looking for is guarded by some bats. Um, you will see them, they do stand out. Um, God alive, it could be in the center as well, which is the worst part. If it's in the center, it's really annoying to find it. It's really annoying. Um, which it could well be. Then he's just killed my guy. Wow. Okay. This is an awkward one. I don't like... I don't like this map. This map has literally trolled me to the absolute freaking max. Um, I hate it when it does this one. So basically, it's there. There we go. It's in that little cove. Okay. Can you see that little red line? That's the one we want. We're going to teleport over and teleport there and deal with these guys. Ok, 
go. Just deal with them. Happy days. Um, there we go. Drink the potions. Heal us up. Thank you. And there we go. So we managed to get through. Let's get that heart and let's get out of here. There we go. Got the heart. Same again. Silver next. It's just quicker. Quicker to just get out. You got the heart. That's all we need. Now then. We'll go and get my guy back because he is handy to a certain point. Um, just as a way of just a bit of a distraction. So, away we go. Let's go, go, go. Sorry, very much. Let's get our guy back. He's over here in Ashira. Hello. Come on, there we go. Get our guy back. All right. Because our guy is level 23, we're level 24, so it's about right. Uh, heart can go in there, and then just need to get more healing potions ready. There we go, more healing potions, and then more mana potions. Okay. Let's go Travancore. Let's go, go, go. So, traveling call, how are we doing? There we go. Okay. Um, okay. Let's have a look. Um, okay. Let's grab these guys, take them out. Uh, but the main goal is to kill the council. Here they come. There they are. Come through. Just keep the ball, keep the hammers going, keep them flying, keep them smashing. There we go. There's the flail, that's what we need. That's what we need. Clail, there we go. And transmute it, charm in. Identify 60 poison is not so great. Now we need to pop that like that. Just hit this orb. There we go, we've done it. Kill these guys. Shine anew with the shine anew. Good. Okay. So, we have done that. Thank God. Okay, put that back. Put teleport back. There we go. Awesome. We have now killed the council. They are dead. See you later, losers. Yes. Quest completed. Yes. Uh, get rid of the, that one. Get rid of the... Uh, actually... Was. Okay. Awesome. So now we need to go and kill Mephisto. Even though he's not saying anything. Fair enough. There we go. Okay. Let's go and fight Mephisto. So Mephisto being the uh, first of the. Um, first of the. Um, Primevals. We need to go kill him. So let's see if we can find the exit. There it is. Perfect. Perfect exit. You never know. You just gotta keep running. Keep running, running, run, running, 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 running. Now, level two is an important one to go to because if you want to do Mephisto runs, um, Mephisto runs are uh, exactly where. You can get some really good items in the game. There we go, hit him a few times. Boom. There we go. So we're looking for the warp point for this one. Um, because ultimately we want to do maybe some Mephisto runs. Um, it will be something to do. Um, just get the hits on these guys. There's the exit. So I can literally just, if it's too far away from it, I can just teleport to it. Um, uh, so let's keep looking for this warp point. So I like I, the way I tend to do it is I tend to just do it from the edges. It's much easier to navigate. Um, you can use your teleport if you want to, but just remember that every time you use a teleport, it does cost 
um, two and a half thousand of your gold uh, to do that. Um, so it is pricey. I don't know why. There, there it is. Oh god, okay, this guy's a tough one. Watch out for him. He's gonna hurt. There we go. Okay, mana, that'll do. And then the portal, I think, is there. Literally there. I see it. So it's just down here. There it is. Okay, there we go. Got it. Awesome. So I go back here and then we'll run through the portal and we're good to go. So with this build, as you can see, we are level 24. We haven't got to act four Hello. yet um, because we focused very heavily on the early game um, and getting through that in a, in a way that is just safe and just, yeah. Um, what we're looking to do now is just go through that portal and then we will be fighting Mephisto. So good luck, everybody. Here we go, Mephisto is going down. So let's take these guys. Okay, let's just get the hammers down, just try and get them out. Watch out on your health, like the guy will die. Oh, I nearly died myself. So try and move as best you can, because these guys can be a pain in the ass. Especially if he does that attack. He gets some hammers in, there we go. I am overburdened. Overburdened, that's fine. There we go, okay. So, Null Staff, is that? Oh, it's Ethereal, so that's fine. Um, there we go, get some of those in. Obviously, Rejuice are a great way of doing instant heals if you're finding that you're dying. But look at the hammers, just absolutely destroying them. I will pick up some armors because I need money. I do I know I need some money. Oh, wow, <laughs> Green Sash. Death Scarred. Cannot be frozen. <laughs> it's actually a good good one early on to not be frozen. Um, the only problem is that only uh, holds uh, eight. Where well, this holds obviously more healings and more manners. Um, but yeah, so that is an option. Now then, Mephisto, here he comes. Okay, just want to get the hammers out to him. Try and get them hammers out. Try and avoid the, the lightning and stuff. But yeah, get the hammers out. He's not quite getting yet. There we go. So you want to get in the position that you can see the health dis you know, actually going down quickly. Um, get the man in, get the heals, and then just get your hammers out. Boom. And there we go. So what I do now is I'll just drink all these potions just to make the space because it is literally... Uh, these are going to be worth money. So... I need the money. I need the money, money, money. There we go. And then maybe I can get the longbow in there. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, some money at the back here, which I'll just pick up. And the chest, last charm, pick that up. And the money, and there we go. So, away we go into Act 4. Congratulations, everybody! You have done it. Act 3 is done. Completed. Into Act 4 now. Let's do this. Can we close this in? Uh, and what you'll find is the Hammerdin will just keep excelling as he levels up um, throughout his difficulty. And like I said, you up it, you up the difficulty, you up the uh, player's count uh, to eight. By the time you get to like the throne room, you will be just flying through the levels, uh, which I may do a level in. Um, I could do a leveling session um, where we will show all that. Um, so, here we go. Um, magic. So, how much money do we make from all of this? Uh, for the strength, no. no. So, we made 17 grand um, from all of that. We'll get all the heals in, we'll get all the manas in. 60 is still good. So, we'll still do those. There we go. Plenty of heals. And we'll get some extra of these. There we go. Cool. That works for me. So, all we're doing now is uh, getting our guy back. Because he is going to be quite handy to have. There uh, we go. And then we do have a bow that we need to... There we go. We just do that. Sell that. It'll be worth maybe a couple of thousand. Those usually aren't worth mass here, a thousand. You know, that's, that's, that's the equivalent of four uh, four portions anyway, so. Um, and then Mephisto Soulstone, I can just 
go there if we want to do that later on so here we go into act four straight out we go i tend to go to the north uh go to the northeast uh follow it around usually the exit is up that way um to be honest don't need to fight anything i am high enough level um i'm level 24 uh, i don't need to kill these things um just run past them honestly um why engage with creatures that are just going to cause you a lot of pain and ass wipery <laughs> literally run past them you've got vigor so you end up running faster than all of them um there is nothing in this area that is going to benefit you if you're obviously a lower level and you're in your like 20 uh 20 21 22 maybe um and you want a bit of xp you can focus on some of these creatures i would avoid the leapers because the i don't know if they're called leapers but i'd avoid them because they're just such a pain in the ass to hit because they jump around so much uh what are they called lurkers um there we go and here we go this is the area that we need to do something we need to find um we need to actually find um iswal so iswal is worth finding like these guys are worth killing because there's a big group of them um but other than that i would focus purely on um purely on this area to try and find Iswal. Um, so let's have a look around. So there's the exit, which is great. So we found the exit area. We just need to find Iswal. A Tal rune, I'll take. Because Tal's, we, were f we, weren't, we didn't find many Tal's before. Okay, so let's... And what's good about this is using the hammer is that if you group all these creatures together, when they come running at you you will be so much you'll be able to kill them all with just one swoop of the hammer which is awesome so even if you're gathering them up together they'll die honestly it makes a big difference so i'm just literally looking around the steps he's usually around the steps areas uh, so do keep an eye out for that but yeah, like if, if everything's following you and you go in, they go into a massive group, by the time you find Iswal, you'll be able to absolutely destroy loads of people and you'll probably level up in that time. Um, so, and best advice is stay in open spaces. Try not to get trapped in like these little sections here, um, like I'm doing right now. There we go, get into the open spaces and just activate your hammer and then whoosh, whiz, whiz them around whiz them around and then hopefully you'll come across his wall there he is okay so there's his wall hopefully we can get all the guys to just swarm around him there we go and then his wall will just die in a sec hopefully and then his wall is a bit of a pain so bear with them Go. I'm just gonna do that and then all I'm gonna do is just launch my hammers at him there we go so just want to try and make sure that you get him into an, the angle but he's it's annoying is he's not ah there we go I think that's it he has basically got the health of Diablo which is frustrating is that it literally just launch your hammers out keep them launching try and stay alive <laughs> like you can do with that your guy um, ends up doing most of the, the fighting but um, at the moment I think my guy is glitched so when he's glitched it means he's teleported to me um, so he's dead he's gonna be dead in a sec anyway there we go he is dead voila and there we go. We can now go back to two. And we will get two skill points, which is awesome. Right, there we go. Two skill points. We can't do Blessed Hammer. Damn it. Not a problem, though. We have got skills that we can boost. And in this case, we can boost Blessed and Concentration all in one go. And they are now 555, five, five, which is great. So, 
we are almost level 25 as well by the time we get to diablo we will be absolutely rinsing it um this one i don't know if it's actually any better than the one i got let's have a look no you can't you can't use that because of the strength is it never mind okay so we got the tower run and we got those and let's boost up um these there we go and get the healings get the star the drinks and then let's go so we go on the health and then it's obviously go on the manners as well so 89 i'm kind of like at the manner of 89 so i think the 120 points are quite handy because you're usually using x amount of mana when you're drinking and when you're drinking you're obviously using so um i would say that you could probably go to that i got another taleth so i can make another stealth if i wanted to be it you could use it for another character etc you're not restricted um so yeah do consider that if you are creating more than one character uh, keys where the hell are keys keys should be here why have you not you've got keys were they yeah they're keys um, okay, so Plains of Despair, we know where the exit is, it's up to the north, so we'll run back this way. We know the exit is up north, we're going to run through that, we're going to find the River of Flame, we're going to head to the, um, the Pandemonium Fortress. Pandemonium Fortress? No, no, Chaos Sanctuary, um, where we will then kill Diablo, and then we will be off to Act 5, and we will likely be level 25. Now that is the goal, obviously. Same again, you want to just get your shots off as best you can. Now, as you can tell, I, I'm probably not the best stat-wise when it comes to my resistances. 48, 11, 11, and 46, not the best. But ultimately, you can focus on increasing that. Focus it to increase that, and you will, you will survive a lot longer. I could spend some time turning all those chip gems into diamonds and then getting that shield and wearing that shield and that shield will just be absolutely op um but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna just run through and be a little bit quicker but it's a little bit riskier um to do it um but i'm doing it so you guys can at least see as we go through that you can do it with lower resistances so you can feel more comfortable when you are doing it with your higher resistances then you can uh, take these creatures out you can deal with them and get those hammers flying now i could put if you notice i'm fighting with vigor basically um because i'm not um i'm just tr going quick ish so if i wanted to i could put um damn it wrong way okay so this is gonna be a bit hard so put the concentration on get in here my guy's taking a batter in now. Come on, get in here. Get in here. This so is the one thing about these is this is confined spaces, you want to be out of it. So it's over this way. Whoa, watch out for all of those. Uh, watch out for all of those. Always aiming north. Diablo's sanctuary is literally north. So as long as you're going up that way, you got to watch as well. You may end up going. Um, to where Hephaestus is, which is the, the, what's called it, the armory. Uh, it's not the end of the world, obviously. Um, but I think I found it. There we go. River of Flame. Happy days. So, we, we can go and do Mephisto's quest, which is basically destroy his, destroy his soul stone. Um, you can go and do that, and then you'll get some gems, or you'll get some runes, um, from the uh, destroying of it. Uh, but if you we just want to carry halt. on you said halt don't you go there and then i just go no i'm going there and he's like oh but why and then i go fuck you because i wanna i wanna zoom 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 and that's it like you don't always have to kill everything and i i know like people love killing everything that is the feature of the game and you are allowed to do it um so you, if you don't feel comfortable in doing this or you want to take your time um please do so and then once you're up to this area <clears throat> skip ahead or pause uh, up to you how you deal with it uh, it's just a very handy guide for you guys to see how to get through you don't need to be you know kitted to the gills because like some of my equipment you'll see that it's not that great literally magic find uh, crap boots a helmet is okay a shield is there uh, obviously the armor's good 
The wand is 10% faster cast rate, fight strength. Like, it's not good gear. Literally not good gear. Um, so, bear in mind that you can take your time and find that good gear. Um, kill, you know, like I said earlier, kill Andariel a few times, kill Mephisto a few times, and get those boosted up. Ooh, a nice Thal rune. That'll be perfect. That'll be perfect. Thank you. Okay, um, everything's just attacking me right now. Thank you, but I've got enough strength and defense to keep me going. Um, okay, and into the Chaos Sanctuary we go. No, oh, damn it. That's the one thing about these guys. Now, the Paladin is without a doubt the best at dealing with the Chaos Sanctuary because nothing in the Chaos Sanctuary is uh, Im uh, immune to me. Um, there's no magic immunes. Uh, they are all like either fire, cold, or lightning. Um, so everything in here will die to my hands. Um, so all I need to do is just keep an eye on my health um, and then just keep running. Try and watch out for those corridors. They're not the best place to fight. Um, you want to be fighting in these open spaces. Uh, so if you can drag them out, I would recommend dragging them out. There we go, we're level 25 now, so Blessed Hammer again. Boom, we're on 8 Blessed Hammer, so that's not too bad. Um, okay, same again, we just want to blast these guys out here. Um, boom, 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 boom. There we go, an rune, this is really going well now. We're going to Aught, we just need a Rao rune, and we can actually make Ancient's Pledge before we even get to Act 5. Which would be awesome. Amulet, one to summoning druid only. Bloody hell, are you kidding me? One to summoning. Have a word with yourself, like, come on. <laughs> one to summoning. Unbelievable. Okay, my guy is having a little bit of a tough time there. Not a problem, though. All we need to do is just focus on getting the potions out. There we go. I will give my guy this, because he Thanks. deserves it. Why not? Um, so you open these seals and then we will open this seal this and un unleash the boss or mini boss go watch here this is the f <clears throat> where fire resist is handy because these guys are really really fire based um, so do consider that like I said you can make a RAL uh, a RAL RAL helmet so two socket helmet with two RALs in it it gives you 60 immunity to fire you are set if you want to do that um, pick up potions as best you can save save buying more um, all we're going to do now is try whoa okay you gotta watch this gotta just keep keep moving around with this bunch they're gonna be a bit of a pain they're gonna hurt your guy so consider healing your guy hold shift uh, and click one two one two three or four depending on where your healing potions are in your belt a ruby not bad there we go and then up we come up to here, kill these guys. I said, literally, hammers does a massive work. Does massive work on these guys. Okay, to crepify is a bit of a pain, but with vigor you can like sort it out a bit. And then these are the tough guys. Watch out for these. Watch out for this guy. Doom knights are annoying, but Lord says he's dead. So there we go. And then Put the banner in. There we go. Okay, so we'll pick up the mace, pick up amethyst and healings. There we go. On to the next seal now, guys. Literally, we've done Act 4. We've done the entire Act 4 in, well, 15 minutes, I guess. Something like that. Obviously, we've got Diablo to kill. So he may take a bit of time. We'll see. We'll see how hammers do. But as you can see, hammer just absolutely rinses creatures in... Um, in groups okay we have been cursed now hopefully a different curse will come on our heads but maybe not okay uh, get some mana potions in make sure you're just topping up your potions kill my guy maybe there we go get the potions on because the amplify damage is the annoying one um because it's there we go so decrepify lowers uh, makes you slow slows you down and amplify damage Gives you 100% physical. So we're just gonna destroy these guys. This guy's gonna fly off and die. There we go. Get the healings and rejuice and let's go kill Diablo. Now then, let's see how we do against Diablo. Let's get rid of vigor and let's get concentration on. And then here we go. Just 
activate your hammers like crazy there you go there's his health going down he's gonna use his lightning which is going to hurt us because we don't have the resistances so bear that in mind oh he literally as i ran around him got me okay not a problem though not a problem so we get the heels on should have put a tp down actually as a uh, <laughs> as a backup but i was being cocky so let's sell <clears throat> some of these things so let's get some money back for these there we go and then amulet summoning druid uh we got lots of uh, maximum stamina don't need that okay so let's get some healing potions just in case and let's drop off the rest look how slow you go Look how slow! Look how slow he is! Um, so we just dropped the gems off and the runes. There we go. More than that. Um, oh, no. There we go. Okay, so let's get my guy back and let's go with the flame. So, not a problem. All we need to do is just get back in there. We've killed, to be fair, we killed most creatures. There's only a few that we run run past. I am going to put Vigor on so I run a little bit faster. Because concentrates only about damage. So we're going to run this way. And then up. This way. There we go. Up and across. Grab a mana. Watch out for the little ones. Remember, we still use hammers. So hammers do as much damage as they do anyway. So remember that. So hammer still does a hundred odd damage per hammer. Um, so the more you activate, the more damage it does. Diablo is going to be sitting on my body. I'm going to drop a TP here as a backup, um, and I'm going to get my body back. Hello. Ow, ow, ow. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to re regroup just so I can get my health back and stuff. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So, back into, where is he? Concentrate, there we go. I'm gonna get the skill shrine, because I'll end up doing more damage. Watch out for the lightning, he's killed my guy. Flame is bad too, because of the fire. Um, just keep moving, that's it, there. There we go, just keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving, that's fine. Wow, he's going full on. And there we go. Hammer should finish him off now. Just get those hammers in. And there we go. Last hammer hit him. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Kill him. Go in there. There we go. I got most of the items. Turn portal. And we're done. Congratulations, everybody. You did it. Diablo is dead. Act 4 is complete. He even bloody put bone prison on my freaking... Portal. <laughs> I love he does that. Fair play to him. So I'll get my guy back because yeah, he's handy to a certain Hello. point. And then Act 5. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. So Act 5. Now then, let's get through and destroy Bale. Now then, with the Paladin now, he is level 25, so he is in Act 5. At level 25, he is not going to be getting any um, uh, any penalties in XP, uh, which is fantastic. Good afternoon. Um, so do remember that that is a massive benefit by being level 25 in this area. Um, okay, so all we need to do now is talk to Lazak. He will um, ask what us to mean? destroy Schenk, the overseer, because he's a pain in the ass. Um, I need to identify items. So maybe not. Well, oh, they've all been identified. Nice. Some nice helmets for barbarians. Yeah, there we go. Battle orders 2. 38 to life, 20 cold resist. That's actually a really, really nice one for a barbarian. Um, Grim Ward, Battle Cry, too. Uh, another one, another good one for um, a barbarian. Jesus, two, two really good ones for a barbarian. Um, like I say, I'd rather have the cash. Like I could save them for a barbarian build if I wanted to, but meh, we'll uh, we'll just carry on regardless. Um, 
We'll get some potions going. We'll get some heals going. There we go. We've got plenty of cash. As you can see, we've had a big boost in cash now uh, with killing Diablo once. Uh, Give me over 50, 60k. We're up to 73 again. Things are getting a little bit better. So, all we do now, run out into the next area. <clears throat> Focus on running all the way to the end. Do not stop. Uh, kill Shank. Once you kill Shank, you can go back to town. And then uh, you can get a socketed quest. Now the socket quest is something you may want to keep. You want to keep it for higher level items. Um, but do consider it um, for something like a four socketed crystal sword. So you can make the ruby with spirit. That will definitely set you up nicely. Flawless ruby, I will take. That is nice. Um, let's go. So I'm still using Vigor just to get ahead. Just to get the speed and the stamina. Go watch this, sometimes they will block you. Um, there is a unique guy up here somewhere. He has a cold enchantment every time. You may want to just skip him. Just to stop getting uh, stop you getting slowed down. Um, because ultimately the main person you want to kill is Shank. Once you kill Shank, everybody else dies. Um, the entire catapult systems die. Uh, etc etc so focus on it but like i said if you love just killing killing creatures oh through 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 just yeah literally just drop your hammers down and then just literally wipe them out it's as fun and easy as that and you can see you can try and save all the barbarians as like a personal challenge it doesn't give you anything but you know you might want to do that i used to do that as a kid i loved uh, just going around trying to kill this area i loved fighting in this area this area is a fun area to fight. Lots of these guys. Lots of the good good XP if you're level 25. Um, especially um, with the zero um, reduction penalties that you're getting if you were to come here too early. Okay, so the bar, the guy is over here. Here he is, and then you literally just wipe him out. Hammer time. Just get him in my hammers, hopefully. There we go. There we go, in the hammers. And there we go. Shank is dead. Boom. There we go. Shank is dead. Boom, boom. Is free of your kind. Demon. Demon. Or staff, maybe? No. Okay, so first quest done. Now that second quest is saving the 15 barbarians in the next section. So we'll head back to town so we get cheaper potions once we speak to Lazak. We got the socketed quest. Or is it, I think, saving the barbarians get cheaper? Can't remember. It's one of the two. <laughs> okay, 12 grand for that one. 20% um, extra gold, meh. Um, if you ever need extra money, like flawless gems and perfect gems are worth seven and a half thousand or um, perfect is 15. Um, so if you ever really need money or you're short on it, um, you know, use your gems, sell the gems. But honestly, if you can keep and hold of them, I would recommend so. Um, it is definitely worth it. So let's head back to Frigid Highlands and let's carry on with the quest. Eldritch is up here. He's always a good creature to fight. Like I said, you can come here and put it on players 8 and absolutely own him if you really want to. It is advisable. I would recommend it. Now, our main goal is to try and save the barbarians first. So, check to see what style map it is. It is a map that goes up to the northwest. So, you want to focus on going along this way and finding the barbarians. Um, the bar they're usually by the fortresses, like here. And they will be inside the walls somewhere. So you just need to keep a lookout for them. You'll usually hear them screaming. Um, so just run along the edges. Experience shrine, why not? Hammers. Hammers, one of those annoying ones that you need to get in the right position for it. There we go. So run ahead again. Let's find the gap. There he is. There's. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Let us out. 
Okay, look, I kind of wanted to let you out, but these guys are being annoying. Okay, so my guy has died, but not a problem. No big, no big. I'm trying to, I'm trying to destroy that freaking door. I'm being a pain in the ass. Now then. So that's five done, here's the next lot. The hammers are a bit weird, you gotta get into that position so they freaking break the door. There we go. Door has been broken, and you just go ahead. So it looks like it's hitting it, but it's not. And then you put it in a weird position, and then you can see it. <coughs> so, next batch should be just up ahead. Um, should be in here somewhere. Might be on the other side. There we go, there it is. There we go. And there we go, we have done it. Barbarians have all been saved. Done. Done and done. So find the exit here, surround you somewhere. Try and get into a fucking position where this hammer actually fucking hits that bloody barricade. So annoying. So annoying. Come on. Fucking. Come on. <laughs> it looks like it hits it as well. What's, what's annoying? Yeah, one thing about hammers. That's the annoying thing about hammers. Trying to do something very specific like that. Okay, so here we're just gonna just wipe these guys out, hopefully. Just gonna man in. Go. Kill this guy. Thank you. Awesome. And move ahead we're now into area plateau same again you're literally running either all the way to north west or you're going north east um so in this case look at all these creatures get to an open space and then literally just wave on them get your blessed hammer up again and away you go you are away now these creatures are just everywhere don't worry all you're doing is trying to take these guys out The XP is amazing if you're level 25 and above. These guys provide you so much. There we go. Just keep on flying, flying through. Um, until you get to blooming doors. <laughs> Try and fucking get through doors. Because doors, the, the hammer din's worst enemy. <laughs> freaking hate doors. This is why you obviously get a guy as well. He's he's handy. Like, sim again. Like there we go. Got I got through. It's, you kind of got to be like north north northeast of a uh, freaking uh, <laughs> of the uh, door just to break it. It's so weird. Okay, so still going ahead. So again, like just like that. I know, you just blocked me, you bastard. There we go, hammer broke. Hammer broke. There we go, hammer broke. There we go. You're literally just running through things now. Uh, I don't think I've got any manners left, so I might do that. There we go, get some manners. Just to keep yourself going. And that's it, we're literally like, what, 10 minutes into it? With obviously the quests done, um, uh, what we want to do now is all the manas, those ones, some healings, and some manas. There we go. I will get my guy back. There we go, so pop that in there. Pop those three in there. So yeah, you can just top all those up like that. Now you will get a set of runes now, which you can use uh, to make Ancient's Pledge. Okay, guys, so here we go. He gives us the runes, there we go. And that's in the order as well, Ort Ral Town. Afternoon. So here we go. 
Actually, that makes me doubt myself. Is that actually the, uh, the, the actual words? Uh, where's the rune words? Where are we? Rune words, I said. Uh, rune words. Uh, Ancient pledge is literally like the first one. Ral or Tal. It's Ral or Tal, that's why. It's Ral or Tal. Being silly. Uh, yeah, don't fall for that. If you think you're right, you're not. Um, so, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, um, I'll put in this shield here. So, it's Ral or Tal. There we go. Ancient's Pledge. Look at that. Cold resistance 50, lightning resistance 55, fire resistance 55, poison 55 lovely strength 50 like i said if i really want to use it i can um and it'll be and it's better than this one so already it's 10 times better and i will be finding that'll make a lot difference um and i only need i only need three but obviously i'll put five in when i'm next there now portal away we go area plateau we'll just keep going north there's the thresher guys you want to kill him he is a bit of a pain in the ass. Get your hammers out to him. There we go. Long staff. Long staff can be sometimes worth picking up. Yep, it's got Meteor and Blizzard, that's fine. Now then, we need to find exits, exits and obviously portals to the frozen river but we're not gonna go there straight away same again like we're literally just running through those guys are bits of uh, dicks you do not want to be dealing with them majorly but there we go glacial trail so there's glacial trail um you don't need to do the crystalline passage but it is handy to do it because the crystalline passage will um, will provide you um, will provide you that uh, that ability um, to um, to get 10 in all resistances uh, which is obviously very very handy um, who will say no to 10 in all resistances not me but obviously glacial trail is there so i can go to glacial trail pop back down to crystalline and then run the rest of it as long as i got one more point that's near-ish i can move on to the next area um, and just carry on um next area now is going to be frozen tundra there it is it's actually the same so same again you want to go north uh, west just to see if it's going that way if, if you hit a wall early it does mean that um Obviously, it's going the other way. It's going northeast. I'm going to try and kill a few of these guys. This guy just keeps running away. He's been a pain in the ass, but he's dead now. See you later, loser. Um, but yeah, just keep going this way until you hit a wall. If you hit a wall, you know it's northeast. Um, just easier like that. We're hitting a bloody. I hate these areas. I hate them. There we go. Got through that time. Nice and easy. I know the position. <laughs> Assume the position! Um, so yeah, keep going with the frozen tundra. Um, hopefully you can get through it, most of it without any problems. Um, once you've done this, you'll get to the glacial trail. So I'm going to try and do this. Uh, there we go, got through. <laughs> find, find that little gap that works. <laughs> Find that tiny gap that works. There we go. Ancient's Way. Okay. Ancient's Way. This is the next one that we need to find uh, to get to Ariat's Plateau. Now, I am kind of like running. Running to get through these areas. But it just shows that you can get to these areas at a lower level. 25 is still great to get through here. You'll get to the Ancients and you'll kill them and you will get a full level up from them. Um... But yeah, just be, bear that all in mind. Obviously, stop if, if you find that like there's a, a bit of a decent army building up. And then, yeah, just boost them. And you're good to go. There we go. Um, but I am looking for the what points. I am looking for the... Um, I am looking for the exit. What point or exit doesn't really matter. One of the two. You go, okay, so there's a lot of these now. Go and focus on these guys because they will be quite difficult to kill as a group if I'm not careful. 
that could have been deadly. There we go. Large charm. See what it's all about. One to two fire. Meh. Meh. Now I could use my teleport like this. There we go. Save time. Because obviously I'm just following the edges. So there we go. But just remember that costs two and a half thousand every time. We now have the warp point, which is great. Um, because we can always come back because that's all the point you want to level up you come back you can come back and fight here if you want you can go to um you can go to like the um crystalline passage you can go to frozen tundra you can go to icy cellar icy cellar doesn't have any quest rele relevance at all um but the frozen river does uh, which is a very similar entrance as you've just seen there all I'm doing now is just trying to get past these guys. I don't really waste it, mana. And there's the exit. There is Ariat Summit. Okay. So here's Ariat Summit where you have to kill all three Summit, of these guys. The barbarian now, holy ground. all I'm looking to do here is get my guy back as a distraction. Hello. Um, sell all these. Thank you. Lots of money. So we got the money. Got the money, honey. Um, and then all we need is mana. Mana is what we're going to run out of. Fighting these guys. Maybe even healings. Um, because I think it'd probably be more mana that I'll be running out there. Um, and then we want to get our guy back. Nope. I don't want a Bavarian. Thank you. Um, and then I want to put concentrate on. So, concentrate. And let's fight the ancients. Let's do this. So. All we're going to do is focus on we are the taking these guys out. Literally get your hammers, get your hammers. Look at that, the hammer literally jumps down. Kolik will be dead in a second. Talik is not far from it. Manuak will take Manuak down now. Hopefully. Talik is nearly dead. Manuak is taking good hits. There we go, and there we go. And that is what it's like to fight those boys. And there we go. We're already on Blessed Hammer level 10. Amazing, right? That means we're level 27. No, it's not. 26. We should be 26. No, 27. That makes sense. And there we go. We are moving on. So, obviously, I don't have that scroll that is giving me 10 to, um, uh, 10 to resistances. Um, but I could go and get that. Uh, and at least then I've got a bit more resistance going into like Bale, going into um, uh, going into those fights. Um, but you know what? I'm pretty satisfied with the run that he's doing. He's getting through really quite well. Um, so let's do that. Now Nilathak is is obviously um, doing that but i'm gonna to go to i am gonna to go to the world stone level two get the warp point there and then i think i'll go back and i'll get the scroll i'll show you where the scroll is hopefully we can uh, find this level two quickly <laughs> found it <laughs> amazing and now we need to find the warp point so i'm gonna go right this time now these guys are great for xp absolutely great for xp Fucking amazing! Now, can you imagine if you had all these, all these ones on um, what do you call it? Difficulty. Um, now, seventy percent better magic or defense. The defense is good. I could make those gloves like uh, unique, uh, not unique, rare gloves using the imbue quest. That's not a bad idea. I get some resistances on the gloves or something. Um, but like you just gotta pick and choose like what you wanna end up using. Um, at the moment I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna put a TP done in case. Never wanna risk dying and then having to come back here. Um, Cause the closest warp point I got was the Ancient's Way. So I wouldn't wanna run all the way back for that. Now, if you ever need money, good items to pick up are without a doubt, no. Without a doubt, picking up uh, plated armors, okay? So here we go. So we're going back to Crystalline Passage and we're trying to find now the um, Frozen River, okay? So Frozen River is what we're looking for. 
Uh, same again, we're just running, running. There's the frozen river. There we go. Okay, so frozen river. What we're trying to find now is the quest, the quest update. Once the quest updates, we know we're near. Um, we know we're gonna get, get close to it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use my teleports. It is pricey. It is very pricey. Uh, two and a half thousand every single one I use. Um, but I don't mind doing it just to get, you know, just a little bit speedier, a little bit ahead. Um, to ah, there we go. Quest is updated, so I'm gonna say it's over here somewhere. There it is. So I'm gonna put my concentrate on, and I am literally gonna just bulldoze these guys now. He's gonna do that. That's fine. I'm gonna do that, and he nearly killed me. Kill a few more. There we go. And there we go. That's that quest done. All we need to do now is just go back to town. It's the abominable deed. Um, there we go. So, all we need to do now is grab Mala. Hello. Oh, she didn't talk. You've got to speak to her, apparently. You've got to speak to her. Not that you've just gone there and you can see her. Um, you've got to speak to her. Makes sense. Now she's got the quest. She gives you a potion. You go back, you give the potion to her. Voila. And then you go back to town. And then Mala gives you a scroll. Mala gives you a scroll, which is um, Thank you. basically this. 48, 11, 11, 46. 58, 21, 21, 56. You are now that little bit more resistant, which is awesome. So, can I help next you? quest is you can do uh, fighting Nilathak. Um, don't have to do it. You do not have to do it to progress. Um, you can just leave it. Yes. She's given me a shield, which obviously is kind of like probably a nice shield. There we go. 30% faster block rate, increased blocking, uh, enhanced damage, attack rating, enhanced defense, one to strength, lightning resist. Like overall, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Not amazing, but I'll take the money um, because I'm all about the money. Now, Pindle, Pindle saying is through here, very good character to kill. So all we're gonna do now is we are going to fight Bill. So let's go. Now you've seen how quickly we can get through this um, and how quickly um, we can um, do act five. Um, we've gone at the three key points. We just need to find level three now. Once we find level three, we will move on and kill Bill. Uh, and that is it. That is then the Paladin Hamadin done. Paladin Hamadin. Uh, he is basically done. Um, we will have gotten him to um, normal. Um, and we will have been level maybe like 28, 29, depend uh, 28, I think 28. Uh, but what we will then do is spend the time leveling up leveling up a paladin to around 45 um 40 like 35 40 into nightmare is really good you can then carry on with nightmare um it's up to you or how comfortable you feel with the paladin um i would recommend the shield system so definitely get an ancient's pledge without a doubt uh, as a absolute must then if you haven't got if you do find a three socketed uh, shield or even better a four socketed shield um for your guy uh for you guy for well, god watch out for these guys these guys are annoying these guys hurt and are very annoying thank you um uh is getting a four socketed shield like this with four sockets on it um, most of the time it'll be like a crown shield or a rondash um, but yes you want to keep an out eye out for that always oh, called Arki arcana taj i think or something like that um you can find them in here you can find them in the throne room you can find them in um the last section they are located in those as drops uh, the other place you can find them is the cow level. So you secret cow level. Once you've killed Bale, you can uh, bloody hell. Okay, go watch out with them. He uses frenzy, which hurts so goddamn much. Okay, I'm just gonna run ahead and just go into this place here. Oh my god, this freaking move, 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 open. 
Okay. Lots of creatures, lots of them. Focus on killing the ones that are in the throne room. Don't worry about the ones outside. Just focus on the ones inside. Yep, we're definitely gonna level up at this point. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's him dead. Up for the boots. Poison resist for level 50, which I don't have. So all I'm going to do now is activate hammers like crazy, so these guys get hit. There we go. Yeah, wow, and now we got light bladed better boots. Now, 30% faster run mark. They might be worth going to the 50. Okay, same again. You got trying to kill these guys. Same again. Absolute wipe them out. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Okay, same again. Just literally activate your hammers like crazy. Get concentrate on so you can do more damage. We level up. Hammer damage. Whoop. Get a heal on. That was close. There we go. Greaves. It's all about it's all about all about boots right now. All about boots. I don't need that. Um, there we go. Uh, new stats. What was it? Strength. Yeah, 40. Yeah, 40. There we go. We go these guys. Absolutely wiped them out. And now this is the hardest group now, which is the minions of destruction. So literally get your hammers going again. Make a, just a wall of them because these guys are going to give you a lot of XP. Now, can you imagine if you play as eight? You will absolutely own. I'll drop a TP down just in case because you never know. Yep, they do do a pain in the ass. There we go, and dead. Voila! And that's them dead. Dead oh dead oh. And I don't even have a guy helping me right now. Okay, so let's see how we do against Baal. Let's see how he does. Okay, get my vigor going and let's get in and concentrate. There we go, and here we go. Okay, so just get your hammers going. Boom 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 boom. You do obviously want to watch it for his um, thingy melee attack. He is a pain in the ass, but... There we go. Just mana obviously steal. He does the mana steal, which is annoying. But with him moving around, he does end up going into your hammers. So that is another positive. Now if you can get an item that gives you cannot be frozen, then that, that blue thing will not hurt you. Um, and there we go. Hail's dead. He is dead. Bye bye. Um, uh, uh, sucks. There we go. Voila. Congratulations, everybody. You have done it. That is it. The hammered in all the way to normal bail completed. Well done, everybody. You have done it. We have done it with a level 28 Paladin. Um, you can obviously keep going with uh, the leveling now uh, in prep for Nightmare. I would recommend you keeping going uh, to at least 35. Um, myself, I like going comfortably to 40 because I can do um, those bail throne rooms uh, with players eight, um, but obviously you're gonna need better equipment. You're gonna need things like the shield that'll give you more resistances. Um, you may even want to invest a couple of points now into like holy shield, which if I show you here is uh, here in the defense. No combats. You need one in spite, one in charge, 
one in holy shield this will give you massive amounts of defense which at the moment we only got 72 once we get holy shield boof it goes it does go through the roof um so that's three levels we're level 28 by level 31 we will have add smite at 29 charge at 20 uh, 30 and at 31 we'll have old holy shield so um go down those routes honestly um but if not just keep going with your blessed hammer keep going to 20 and you will be on your way to nightmare and causing enough damage to get through nightmare when we do that playthrough in future but thank you so much for coming along in twitch um and joining in the chat and um asking those questions uh thank you so much to everybody who's watched uh, the, the uh, youtube video um make sure that you have any questions pop a comment below if you like the video click that thumbs up and if you haven't already please do click that subscribe button it really does i really do appreciate it i really does appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, and I will see you in the next guide. Speak to you soon. Bye, everybody.